How's it going, everybody? Uh, it's been a very long time since we've been in uh, Scarlet and Violet Land. So, yeah. Uh, it's a little exciting, right? <laughs> I know that this isn't everybody's favorite game, necessarily. But we've had a lot of good times with Scarlet and Violet, so I, I think it's time. The Hisuian Voltorb brought me back. But um, we have a lot of things we still need in this game. So, uh, yeah. We're going to get some Voltorbs tonight. Hopefully at least two. And after that, I guess we're just going to continue our Living Dex shenanigans. Let me actually... Normally, I don't have this pulled up during my other streams. Let me get my Living Dex pulled up and my sandwich deal and all that stuff. Oh, God. Um, my Living Dex is throwing a 500 air while I'm trying to access it. That's a little sketchy. Oh, God. All right. Maybe... <laughs> Man, this sucks. Okay, hold on. Let me <laughs> let me log into this. I guess I should have tried to log in earlier. It's, it feels like this always has some weird thing where it makes me re-log in. And, uh, I just need to make my own, man. I just need to make it happen. Bear with me, guys. We're, we're almost there. Pull up old Cerebi so I can make sure I'm not losing my mind trying to spot these shinies. Um, these aren't shiny. Why aren't you shiny? Don't show me these non-shiny Pokemon. We don't care about those. We care not about the non-shinies. All right. Um, so yeah, we're going to be going for Voltorb and Electrode tonight, but we have a lot of other things we need. I'm looking at the list. Man, we need a, a lot of stuff from the new DLC still. So, yeah. That's that's what we're going to be doing. And how's everybody doing? Welcome in. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked right at the beginning of this, but... <laughs> how's things? Uh, Jewel, welcome in. Amogus, welcome, welcome. Jess Mess. Uh, Light of Alpha Rays, welcome, welcome. If I missed you... I'm sorry, you you know how it goes. So this is in like Alphranata Cave. I'm not sure if I love the location of this, but we'll see. We have like, it's boosted odds because of the outbreak and we have the uh, Academy special. So, you know, we have decent, a decent, decent shot. I said decent at first, adjusting the camera. The bundles I got today were ordered a month ago opened every single pack what did you did you say what you got <laughs> i know you said you were going to be opening up a bunch of cards but um yeah get anything spicy i'm assuming you did right because you said you were opening like a ton of packs i'm assuming there must be some spiciness somewhere throughout those packs right <laughs> Please check Discord. Okay, okay. I, I'm going to have to check that out. I wasn't super active in the Discord today because I've just been, like, pretty busy with work recently. But, uh, yeah. Your boy needs to get on that, obviously. All right. We have our little motor friend now. So, um, I need to KO these. I haven't done anything on this outbreak because I know that they had... You know what? Will these just... These things will explode on their own, won't they? Maybe I don't have to do any actual battling here. Open mind today too. You can check the Discord as well. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to check this out. I, you know, I got another cool thing today. As as long as we're bragging, this is like less of a, a Pokemon card brag, but I have a video that uh, I just got my first little like preview rough draft of. And just like the first minute or so of the video. And guys, it's going to be a good time. That was my exciting thing that I had today. <laughs> Some might say it's interesting like Pokemon cards. Other people might might think that it's a little less interesting than Pokemon cards. But for me, I was very excited. <laughs> but yeah, I think you guys are going to like that. That's eventually going to be something that you guys get to see as well. Lucky you guys. 
So we have boosted odds for everything here. I just need to try to make sure that we keep spawning these Voltorb because like we're getting a bunch of other stuff. We don't have like uh, encounter power for any types. But I feel like I need a Metatite or a Metacham of like a different gender and I can't remember what form I needed. I'll have to look. If we get lucky and we encounter something else, I feel like there's a couple things in here that I still might need, actually. Porsche Nut, welcome in. And Panna, uh, Boris. Uh, when they explode, it doesn't count. Oh, really? Okay, well, I've just been wasting all of my time then. Thank you for telling me that, Boris, because I would have just been here. <laughs> just, you know, just sitting around. Uh, anyone see the dice that card stores are giving out for Pokemon Day. Like a special Pokemon, like just one dice or like a dice set or what? That's kind of cool. Because that's just like, you'll use that for a really long time too, right? Like if, if they're cool anyways. <laughs> if they're lame, not so much. Don't get that Voltorb. I know he's not shiny. Don't play games with me. Uh, I'm still into electric and fairy types. Um, they're both good types. <laughs> Just in general, all electric and all fairy types. Is there an electric fairy type? Tapu Koko. <laughs> I, oh, there are so many Voltorb inside of the walls there. Did you guys see that? There's so many in the walls. Red, welcome in. The stream is acting funky on my phone. Is the stream good for all of you guys besides River? Because <laughs> I don't know. We had some issues yesterday, and I'm hoping we don't continue that that trend today. I enjoy every stream. Keep up the great work, Red. I appreciate you. I'm glad you dig the vibes. And that's that's 12 months right there. 12 months of being in the Calm Crew. So the, the proof is right there. <laughs> I appreciate you hanging out for a whole entire year. <clears throat> Waltorb. Yeah, it's Waltorb. And I don't like it. And guys, if I get to the point where um, we're good to go on this outbreak, just yell at me in chat if I'm continuing to KO them. You guys know how that goes, right? <laughs> I will continue to bonk them. And uh, no Voltorb is safe, basically. Pandemically, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. What's your opinion on poison types? I like them. Z-Toxic is the poison type... Uh, the... What are we... The president of poison types, maybe? <laughs> yeah. I, poison types in general are pretty cool. I feel like a lot of them have a lot of weaknesses, which is unfortunate. But um, in general, I think they're pretty cool. Is that thing shiny or is that just the light? It's just the light. Dude, I'm telling you, the Salandits are insane. They just always look so shiny. The lighting in this game is just brutal. I forgot. <laughs> um, you will probably find it fast. Yeah, I'll need two of them. So hopefully the, the luck is there. But this spot that I'm at, there's so many in the walls. You see what I... Oh my god, what what is he doing? <laughs> uh yeah, there was something going on with that Voltor there. He was having some issues. I'm just using Wi-Fi. Living the Wi-Fi life. I mean, you know, it's convenient. I can't do it because with the actual stream I will have so many problems. Even though I have like a really good router, all that stuff, it's just Wi-Fi just ain't it for the uh, the stream shenanigans. Salandits are super noticeable. The ones uh, that kind of look like it are not. Uh, coming from someone that hit phase 11 for female... You know what? It's crazy because I don't need them. <laughs> I'm just looking, you know? But th I think the first one I found was a female Salandit. So uh, it ended up being a very decently easy hunt for me, but yeah. <laughs> and I think I might have left. I don't know if my Salandit, if I just got another 
like a Salazzle on its own? I kind of can't remember. And the thing that sucks is I did have to transfer my living decks up into Pokemon Home from this game. Because, um, there's just not enough space in the boxes, man. We need... The next Pokemon game needs to have more box space. It's very easy to just have some additional box space. Like, <laughs> it's just 32 ain't enough anymore, man. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, well, let's save. We already have one here. The thing that kind of sucks is we don't have... Well, whatever. We'll just... I'm assuming this thing will explode. This is just a luxury ball. Look at that. So quick. We're in Scarlet and Violet. Of course we're going to be finding shinies real quick. I'm just going to chuck luxury balls at it. I'm not going to... We're not going to do anything. Just keep doing that. It'll work eventually. <laughs> that sound... It wasn't a crit capture and it captured... I guess because I haven't ever caught the Hisuian one? Hmm. I mean, if it works, it works. <laughs> Alright, let's get this on the board. Let's get old Hisuian Voltorb on the board. We need one more, uh, which appears like it's going to happen pretty quick. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think that it was going to be this fast, but I forgot how Scarlet and Violet do. It's a good shiny. I really do like the blue on the original Voltorb. Like, this isn't a bad shiny by any means, but it's, uh... The blue just kind of hits different for me. What do you guys think? Do you like this one or the original Voltorb more? That's a heavy ball shiny? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's like a really dark gray. And I'm pretty sure I don't have many heavy balls anymore because I remember we used a bunch of them trying to get Duraludon. I'm going to do a few more KOs. I know I got to the point where it was, um, it said like there's fewer. So I'm going to do like 10 more here just to guarantee that I'm at the correct number. I keep looking at Diglett because I really like Diglett. Uh, not afraid to say that I prefer Hisuian, Voltorb, and Electrode better than the original. I feel like it's just a personal preference thing with them. They're both really good. I just really like blue shinies. And Voltorb just hits... hits different. <laughs> I love how they're made out of wood. Yeah, the design of the Hisuian, Voltorb, and Electrode, I really like that. I, I really like that they're made out of wood. I don't know what regular Voltorb and Electrode are made out of. But, uh, yeah... <laughs> the wood aesthetic is definitely cool. Okay, this game is busted. <laughs> we already made it happen. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Well, carrying, carrying along with our fantastic shiny luck in Scarlet and Violet. I mean, this this tracks, right? Hisween Voltorb is visually more pleasing. There you go. Forgot how easy it was to find shinies in these games. Yeah, I forgot. Definitely forgot. <clears throat> um, Jess MS, I think probably I won't be saying that. <laughs> All right, cool. We got Electrode, or soon to be Electrode, if you will. Do these ones in these outbreaks have, like, a boosted chance of having any specific, like, mark or anything? Hold on. Just getting this on the board. I know we only have, a like, an Academy special, so it's not, like, super important for me to pause, but I just I have a hard time not, you know? They're, they're clacking together. <laughs> Pretty nice. Really, really quick. It's going to be a good night. Yes, it is. You know, we've been charging up our shiny luck in this game. Um, I don't know. Let me see what kind of outbreaks we have in the DLC areas. Because I still need a few things from even Kitakami. I feel like I'd kind of like to go back here. I still need Graveler and Golem, I think. 
Let me see. What else do we got? Rotom. <clears throat> Pyroar. We do not need that. Elekid. I'm pretty sure... Didn't I get a shiny Elekid already? Hold on. Let me let me see. Razzy with the 11 months, three more weeks, and that luxury ball is mine. You love to see it. <laughs> and CMH with the four months, I want hamburger. Yeah, you do. Hopefully you get your hamburger. <laughs> I'm I feel like I got an elected, right? I'm looking at my list. <clears throat> elected is literally the only one I have out of that evolution line. <laughs> um we have Hydrapolis. Man, I need to update my list here because we have Blaziken too. I haven't updated my living deck, so I'm doing that. We have Squirtle and Wartortle. Bear with me, guys. I'm just looking at my living decks list here. But yeah, I need Graveler and Golem. I think maybe I might go to Kitakami. We might just go and do the, um, the Outbreak for those. Get the Gold Nugget. How we doing tonight? Uh, we're popping off already. I'm telling you, it's... <laughs> <laughs> We've been saving up our luck in this game. Uh, being put on blast last night. No, River, it's all in good fun. <laughs> like I said, if uh, if that's your deal, I don't think it's it's anything that's too bad for you. But just don't only eat that, please, for for calm's sake. The he was looking a little weird. I need to remember the controls in this game because I got used to Legends and now, of course, we're not playing Legends anymore. Raise with the 10 gifties, Raise. I appreciate you. Guys, if you get one of those, make sure you say thanks to Raise. Everybody else, um, get some some bras in the chat, maybe a pay button. Show some love. And if you guys aren't opted in yet, exclamation gift, make sure you are. Otherwise, you cannot get one of those gifted memberships. Don't miss out. Get some very spicy emotes. Um, <laughs> Raze, I appreciate it. <clears throat> that wasn't the only thing last night. What do you mean? That wasn't the only thing you ate last night? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, that's good. But just uh, not the only... My fellow chatters, I asked that we say Hope Orb or Hope Orb tonight to avoid pain on my eyes. <laughs> well, I will say, Volt, we got the Voltorbs really quick. So now... There will probably be a lot less discussion of Voltorb and Voltorb-related activities. So I think you're probably in the clear. Um, Brendo, you want to KO those things? What do we got? About 16 minutes left on the Academy Special, so we got some decent chances of getting something else here. We have to do the KOs, which kind of sucks, but this is fine. Um, I'm shaking right now. Why are you shaking? What's going on? <laughs> Hopefully everything's all right. You're shaking with the uh, the excitement of all of these shinies we're getting already, right? <laughs> One can only hope that is true. Yeah, we'll we'll see, Volt. Uh, don't you feel special though, being highlighted in chat all the time? I, you should just feel so so loved. <laughs> Uh, what was the thrilling conclusion to the Golduck situation from last night? Um, well, I'm not sure where you left off, but it ended up in a quadruple. We ended up with two shiny Golducks and two shiny Sneasels, and they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> it was really just a, a great situation. We had a very symmetrical list of shinies during uh, yesterday's stream. Definitely a good one. <laughs> I've never had a night like that where we found so many of the same things, but like, I literally was just flying that same path just over and over and over again. It makes sense that, uh, um, starting to go down. I don't know if, I, I forget which alert it is I'm looking for, but I'll continue going for now. We're, oh my God, there's so many down there. You got banned. What do you mean you got banned, Megan? <laughs> I see your messages here. 
you're not banned. But Megan, hopefully you're having an alright night. You're here in the chat, I got you. If I'm missing messages, it's just because I'm destroying uh, Geodudes. <laughs> and Kerbo, welcome in. Uh, it's definitely getting lower. Okay, cool. Yeah, the odds on these aren't as boosted as the uh, the event ones, which is fine. Like, these are still, with the Academy Special and everything else, we have amazing odds with this. Get them. Um, just found a shiny Cherubim. Cherubim? What is a Cherubim? <laughs> I, you're trying to flex on me with this cherubi. You can't hurt me. There's... <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I found out that my game didn't even have a perfected dex for um, cherim for some reason. Because I'm a chump, I guess. Like, I, <laughs> I went this whole time thinking that it was perfected. Uh, need to go remove my gingivitis. I hate that phrasing, but I'm glad you're taking care of the, the teeth. <laughs> I hate that it's phrased that way, though. I don't have to like it. I'm glad that Bombardier wasn't shiny either, just so we're clear here. Oh my god, please. The KOing here is... They're so angry, all of these things. Uh, carpeted teeth. No carpeted teeth, exactly. Pork? It's not carpeted teeth anymore. It kind of is just a, a little sad. <laughs> it was it was such a long term username there. I'm glad that uh, <laughs> old Keith got to relate on an emotional level to the carpeted teeth for a little bit, though. Uh, we all got to know just for a time. <laughs> okay. All right, we're we're potentially at the highest odds. I'm going to go ahead and KO like 5 or 10 more of these. But we should be about at the the right spot here. We'll do like 5 more. Uh I was ginger for a month. I I don't think that dyeing your hair red makes you officially ginger. I don't think that works. I I think you have to originally be, to be for sure, for sure. Otherwise, you're just pretending. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do a couple more. It's not, I mean, you have to KO, KO so many more to even get to the next thing. And even with that, there's like a, a bunch more left. More than a total, more than you can like spawn in the, the overworld anyways. We'll do one more. And then I think I might picnic reset right here. I think this might actually be an okay spot. Okay, that Sandshrew really... <laughs> that Sandshrew is messing with me. All right, picnic time. As a ginger, I can confirm coloring your hair makes you an honorary member. There you go. <laughs> you know, I'm not the, uh, <laughs> the end-all be-all on that. So... I would take Raze's word for it. <laughs> Raze says, make it so. I wish I had a cooler spot to reset these. It kind of sucks because I'm... I, like, have to go and look over the mountain, too. Maybe I just do, like, this. A little flyby type deal. Those sand shrews are going to be a problem. I'm going to be seeing those all the time, thinking they're shiny. Yeah, this is okay. I feel like there's a lot of potential for me to miss a Geodude here, though. <laughs> I do need a uh, Probo Pass as well. So, if we happen to see one of those, since we have these boosted odds, we have the Academy Special going, so we have a chance. And plus, you know, the odds in this game, they're just... It's built different. I don't know. I should just pick Nick Reset. I, I should. Otherwise, I'm going to regret it. Maybe I'll scooch over a little bit. I know that Raze wants to see the Mudbray. I do not. Specifically. 
Um, Dragapult. I love Dragapult. Dragapult's pretty cool. Who has two shiny cub foos? I don't think anybody has shiny cub foos unless they're hacking them in. There's no, like, official way to get them yet, right? A lot of people were hoping that in this game you were going to be able to get them, but they said, nah. No fun allowed. <laughs> <clears throat> Calm Discord. What? A, hold on. What's what's happening in the Discord? Am I looking at the Pokemon card stuff? Is that what's happening? Oh God. Oh. <laughs> a lot of things. That uh, Coridon is really cool looking. The green and gold things. Uh, Poke Fan Girl also had some pretty spicy pulls. Oh my God, Rays! What the heck? <laughs> uh, that penny card is worth a lot of money, isn't it? That's like one of the most expensive cards in the set, I think. You got a bunch of palafins for some reason. Those were the uh, art rares that you got. You got a card for Ceiling Cat. You got the Mew. Love to see it. <laughs> Very nice. I need to get some cards again. I'm telling you, it's been a, a too long since I've opened packs. Basically just since Japan. It sucks. I'm I'm kind of hoping that through this year, the uh, production of the Japanese packs and stuff picks up a little bit, and I can actually get them for not scalped prices, because I will not pay scalpers for cards. I just, I refuse to do that. And English, um, English is kind of fixed. Like, they're printing enough again. <clears throat> Fernando? What the heck? Fernando? It's been a hot minute, buddy. <laughs> I hope things are going well. It's been too long. Welcome in. <laughs> it's the Scarlet and Violet. It's it's bringing all the homies back. Said, hey, yo. Hisui and Voltorb? <laughs> Paldean Fates has been good to me. I got a shiny Mew EX. Um, I really, really want the Mew alt art. It's so cool. It's by that, um, you see a lot of their, if you're on Twitter and stuff, you see a lot of their art on Twitter and, um, like Instagram and stuff a lot that just has like the funny little dittos tapping their hands or like, you know, it's very cutesy art. And I really, really like the Mew especially, but I also, I mean, I, as far as modern cards go, I only collect alt arts and um, art rares, and I have every art rare that has been released, unless like any came out in a new set. I think a new set has been released, so I might be missing a couple. But like up to uh, the Japanese equivalent of uh, Paldean Fates, I have basically everything. I'm, I think I'm missing a couple of the really expensive, like promo-y kind of ones, but uh, I'm doing pretty good on them. <laughs> but yeah, as far as modern stuff goes, I have to really narrow it down, because I've been trying to really get my vintage stuff put together. You think you saw it? A shiny... A shiny Geodude? I could have missed it. <laughs> Steven, welcome in. I don't know. It's pretty noticeable. I feel like this is one I don't think... I would miss, but if I did miss it, post a picture in the Discord. Let me know. That's the only way I'm believing you. <laughs> There's no chance otherwise. Uh, love the shiny Mew alt art. Dream, uh, dream card right now. How much is it? Does anybody know? I know Japanese and English prices are pretty different, but um, I would imagine the Mew is kind of expensive, right? That's like basically the coolest card in that set, I feel like. A lot of people like the full art trainers. I've never really, like, super cared about them. The alt art ones are pretty cool. <clears throat> I have six packs in front of me begging to be opened. Why do you have to wait until tomorrow? Crack them open. <laughs> You're here with your people. I think just being connected with the homies is enough to justify this, this pack opening session, Razzie. I give you the thumbs up. I swear. 
I thought they looked weird. I just, I had to look because I still need the family of three. Oh my god, the sand shrew, dude. I'm telling you, that is the problem. <laughs> um, Megan, <laughs> but why? <laughs> Megan, you're going to be in the Shadow Realm for just a little bit. Very strange. Just, you know, get some real estate in the Shadow Realm for, for a little bit. Think about the, uh, the shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm good. <laughs> uh, got a picture that's over 5,000 points in Pokemon Snap. Um, I honestly, I need to play through that game. My wife bought it and we just, we haven't really played it at all. My wife has played it a lot more than I have, but even she didn't get that far into it. That's something I need to just kind of play when I'm, I'm chilling. You know, and I don't know if it's like a great stream game because I kind of have to pay attention to what I'm doing. Uh, Nick, with the three months calm, I have six shiny Voltorbs. Love this event. They're really good shinies. I don't know what you're going to do with six of them, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's cool that they, they popped up pretty quick. Five dollars from eight Thongui of the Grandmaster Ceiling Cat Euroboros, the Pokemon you, Company Star Pite. I do not need another cardboard crack addiction. Mm -hmm. You is gonna make me buy all the Sneasels. Yeah. There are shiny Sneasel cards. They be out there. The The good thing for you is there's not really many Sneasel or Sneasel Evolution line cards in general. So if you just committed to getting all of the Sneasels and their evolutions, you're not really getting that many cards. Like, Sneasler was in a weird kind of subset because it was in Legends. And Weavile's kind of old. And Sneasel's just a pre-evolved thing. So they're usually just commons. Like, I don't know. There's not really many... I can't think of a crazy expensive Sneasel or Sneasel evolution card. Yet the most expensive thing... Maybe there's some vintage stuff that's kind of expensive. But, like, the Altart Sneasler, crazy cheap... Like, insanely cheap. <clears throat> I collect Growlithe and, Growlithe and Arcanine cards. Yeah. It's kind of cool if you just have a specific Pokemon um, that you're collecting for. Because usually, it's not too expensive. Unless you really like Evolutions <laughs> Or uh, something like that. The really popular stuff, Pikachu. Pikachu, you would have to take a second mortgage out, something like that, to uh, get all the Pikachu cards. They are not cheap. But most Pokemon, it's not too bad. <laughs> Razzy, baby. Need that, oh, the new pack smell. I'm telling you, if I could have my room smelling like that all the time, that is the... Uh, the potpourri of the calm and collecting stream room. I <laughs> and I don't think that it's easily reproducible. I think that there are candles and stuff that's like new card smell. I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. Or like a, I saw a cologne. I think it was Yu-Gi-Oh merch. Actually, <laughs> I remember seeing this at one point. I just feel like there's no way they capture that that good stonk. The good card, card stonk. <laughs> it's just, it's too good. <clears throat> uh, that Gardevoir full art is so expensive, yeah. Gardevoir is uh, another one that, you know, some people like it for other specific reasons, questionable reasons, and I think that kind of inflates the price a little bit. What shiny should I hunt in Scarlet and Violet? I don't know. Have you grabbed Hisuian Voltorb and Electrode yet? <clears throat> I have a really cute card holder. It's an Evolutions binder and I love it. Very nice. Yeah, I um I guess I have kind of a, a cute binder as well. I have one with a Pikachu on it that's like a leather kind of fake leather situation. And it's actually pretty nice. Um, all of, and I'm not sponsored by these guys, uh, Dragon Shield, if you're watching this, I'm one of your biggest proponents. 
hook me up. I need more card materials, but um, Dragon Shield stuff is the only stuff I buy for my cards. And it's because they just have really nice sleeves and all of their binders are so nice because they use their binder pages. And dude, Dragon Shield binder pages are so... There's... I don't even really know how to describe it. The, the clear plastic on them is one piece that flips from one side to the other. Because you know how binder pages are double-sided? It's a, a solid, like, piece. So the edges of the pages are so rounded and, like, smooth. And it's just... It's a joy <laughs> to flip through those binders when they have those pages, man. I'm telling you. And they sell, like, just like any other card... Uh, like materials company that makes sleeves and stuff they sell their own pre-made binders that aren't three ring ones and they have those pages in them and they're just so nice dude I'm telling you <laughs> um the sand slash man I'm telling you these kind of yellowy regular Pokemon messing with me with the the shininess here should I go get another academy special I'd like to get at least one of these since we've already set up this outbreak, so let's... Oh god. I don't remember the controls to this game, it's been a little bit... <laughs> We're gonna get another Academy Special here, try to get at least one Geodude. Weasel, you just got Legends? It's a really good game. Yeah, I'm glad you're digging it. Already to the uh, the third noble, or you beat the third noble, so I guess you're getting to the fourth. It's a good time. It's definitely, like, it's cool because the alphas are very hard to find, very high value shinies. But the regular shinies are, like, pretty attainable, you know? So it's, like, kind of a nice middle ground. See you, Major, heading out. We'll see you around. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, finally got my shiny charm in Legends. It takes forever, Fernando. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's definitely a task, but it is worth it. Uh, they say he's okay, but they're keeping him overnight. Oh, what did I miss? What's going on here? Hopefully everything's alright, Soulful. I'm sorry. I, I'm missing a lot of messages. I know I am. I'm running around Scarlet and Violet's the hardest game for me to monitor chat with. <laughs> Uh, Megan, bye. See ya. Bye. Lots of buys. We'll see you around, Megan. <laughs> What's going on tonight, guys? What's happening? Is it Scarlet and Violet specifically that makes people lose their minds? Dad's in the hospital. Soulful. I, hopefully everything uh, pans out on that. That sucks. It is definitely not a good time. I recently also had to deal with something like that, so I... Uh, understand the the situation that thing's looking weird right okay no yeah my i don't know if i told you this my my dad fell out of a truck kind of recently he was working doing like um some unloading of like uh like air conditioning units and stuff and he stepped back and just like fell off the back of a semi truck so that was something that kind of happened <laughs> it's been a little bit um, since it happened now, but it was like a whole crazy thing, you know, like he just fell out, landed on his head and he's been dealing with that for that whole, I mean, just up till now, you know, it's kind of crazy how just in an instant things like that can change. So definitely make sure you guys are just communicating with your loved ones. Make sure you just, cause you never know what's going to happen, right? Shiny. No, nah, I don't buy it, Megan. Is he okay? He's okay. Um, <laughs> thankfully, he had a, a very hard head. <laughs> it was more his shoulder that got hurt with it, you know? But, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. We, we all are living on a very, like, fine line. And one little weird fall, one thing can happen, and it's, it's not just older people, it's not really young people, it's just, like, anybody, right? So you got to make sure you're always living your life to the fullest, making sure you're you're doing your best because you never know what the heck's going to happen. We're getting philosophical tonight. 
I uh, hope everyone's dads are okay. I hope everybody just in general is okay. We'll, we'll just go even a broader statement than that. Um, are the ball outbreaks really that insane with the odds? Uh, y yeah. I also was using a uh, an Academy special, so um, that helped. But the odds are boosted for the um, for the event outbreaks, and I have the charm and everything too. So we have really really good odds. <clears throat> I come here to escape my thoughts on all that. Please, I got you. I got you. <laughs> we'll leave it there. We're looking for the gold nugget, though. And this really has not been happening. <laughs> we had too good too good of luck on the, uh, the Voltorb deal. Um, I'm catching up on chat. Bear with me, guys. I'm sorry. I've been running around really into the Omori fandom now. I have never played that game. It's been on my, like, Steam wish list for a long time. But, um... Yeah, I, I, what is it? Is it like a ceiling cap, buddy? <laughs> I appreciate you. 20 gifties. Ceiling cat says good vibes only. <laughs> uh, get some, some SDFs in the chat. Maybe a pay button, a Mr. Kappa, perhaps show some love. Um, yeah. And make sure you guys are opted in exclamation gift. Otherwise you cannot get one of those gifted memberships. But uh, say thanks to Ceiling Cat. 20 people just got some spicy new emotes. The Sand Shrew. Man, I'm telling you. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. It's, I don't want to risk it. I got you. I know it's kind of like a, a dark <laughs> vibe. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get you. But it's something that I've seen a lot of art for. It looks like it has a really interesting kind of vibe overall, if that makes sense. But I'm a big, like, indie game fan in general, so... I don't only play Pokemon. <clears throat> you okay for mods in here right now? Um, we have Rays, I think. <laughs> Four Rays is working overtime right now. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like it's been a little lighter recently for some of the mod arenos. We haven't seen yogurt for a little bit, so maybe. Maybe we'll have to get somebody else set up with the wrench. It's definitely some work, but maybe we'll have to get to that point again. It's it, Pokemon kind of comes and goes, right, for some people. I'll ask Raze instead of you. Yeah, Raze is definitely more... <laughs> <laughs> Ray's knows how much of a nightmare it is for herself right now, so <laughs> I'm just kind of here. <clears throat> Someone will be clobbered by the wrench. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the wrench clobbering do happen sometimes. It's just <laughs> it's it's a necessary thing, you know. We definitely have people. Who like to pull some shenanigans need to make sure and it used to be really bad because there used to be a lot of bots on YouTube live streams and it's finally gotten better but uh, yeah before it was crazy how many of those would just be always in the chat just spamming and it was like <laughs> I have such a long list of banned words and names because of that like I don't know if it's because of that, or I, I don't really see him anywhere else either, so I feel like it's probably YouTube that kind of cleaned it up a little bit too. Hassan with the 10, buddy, I appreciate you. Everybody's been popping off tonight. <laughs> Guys, say thanks to Hassan if you got one of those. Hassan, if I don't do this tomorrow, I really have been meaning to adjust the emotes on the channel. I think the Calm avatar is going to move over here. Just you know, to show some love. <laughs> I just, I've been busy with work during the day and then I forget when I'm not like actively looking at YouTube things. <laughs> um, you should see my boyfriend's band users and words. Yeah. My, seriously, I have compiled this insane list of band words 
that um, I honestly, I feel like maybe I should share it around, but it is like a nightmare database of like the worst words in the world. It'll like get you just like banned on Discord, even for sharing it probably because of just the the density of everything I do not want to see in the chat, you know? Playing Donkey Kong Country. Uh, Garg, good luck. That is not like a relaxing video game. There's no happiness in Donkey Kong Country. Just stress. My wife just yelled at me. She loves that game. It, I think even she can admit that there's a lot of adrenaline during the Donkey Kong Country playthroughs. <laughs> There's too many people who shouldn't have access to the internet. Exactly. That is a fact. I said um, it's an adrenaline-filled video game, and it's less happiness and, and more fear, basically, of falling down the, the minecart pit. And I think you can admit to that, too, even though you like it. Right? That's kind of the reason you do like it. Because it's kind of a nightmare. And it has very good music. And Diddy has a little, like, Boombox. He's a cool little guy. That's Donkey Kong Country 2, she says. Actually. <laughs> She's hit me with the actual... Oh, God. I didn't even see that. Uh, Geodude, what? what's going on here? Um, I'm catching up on chat. Bear with me, guys. Must be a full moon or something because everyone seems to be getting weird shenanigans in chat. I, <laughs> Tyler, I don't know what the deal is. You know, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm glad that people rolled out for Scarlet and Violet. I know there's a handful of people in the community who aren't really playing it that much anymore. So I wasn't really sure how it was going to do. What'd you do? Oh, <laughs> my wife is controlling the monkey. <laughs> Uh, on Twitch, you can share banned user lists with you. Oh, your other streamer pals. Yeah, Twitch has so many cool features that it's tough. Like, YouTube is, I know a lot of people that are in here only watch on YouTube and don't do Twitch stuff. And Twitch has kind of like lost me on some of their policy stuff sometimes with like the 50-50 and everything. I know they've started like rolling that back, but um man there's some really nice stuff with twitch that just like makes me think sometimes but if i streamed exclusively on twitch if i if i ever thought like hey i think i want to move on over there because they have such nice features i just know that there's quite a few people here that just wouldn't want to go over there you know they're not really watching on twitch they're only on youtube and it's kind of weird to think about like the the difference in even the communities like the way chat is and stuff in twitch sometimes it can definitely be a, a different kind of audience for better or for worse right <laughs> it just kind of depends is that new no that is not new you guys want to see what she's talking about i've had this for a long time shining steelix card it's a CGC 5.5. I've been meaning to open this. I'm not going to leave it in this slab. I'm going to crack this open. It has a little bit of like a slight bend on the back of it, but it's like the perfect binder card. And that's how I like having my stuff is just in the binder. It's super cool. Which is mod features are so good. Yeah. It's just got so much good stuff. Oh, you just got the DLC, Re? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Mr. President, sir, the wife is now in full control of the Monke. There, there it is. And I, what'd you push? Just the Monke. Are you sure? Yeah. My wife doesn't have total control over the Monke, apparently. Fernando with 15 months. I suggest everyone pet some cows. Mood enhancer. We have a cow. Yeah, we call our dog a cow. She's white with black spots. And Chonke. She is Chonke. And when she lays down, she's like a tipped cow. She's on her side. Her legs just like straight out. <laughs> um, I'd move to Twitch for you, Pookie Bear. 
Thanks. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. I, uh, you know, it's definitely a mixed bag. Some people are kind of down for whatever, and they're already watching on Twitch. But I know there's a lot of people that are just on YouTube, right? Suggest you appreciate your neighborhood burbs. I do like some burbs. I'm a burb appreciator. I don't think that I would ever have a pet burb, though, even though I like them. Um, I just feel like they're kind of... Using the phrase easy to break is like a very bad sounding thing for a pet, but it's like, I feel like they, they hit a wall weird, they have something, like they're flying around and it's just like, oh, broken wing or something like that. But you know what I really would like to have, and I've told my wife this, I've seen those little baby birds that like don't get feathers for some reason, like the little, the little like naked baby bird things for whatever reason they don't get feathers and it's like some weird genetic thing and I just I love those stupid little things just like running around just, <laughs> there's something yeah they're just little goblins little goblins with beaks I would be so down to like uh, foster one of those goofy naked birds there's just they just hit different I don't know what it is they look so funny, and when they're, like, running around, they're super fast. <laughs> um, birds are too chaotic sometimes. Yeah, they're really loud. That's the other thing, is, like, just the screeching all the time. I already have the dogs and the cats and the wife that are just screeching around the house constantly. I can't imagine if a bird was in the mix just yelling like the, uh, the burbs do. We're really paying for it with this Geodude situation. I I didn't realize what I was getting myself into here. Hairless cats are my friends. Yeah, so I also think that I would probably like those too, but um, I've heard that they're pretty tough because you have to, like, bathe them a lot because they don't, like... I don't know what it is, if it's just, like, their skin or what it is, but... You have to bathe them, like, once a week or something, right? I've never owned one, so I don't know how uh, crazy strict that is. But I've heard that they're, like, pretty... Like, you have to do that a lot, basically. Otherwise, they have skin issues. My milestone got ignored. A random person. Four months. Oyasumi means good night. Watch an Omori playthrough. Um... Oyasumi nasai is the very, like, the polite, I'm unite. <laughs> yeah. What, is, what does that have to do with Omori? Are you saying Oyasumi because you're, you're going to bed? you going away? I appreciate it. I appreciate the four months and the Oyasumi. <laughs> and guys, we need a... Uh, Michael Warlock, you got it. I appreciate you guys liking the stream. Uh, if you haven't liked the stream yet, just consider doing it. Help your boy out on the algorithm. And maybe help me out with this shiny Geodude luck, you know. I would take that too. <laughs> um, back with some frozen yogurt. Very nice. My wife has made us swear off of any ice cream related things. And I think she would also count frozen yogurt, probably. Burbs are very loud at first, but after a while you just tune it out. See, here's the thing, is I stream and said screaming burb, everybody would hear it. Have you guys ever, there's like a um, video where it's this like parrot thing. I guess it was probably a parrot and it has this cup and it's just like, it puts the cup up to its mouth and it's like, ah, ah. <laughs> like just screaming into this cup. And it's just super loud. And it's just like making noise just to make noise. <laughs> that would be the demon bird that I would get. The one that just is going absolutely ballistic. It gets the, the megaphone. <laughs> That'd be the one I'd get. I love ice cream. I'm also a fan. Um, I haven't had it for a very long time though. Nugget, please. Please, friend. 
I don't know if... I mean, I guess this is a... Uh, every sand shrew, because they're kind of rare. Like, they aren't normally popping up very frequently. So every now and then I see one. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Favorite place to get frozen yogurt is a place called... Men oh, I've heard of that place. Menchies? Am I saying that right? Um, yeah. I, I feel like most of those frozen yogurt places are all pretty much the same, right? Like, I've never been to a specific frozen yogurt place and I've been like, this one has my favorite yogurt. They're all kind of the same yogurt situation. They just have a bunch of different toppings that you throw in there, right? Which I guess could determine it if they had the specific thing you were looking for. But I feel like... I'm usually going pretty basic. My wife goes bananas with frozen yogurt. She gets so much stuff. It's like mostly toppings. <laughs> Dinomon, welcome in. Uh, Pazookis are what I'm craving right now. Yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of Pazookis as well. I'm a Pazuki appreciator. It's honestly, it's like, it's kind of perfect. It's got like the, the kind of like ice creamy situation but then it has the more i don't want to say like savory kind of, but you know what i mean like the cookie isn't as like crazy crazy sweet as like the ice cream and stuff so it kind of balances it out a lot of times got a random shiny geodude when i entered this area for the first time rian i i don't need this kind of gloating <laughs> i don't know what it is like I feel like Geodude's kind of everywhere on these maps. And it took me so long to get my first Geodude. It took like a couple sandwiches, I remember. Got nose pass randomly, too. Getting all the, the rock type homies. We're 20 minutes into this, and this is an outbreak. Like, we have really good odds here. You know, one would say we have very good odds here, anyways. Uh, just. Get Publix frozen yogurt. Publix. I've never heard of that one. Is that like a like pre-packed kind of thing? Back with my ice cream cookie. Lots of people really doing me dirty with all this delicious ice cream talk. <laughs> I don't know why you got to do this to me, guys. My favorite ice cream is a sundae. Uh, get jelly beans, gummy bears, and two ice cream sundaes on top of the sundae. There it is. The sundae sundae. <laughs> uh, yogurt. Yogurt, buddy. It's been a hot minute. I was just talking about how we haven't seen yogurt in a while. <laughs> we were just mentioning frozen yogurt so much. He was getting pinged so many times that he's finally here. We summoned him. It's like Beetlejuice. <laughs> I don't care what kind of ice cream it is, as long as it's cookie dough. Yes. Yeah, cookie dough is definitely, like, my go-to, like, default ice cream flavor, right? Like, the the one you get pre-packed or whatever, right? That you can get in any store. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess. What is your guys' like, favorite, like, default flavor ice cream? The one you get at the store. What are you guys getting? I feel like cookie dough is a pretty universally liked one, right? I'm sure I will be proved wrong right now, though. <laughs> it's like, calm, disgusting. L decision as usual. Cookie dough? There you go. Mint ice cream. Uh, oh, mint ice cream is nasty. I only read half of that message. <laughs> Haven't seen Tears of the Kingdom in a while. Forget the ice cream. Um... Woot? What you talking about, Carrie? <laughs> what you mean? What what does Tears of the Kingdom have to do with uh with ice cream? I tried cinnamon churro flavored ice cream. Do they sell that in the store? I mean, I, that is something I would definitely be down with as well. I feel like that's not like a default flavor though. That's definitely a specialty ice cream. A delicious specialty ice cream but specialty. <laughs> Caught my first shiny Hisui in Voltorb. 
Very nice. You guys can have all of the shiny uh, Hisuian Voltorb and regular Voltorb luck too. I don't need any more of it. They're good shinies. I'm going to spread the joy a little bit, but in return, I'm once again asking for your shiny luck for these Geo dudes. <laughs> We need one more. One at least. I need two, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Have you ever been to Crazy Mason? Crazy Mason. I've never heard of that spot. Raze, I appreciate you. $1.99 from Rowers Plays. Would you Rose. say it's your Dota flavor? Um, my Dota flavored. No, I would not say that. <laughs> um, Brian really butchered that whole message. Messed up your name, messed up all of the delivery on that. But I will say, pretty okay. Pretty good. <laughs> Been lurking a little and dropping a like from the shadows, Yogurt. I appreciate you. I appreciate you lurking and liking from the shadows. Um, and the rest of you guys, if we have any lurkers out there, which I know we do. I'm saying it like I don't know this. We have lurkers out there. I appreciate you guys hanging out, watching the stream, maybe throwing me a like, like old yogurt. Uh, it helps me out even if you're not chatting. I appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll shout out the VOD appreciators too. VOD appreciators. You watching in the future right now. I appreciate you too. Uh, make sure you like this VOD as well if you're sitting around. I'm calling you out. I appreciate you. You should pop into a stream one of these days. Yeah. That is all. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. We got a lot of... It's definitely a lurking vibe here. Calm is ice creaming internally right now. I'm always ice creaming. Oh. <laughs> ice creaming. It really... You have to space out the words <laughs> we're, we're just gonna rewind here just stop hold stop stop it don't don't look at me i don't want anything to do with this the uh, no questions no further questions <laughs> i don't even want to say it i screaming screaming I really play a dangerous game every night, going live. I have no buffer here. I There's no manual override censor, censorship option. <laughs> $1.99 from Sir Fernando the Fondue King. Flim Flam Sammy Sam, I like green eggs and ham. Um. <laughs> well, alright. <laughs> Fernando, I appreciate that. Brian really is going bananas trying to read these things. I appreciate you, buddy. And I appreciate the two bucks. <laughs> Brian's really being tested tonight. Uh, fell for the modernist trick in the book. Yeah, I... I feel like that one wasn't even a bait. It was just me really not being the greatest with reading comprehension and speaking and, you know, just all the things you need to be a streamer, basically. All of those things, yeah, I don't do those things. Reading, nah, that ain't me. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Feel violated by our streamer, ban him, do it. Get me out of here, it was a good run. It's, it's time to shut it down, I think. <laughs> and everybody said and nothing of value was lost stream over <laughs> uh, love this stuff calm is just fun to watch carry what a what a homie <laughs> I really wish that geodude was also a, uh, a fan of mine because it would be great We'd actually find... Oh my god, please. Here we go. <laughs> it resets the spawns. Oh, it... I'm missing something, but what's the point of entering Picnic? Yeah, so... 
all of these Pokemon when they're spawned, we know after I look around that there aren't any shinies, but I want them all to go away so I can get a new batch. And uh, when I go into the picnic, it despawns everything. Every Pokemon that spawned in, they go away. And then when I close out, it spawns a whole bunch of new ones. So, yeah, that's how I just quickly, without having to run away, run back, get a whole bunch of other spawns happening, potentially run into something else. Like, here's my other option. Is I run far enough away for the Geodudes to despawn, we get a bunch of other spawns here that I have to kind of look at. And then I fly back over. Oh, God. And then I mess it up like I just did there. And then we're kind of back here and we, we look around. It just, especially when I'm having to read chat and stuff, it makes it a little bit easier if I just go over and picnic reset. It's just, I can look at chat while I'm doing it. It takes a second and then every, oh God. <laughs> um, this is where I got my bonsai outbreak. Very nice. He's a cool little dude. Ceiling cat with $10 ten dollars of the Grandmaster Ceiling Cat Euroboros, Mr. Carr. A quote for the Ohio Chronicle. What do you have to say on the topic of speaking English? Can hmm. you do it? Also, how many Sneasels in Ohio do you think can do so as well? Um, I would definitely say that there are more English proficient Sneasels than there are English proficient Calm and Collectings. Is that a fair statement? I feel like it is. And I feel like we could all agree with that too, right? We're all on the same page here. <laughs> There's definitely more of those than there are of me. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It really is. It would be a great skill for me to have as a streamer. English. <laughs> it really would be nice, or honestly, any language. If, if your boy could proficiently speak a language, that'd be enough. Raise with the five. Raise, I appreciate you. Guys, remember, if you're not opted in yet, exclamation gift, make sure you are. Otherwise, you cannot get those gifted memberships. Uh, and you don't want to miss out on those spicy emotes. Everybody else, a Mr. Kappa, a bruh, maybe a pay button. Show some love in the chat. All right, moving right along. And zombies got a uh, gifted membership, getting some high value targets here. <laughs> Electrobuzz, welcome in. Sorry, you're in the uh, the mix of all the gifties there. <laughs> welcome in, buddy. All right, I think we only have, okay. We have like about two more resets here. Come on, man, come on. Uh, sorry I'm late. I've been grinding Pokemon Go with the boys. Got a shiny Hisui and Voltorb and all of the Lake Spirits. One of those things is more exciting than the... Or <laughs> three of those things are more exciting than the uh, the others, I think. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Lots of cool Gen 4 things. Uh, Hassan with the Gifty. Who are you targeting? You got Toast. Love to see it. <laughs> toast, make sure you say thanks. How many have you found? I'm at 22. 22. What? <laughs> I have not found 22 anything today. I'll just let you know. I have found two. Two shinies of any variety. <laughs> uh, Voltorb used explosion. You hate to see it. That's why you need to have a Golduck or something with damp. It's a very important shiny hunting friend. All right, well, we might come back to this outbreak. We'll check these last few here. Um, we have it set up so we can come back here. Maybe later on we like do a rock Sammy or something and we'll come back for the um, Geodudes because I do need a, a Probo Pass as well. We'll do one reset of just just me flying back and forth here let's just without the picnic just a nice regular reset of all the geodudes see if maybe that's our issue maybe they don't like picnics it's not appearing to be a picnic problem 
we gave it our best shot. Um, I'm not really sure where I wanna where I wanna go. What I wanna do here? We have a lot of things we still need. Was in Argentina last week and saw that I could buy memberships for like five cents. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, Electrobuzz, you should have did it. And that makes me think, you can buy my memberships for five cents? Man, it might almost be worth gifting just thousands to get the other emotes. <laughs> That's insane. I mean, still, <laughs> a thousands, even at five cents, will eventually add up to being uh, real dollar dues. But that's crazy. Uh, I didn't realize that it, it changed that much with the different currencies and stuff like that i wouldn't be mad just so you guys know <laughs> i think it would be cool to get to some of those crazy numbers to unlock some of the the emote slots because they're locked behind how many members you have uh i got oh use quagsire because he has yawn honestly that's a good call yeah that's a good option um how do i see what shinies you have exclamation living decks in the chat um, and actually, I'm going to be looking at that too really quick because I need to see where the heck I want to go. I'm pretty sure I have Victory Bell. Hold on. I need to update my little living decks here. We have Sinchino and Minchino. We definitely got my nun too. Man, we have found some very good shinies. Have Galvantula. Sorry, I'm updating my list here because otherwise I'm going to go for something that I already have and it's going to suck. <laughs> We don't want that, right? We never got a Piplup. I might have to go back there because we have not found one of those yet. Um, Trap Inch. Bear with me, guys. I'm looking through the list here. Trap Inch we got. We never got a um, Flygon? Hmm. Look at this list, man. We got some good stuff in here. Some spicy shinies. We don't have an Execute. We don't have any of the Rhyhorns or anything. Man, we need a lot of the things still. <laughs> I I like it, honestly. I like that we have a large list of homies we need to find still. We have a shield on already. I didn't realize I got one of those. We have Galvantula. I thought I had a Golet. not have a golet? Hmm. Guess not. Golet is one that I would definitely like to go and try out. And then all the starters. We got a uh, Chikorita. Alright, we got that. Sorry guys, I have to go through my list a little bit. Otherwise I'm gonna double catch things and it's gonna be a nightmare. I, um... <clears throat> I kind of wouldn't mind doing a hunt in Kitakami today, too, besides the Geo dude. We need a Sand Slash. We need a uh, Chimeco still? What the heck? I thought we had that. Uh, we need Shift Tree, Ludicolo, Probopass still. There's a few things in Kitakami we still need, too. We need Levani. Man, Grass might be an interesting Sammy because we need Ludicolo, Shift Tree, Levani, and Victory Bell. And I know for sure we have a bunch of grass types in the second DLC as well. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I just go do a grass Sammy. Maybe I start one off here. We look around. Man, I'm not sure how I want to do it. I'm spoiled for choice right now. <laughs> um, you don't have Hisui Sneasel. I knows that. I caught two yesterday. I don't think you saw because of Critical Role. We got two Sneasels yesterday. And they got paired up with uh, <laughs> with a couple of Golducks. It was really just a, a beautiful relationship that happened. Very modern couple. Uh, if you just do exclamation living decks. And the link is in the chat. I can see it. Stream Elements will post it. When you do it. Exclamation living decks in the chat. <clears throat> What does Pikachu shiny look like? It's just kind of like orange. It's like a darker, kind of yellowy color. You know, I'd really like to get a uh, Seedra. And we still need a... Um... 
dude, man, there's so many cool Pokemon options for me here. If I do a Ghost Sammy, we'll get Golet and Golurk up here, right? This is a really, really nice spot over here. I think we might try a Ghost Sammy. I'm trying to think about the other Ghost types that I need, though. If I do Ground, I'll just get a bunch of the moles, which I do not need. Alright, we're gonna save. I think we're gonna do a Ghost Sammy after I get Golit and Golurk, though. What would I go for? Go for? <laughs> There's literally, like, no other Ghost types in this DLC besides them. Are they the only Ghost types at all in this DLC? Is that a thing? I think they're the only ghost types in this DLC. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't see any other ghost types. If I do get them, I guess we need Chandelure still. So that's a thing. Uh, we also need Polchegeist and Sinistra, the regular forms. Alright, we're going to do a ghost, Sammy. I like the sound of that. Hopefully we get uh, Golit and Golurk, both very good shinies. <clears throat> uh, Hoodha. Don't be spamming all caps, Buckaroo. Just a, a tiny timeout for you. Just a cool 10 seconds. Don't spam caps, guys. If I miss your message, I'm sorry. It is, it is on me, but uh, you don't want to get noticed for caps. <laughs> um, Petrarunt. Yeah, I'm talking, I guess, like shiny huntable options, right? And the uh, the second part of the DLC. Rotom's a ghost type. Yeah, but I, I guess I kind of meant like new. New things in the DLC. Uh, Meganium has a gender difference. Chikorita is so annoying to get already. But I did find that one. Just super random. Alright, let's get the Sammy guide. Let's see. It's been a while since I've made all these Sammies. Let's see if I still got it. Ghost is two red onion, prosciutto, and the peppers. I don't even know how much herb I have. Oh, you know what? We're doing pretty good. I was a little concerned. I wasn't sure where I left. <laughs> all right. Got the Shrek goo, Sammy. This is what summons the golets. This is a very not symmetrical sandwich and it's kind of driving me insane, but what can you do? What can you do? We're gonna make it extra not symmetrical now. Sometimes you just need to try some, some new art styles when you're making sandwiches. When you're this good, you have to push the limit. <laughs> uh, my, my character Pepper says hello. She is pink. Character Pepper. Hmm. Um, talking Mimikyu. Talking Mimikyu. What you talking about? What you mean? Uh, my last time for real, because last time he was cooking... What? Uh, asking because the topic has changed, but look at the Discord to see that amazing milkshake. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that is a crazy milkshake. I will give you that. That, uh, that is a lot of sugar. And that is also the screaming parrot that I was talking about, screaming into the cup. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard for me to get, like, to look at the Discord while I'm here screaming. You know how it goes. Trying to look at chat and all that, too. Really want a long-necked Pikachu. Um, and please, no more giraffe changes of electric types. <laughs> let's just, let's leave all of them their regular length. This kind of sucks because the Golurk spawn on top of the Golas. I don't know if I will immediately see it or not. Scarlet and Violet need a Hisui and Sneasel outbreak. Yeah, I mean, they have been doing events for these different Hisui and, like, forms and stuff. So I think there's a decent chance that that would happen. 
we definitely have some chance. We only get six at a time. This is kind of weird. Um, just checked. I don't know how I could eat all of that nowadays. That, the, uh, shake. Yeah, the shake is something else. <laughs> I think they might spawn over here, too. I'm kind of burning Sammy time here, but... Okay, they do spawn over here. I think I'm going to maybe just run around. I don't know. We could try picnic recent. Let's just see how it looks. We we got a bunch of time. Been craving sugar, but not like that. Too much sugar. <laughs> we always end up talking about food and I get hungry. Yeah, see, that's that's the issue, isn't it? <laughs> I feel you on that. Although, lucky me, I definitely don't like a lot of food. So, a lot of times, uh, I get to sidestep that. And then, sometimes you guys just eat hamburger helper packets. And that also helps me kind of, like, get around some of that, too. But, um, yeah, in this case, I definitely trust River's judgment on that shake. My wife brought me a snack. Oh, a kiss. There, there it is. I got a, a kiss. I'm going to try right here and just see. I got a Hershey kiss. My wife got a, a thing of these for Galentine's. So I know this is a, a, a Galentine snack, but I'm getting my, my share of it, I guess. Part of Galentine's. <laughs> All right, this is better than the other spot just because we see so many more, but it kind of sucks because I, like, am stuck looking all over the place. But I guess this is better than the alternative of only seeing six every reset. Uh, went with my big sister. Hers was bigger. The shake? <laughs> there's, there's a bigger one? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's your, uh... Your calories for the week, I think. That gigantic one. Um, yeah, I don't think I could do it. I feel like I definitely can eat some sweets, can live that life. But after a certain point, I feel like I would just get sick of it. It's just too much. Too much ice cream for your boy. And I guess that just means I'm getting old. Maybe there was at one point in my life a time where it just be insatiable right like i would just be destroying that whole shake whatever it was any amount of ice cream i think we all at one point would have been there but i just i know myself nowadays old man calm he can't do it man <laughs> i don't got it in me I uh, started watching solo leveling, and holy cannoli, it's so good. Yeah, I'm caught up on that. I actually read most of the, um, the, like, manhwa, the, um, Korean manga thing that it was based on, and it had really, really cool art in that, but, yeah, I've been watching it. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. It's nice that they, I, I really wasn't sure if they were gonna do it justice, but, uh, the animation's really good, it's a good time. Uh, they have a website if you want to go look. I'll probably not be doing that during stream. I don't know if I want to if I want to get myself hungry for ice cream. I can't eat it. <laughs> I, I don't want to be sad about ice cream. <laughs> I've been doing pretty good. <laughs> don't be like pushing me towards this. I don't want to know. All right, I think I'm just going to picnic reset over here. Just gonna go right. Yeah. <clears throat> the body starts to let you know it's at its limits after you hit it. Yeah, after you're in your 30s. It's uh it's like yeah, no more of this. <laughs> we ain't doing that. <laughs> so don't make me get diabetes on you. I'll do it. And I know myself, I'm I'm probably close to that already, anyways. I I know how I was eating. How I am eating. 
Uh, my brother reads the manhwa. It's current is currently what? I'm currently the reading the manhwa <laughs> for Tower of God. I haven't heard of that one. I honestly, I go in these phases where I read a bunch of like manga and stuff, and um, then I don't read for like a long, long time for manga stuff, and then I go back and I just like binge a whole bunch of it. Um, I'm kind of in my not as much anime and manga phase, but I like it because when it kind of happens in waves like that, I have a lot of stuff to check out when I finally get back into it. I'm not like all caught up on a bunch of stuff. I just have a ton of new shows and a ton of new things to check. And uh, it's pretty neat. Get a, just a big chunk of things. <laughs> uh, we are heathens. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Her husband went up the street to get a gigantic slice of pizza. This was after the barbecue. You guys are just killing it. <laughs> it's bulking season. That's the, the justification. Bulking season. <laughs> it's so weird that the golets spawn underneath all of the golurks. There's something weird with like the spawn tables for these things. Because they're all like on top of each other. The golets kind of freak me out. I don't, it, like, it is something with the lighting. I know they go green and they're like kind of a dark gray, black kind of color. But for some reason, sometimes when they're like looking away or there's like a big shadow on them, it kind of messes with me. <clears throat> uh, when you hit 30, your back will start hurting. See, that happened a little early for me because of the, the back, uh surgery and stuff but it was gonna happen anyways i i just jumped the gun on it a little bit <laughs> it was inevitable there was no escaping uh, going for shiny living decks and let's go can i get some good luck good luck it's a it's a good time honestly it's something i wouldn't mind completing myself i don't know if and when i'll do it i do have all of the legendaries in that game already and I've caught a decent chunk of shinies in that. But uh, I'm definitely nowhere near the full living decks yet. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. It's a nice, like, passive kind of shiny hunting method. You do the the uh, catch combos and stuff, but honestly, you can get the charm and you can just kind of, like, chill and just watch the screen, too. Like, if you just want to have something kind of to keep an eye on. It's also something that you can do without really having to do much at all. You just have to watch and whenever a shiny pops up, you can encounter it. A lot of people, like before the catch combo stuff was understood, were just basically doing that anyways. They'd get it up to like the, I forget what the number was, but they'd get it up to like a hundred catch combo or whatever the number was, and then just sit there. And uh, which, you know, some people got their whole shiny living decks that way back when that game first came out so it's an option might not be the most efficient <laughs> but sometimes efficiency isn't the only thing right have to be keeping your sanity too sanity's cool it's nice every now and then <laughs> uh zoomed right into a wall um in real life you you zoom in into walls playing some vr games <laughs> uh, last October when I rented a cabin um, I honestly I think that would be pretty fun when I was a kid we went out I told a story about this I guess we're going to tell this again I went with um, my friend's family to this cabin when I was a lad and um, it was really cool on the trip there though we were all packed into this big uh, like suburban that they were driving and it had it was like a three row seater thing and um we were in the middle row of seats and the back row is like in the back back so there there aren't windows and doors and stuff to it it's like the the very back and you have to crawl out through the kind of like middle seats and um my friend he's sitting on the side the passenger side his brother's sitting in the front and his dad is in the driver's seat and i'm behind his dad we all have our windows down because it's nice out. 
and we're going up into the mountains and stuff. And uh, my friend, he does this like <laughs> Looney Tunes yawn, just like one of these like, like crazy, as wide as he could open his mouth. And right at the time he did that, his older brother spits the nastiest, just like, just blast of spit out the window. And because all the windows are open, my friend yawning, it gets sucked in his window right into his like face slash open mouth. And he was like mid yawn. So he was like, oh, ah. <laughs> like he just started, started screaming. He got blasted. <laughs> and I was dying. He was, uh, obviously not happy about it <laughs> but uh it was a good time a good time for me who wasn't in the passenger seat <laughs> yeah you got to be careful with the the yawn timings just in general you got to know your physics because it uh can be a bad time for you <laughs> what did i come back to a sad story uh, well, not sad for me. Kind of funny for me, but sad for the, the friend. <laughs> Good thing I just finished eating. Well, we weren't too graphic, right? <laughs> I was dying, dude. It was... And I like... It was like I saw it in slow motion almost. Because I was just like a... I was just a viewer of the situation, you know? Like I saw all of the, the pieces of the puzzle getting put into place. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a time. What I don't know. I think us getting those Voltorbs right at the beginning uh kind of cursed us here. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how this Sammy ends up. But uh I'm a little concerned. Your boy's concerned. There might be a better spot than this, honestly, for the golets and everything. I might change it up. Let's see. There's a spot kind of over here that I remember, too. Um, who wants to do some BP farming? Guys, if you guys want to do any BP grinding, I don't mind you guys uh, posting up a code and doing that stuff in the chat. The only thing I ask is if you have to do a bunch of, like, team communication and stuff, please keep it in the Discord, just because it's really confusing for me <laughs> to know, like, what's for me and what's not. But, uh, yeah, feel free. Now's the time. We have a bunch of people shiny hunting, doing their thing. So, uh, yeah. Now's the time to find... Oh, wow. To find the homies. We just found the homie. Got a goal it. <laughs> um, all right. Not go lurk, go lit. A friend. I don't know if this thing has anything that can KO itself. Uh, let me just take a look-see real quick, because I am I feel like it might. Go lit. What level is this thing? I think it was like 50-something. 65, oh god. Uh, Phantom Force, Hammer Arm, Earthquake, Dynamic Punch. All right. Easy peasy. Uh, so we really don't have any concerns about this. Nothing to KO itself. Um, we'll just spore it and... Luxury Ball, I guess. Been hunting since I joined, so I think we both got our shiny luck at the same time. What did you get? Oh, got Gyarados. Very nice. <laughs> and me and Rianne, we're all synced up. Well, hopefully your luck picks up, so mine also picks up. We can have a, a nice, just a twin life, kind of shiny situation. <laughs> Somebody in Violet has an exclusive outbreak. Um, yeah, same thing. If you guys want to join up for any, any group stuff, now is the time. And if you're also, like, if you're watching the VOD, maybe, or if you're uh, not like able to do it right now uh, feel free to join the discord too we have a bunch of people doing not only like BP grinding and stuff we have people doing Dynamax adventures you can flex when you get shinies <laughs> we have a bunch of homies over there too so uh, feel free to hang out exclamation discord in the chat and if you're watching a VOD it's in the description too just 
Just so you know. It's there. We have options. Hello, VOD watchers. In the future. Yes, they are in the future. <laughs> Legit spent an hour on an outbreak. Uh, so when you were saying you were concerned, I was also concerned. We're, we're concerned together. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad it's working out. It's all turning around. Oh, I need to get Golet on the board, too. Hold up. Golet. Golet's Gen 5. Right? Mm. Right? Or is it Gen 6? Uh, Gen 5. Okay. Like at the very, very end of the decks. We have a really cool squad of homies right now. I think he's a little high up. We'll do that. I think he's at ground level. Gen 5, all right. The people are letting me know. I appreciate that. I, uh... <laughs> Sometimes it, it's tough. You get a little mixed up. What can you do? It'd be cool if we found a Golurk and not just another Golit. It would be nice if we just found anything, but if I, if I could choose, I would like to see the Golurk. Not just have to evolve a Golit, you know? It's just a little more special that way. Get the fully evolved homie. <clears throat> we must keep going. I have a Ducklet outbreak. Very nice. It's a very good shiny. It's too bad. It's too bad Swana is just not great. Ducklet is so good and Swana is just so whatever. Why does it have to be like that, huh? <laughs> uh, hello, calm and chat. Been a little bit since I stopped by, but I think I might stay here for a bit. Well, Agent, I appreciate you popping back in. It has been a hot minute, but uh, yeah, feel free to hang out. You not been doing much uh, Pokemon stuff lately or what? I, I know that... I, I don't hold it against you guys. I know we all have other things going on, and even I get burnt out on Pokemon stuff, so I get that. <laughs> There's a lot of, I feel like, people who are kind of around during the Pokemon releases and events and stuff, and then kind of are doing their own thing, and I can't blame anybody for that. So, don't stress it. Um, Gatlinburg is crowded. Gatlinburg. What's Gatlinburg? I'm assuming that's where you're at. <laughs> Gatlinburg. These take a minute to spawn in, but this isn't too bad. This is definitely better than the other spots. Like, nice easy checks. Haven't used my switch in a bit, just playing Isaac. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. No, Isaac is a good time. Um, my brother has kind of been getting me wanting to play that a little bit more recently i showed everybody the other day but i um i bought myself a like a hitbox god it's so greasy the uh like aluminum finish on this is nice but dude it just attracts the gamer grease man but i got like a a hitbox controller and i got tekken 8 and i've been kind of trying to play that a little bit I um, used to play a lot of fighting games and stuff. I'm a fraud, but yeah. I've just been trying some other things out kind of during the day when I'm not streaming, stuff like that. But <laughs> uh, it's actually pretty fun. I do like Tekken. It's uh, Fighting games are tough. It's tough to be good at fighting games. Uh, the home of the one and only Dolly Parton. Not, uh, not Cracker, Bur Cracker Barrel, eh? I almost, I said Cracker Barrel, like, <laughs> I said it like they would say it, I think. <clears throat> Who's your main? In Tekken, I play King. I really, I play a lot of, like, heavy characters, I guess. I played a lot of Jack in Tekken 7, and I'm not good at these games, just so we're clear. But uh, I really like King. I've always liked King. King is so cool. Good choice. I appreciate that. <laughs> He's a cool dude. A wrestler. He'd be throwing people. 
the jaguar head. I mean, there's there's just so much to like with that dude. <laughs> I'm a big king appreciator. Um, calm. I thought you said Cracker Bert. Cracker Bert. Bert? What do you mean? <laughs> of course it's King. Good choice. Uh, Electrobus. What does that mean? <laughs> of course it's King. Do I look like a King, a King main? I don't know what that, if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> Buddy of mine got me into Tekken. I'm a Lily main. Yeah. Here's the thing, my one of my friends is also um, a Lily player, but I think he's wanting to change it up during this next Tekken game. I'm not sure where he's going to go with it. I'm really bad at Tekken. I would like to be good at Tekken, but uh, I don't know. And I've honestly, I've never played on a hitbox like that controller that I got. I just think they're really interesting. And since I'm already bad at Tekken, I feel like it would be good to learn a hitbox while I'm already learning the game and I'm bad. Because then I'll like be able to get the muscle memory and whatever and I'll just... like it, It's not going to feel like I'm not able to do stuff because I already kind of don't know what I'm doing. So it's a good time to try all the new things. Just all at once. <laughs> what could go wrong? Does Tekken have a bear character? Two of them. It has Kuma and Panda. Tekken 8 has both of them. They're different characters. I think they used to be the same character, but just like different skins. But now they're they're their own unique characters. <laughs> I like Pokken. Um, I have only played Pokken like once. It looks interesting. There's like a video of a comparison of Pokken and all of the attacks that are in Pokken that are Tekken character moves. And it's kind of interesting to see the combinations. So like Pikachu in Pokken is just Hihachi in Tekken. And if you guys know Tekken and you know who Hihachi is, it's really funny to think that they decided like, yeah, cute little Pikachu. That's going to be this angry old man... <laughs> <laughs> that throws his kids off mountains and stuff. That's what Pikachu is. It's basically just Heihachi. Uh, does Tekken have a breakdancing character who would always use his legs to attack? Yeah, Eddie Gordo. There, there was a girl one too. Um, and I can't remember what her name was. Honestly, I did not play a lot of Tekken growing up. So I don't know like a ton of the characters besides like the OG ones. Um, <laughs> oh, Nick, you're heading out. Sorry, I'm behind on chat. <laughs> we'll see you around, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Um, that one over there looked a little weird. I had to kind of look around the corner. They definitely used to be two skins for the same character, but I used to play Kuma at the arcade a bunch. Very nice. Yeah, so now you have two choices. Be Kuma or Panda. I'm not really sure what the differences are for those characters, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, you got some variety. Added variety. Eddie was your guy. Yeah, I feel like Eddie was a lot of people's guy. <laughs> the breakdancing was definitely a nice, like, you could hit some buttons and you could do some things. It was a nice, easy to pick up. You just hit them with the Brazil. <laughs> um, what is the event um, for Scarlet and Violet, you mean? It just is boosted shiny odds for Voltorb, Fungus, and Hisui and Voltorb. So, Hisui and Voltorb you can't normally catch in this game. So, we got two of those. And, uh, yeah. Now we're done with that event. We already had all the other things. Aquamar Aquamarine, welcome in. A merry day to you as well. <laughs> 100 Bulbasaur catch combo. That must take forever. The first, like, what is it, like 10 to get it so that the chain is going and it starts spawning the rare things. Yeah, that must take forever. Good luck. 
uh, everyone would get mad at me because I would always spam the one move. Yeah, uh, that that sounds like Eddie. <laughs> it was definitely like you could pick him up easy, do some damage, and if people didn't know what the heck was going on, you would just take him out. <laughs> um, shiny Alpha Carnivine, very nice. I don't even know if I have one of those. We were cursed with Shiny Carnivines for a while in that game. But I don't think I ever got a shiny alpha one. I would be down to get one of those, honestly. It would be the one carnivine I would like to see. Uh, ever done a Lediba hunt? It's... It was never in Scarlet and Violet, right? And I don't think it's been in... Is Has Lediba not been in Scarlet and Violet Sword or... Sh oh, wow. Dang. <laughs> you love to see it. Sorry, I got interrupted here. Go lurk. We got him. Here we go. Let's see. I, this probably also doesn't have anything that'll KO itself, but let's just see. I'm glad we got the evolution here. It's even cooler. Uh, dynamic punch. Yeah, same moves. Same moves. All right. Let's catch this thing. Yeah, we're on a roll. Um, Rianne, how's it going? How are things looking? Oh, I just chucked a luxury ball. I haven't even... Hold on, I gotta put you to sleep. I'm getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> he said, stop it. Stop it. Um, Spore, go to sleep. You're fine. You're fine. After this, Sammy, we need to look at the... Um, if we got any marks on any of these two. When he's asleep, his eyes go dim. Have you guys noticed that? His eyes kind of turn off. That's kind of cool. Neat little, little something. <laughs> Did any, anyone else watch the Mortal Kombat movie from 2021? No, I only watched the, the old school ones. I watched those at the drive-in. That was a good time. Had a little Caesar's pizza. It was a fantastic time in the calm timeline. Gen 5, boom, found him. That wasn't too bad, although I don't know exactly where, where we're going now. We need Chandelure. I guess we just go to Kitakami and we try to... It, Litwick is nighttime only, right? So I don't know. I guess we probably can't go there because it isn't nighttime. Um, we can go for Sinistra and Poltergeist. What else? Got the ghosty boys. Check those off on the living decks. Um, man, it kind of sucks because of the day nighttime thing. That's the thing that kind of got us with Kitakami is there's a lot of things that are like day-night specific. Kitakami has a different day-night cycle? Oh. I mean, I guess we can try. We, we literally only have a couple minutes left. I think that's probably what we got to do. And worst case, I guess we'll go for Sinister or Poltergeist. Are those day-night spawns? Do you guys know? Either way, we don't really have other options. I guess we'll just... We'll fly there and see. Big money. God, there's no... Fast travel spot up there. Do you like Maractus? Yeah, it's cool. I've been clickbaited. Ducklet outbreak, but not a single ducklet spawn as the outbreak set on a peak in Fellhorn Gorge. Um, outbreaks are really broken like that a lot of times, I feel like. Oh, it's nighttime too. Okay, we got three minutes and uh, 48 seconds, so I don't know. I mean, we have the potential if we can actually get over here. Uh, I don't, I'm just going to keep going. I feel like that thing looks weird. It isn't weird. I just need to keep moving, man. We need to get over to the... Like, look how blue that looks. You're not... It, it is shiny. <laughs> we 
<laughs> it's kind of shiny annihilate out of nowhere. I'm like, man, this thing looks so blue. That's because it is so blue. There, there he is. <laughs> okay, well, this isn't exactly what, uh, what we came here for, but uh, I'm down with getting this. This is like my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon, so uh, we take those. Let's get him on the board. What a guy. What a guy. We we weren't here for this specifically, but, you know, we take what we can get. He looks like such a short king next to Golurk. Let me see if this thing has anything that can KO itself. Level 70. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, uh... Level 70. Final Gambit, Outrage, Stomping, Tantrum, Screech. All right, we're good. Um, this is a great ball. Blue and red? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Why are you playing games with me? All right, I am just going to start chucking great balls. This one's for Sir Shicker. Final Gambit kills itself? No. That's... Oh god, does it? <laughs> okay, hold on. Um Final Gambit. Final Gambit's no good. It does. Oh god. Well, you know what? I don't have time to try to fiddle around. If he vi final gambits, then what can we do? He's locked into outrage right now. I will say maybe I Terra Ghost. Can I terastalize and not attack? Oh. Oh, but then it's, it gets insomnia. I was like, oh, well, I'll just use Worry Seed, and then I will uh, put it to sleep. <laughs> but insomnia... <laughs> uh, this way, it won't use Final Gambit, because it won't be effective, right? Uh, Sir Shicker, welcome in. We summoned you with the um, with the Great Balls, I think. Final Gambit and Memento are tricky. Yeah, I do. If you know what, if um, Breloom gets KO'd, we'll get Milady in here and we'll go ahead and use Taunt. Yeah, see, it doesn't even matter. We're fine. We're f you guys are all stressing for nothing. Just like that, we got it in a great ball because Sir Shicker rolled up. You love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right, all right. We need to get over to this. How much time do we got? A minute. There's no chance, right? We need a. Honestly, I should have been up top. In fact, oh, I'm just, I'm making the worst decisions tonight. If we were up here, we would see a bunch of Litwicks. This is where we should have gone. But I found a shiny Annihilate while we were down in the other spot, so I guess it wasn't a bad decision, just a, an interesting decision. Yeah, look at him. This was the spot where I got my first couple. Oh, Duskull's up here too. I think I might need a Dusknoir. I'm not sure on that. <laughs> yeah, we're in the Great Ball timeline right now. He's going to bring over the Avatar. Uh, yeah, I've been talking about it. I just need reminders because your boy is not very good about this stuff. <laughs> kind of at a standstill with the Professor's Battle. I keep losing. Um, Professor's Battle. Is that a shiny... Is it just the lighting? Right, grass thing is up. Are you? No, it looks so weird. It looks like so crazy blue, that thing. Am I insane with that glimmit? Like, they always kind of look shiny to me. All right, anyways, we, we got some cool stuff. Let's take a look at um, if we got any marks on any of these things, actually. Um, we were going for a little candle friend 
it turned into daytime, but that's fine. We actually had a pretty good go of it overall, all things considered. Let's see what we got. Uh, River, you're heading out. We'll see you around. Thanks for hanging. Let's take a look at all of these friends. Uh, nothing on Voltorb number one. You know what? I haven't seen Voltorb in this. The, like, glossy kind of paint finish on this thing looks really cool, actually. No. Are they both sassy? They're both sassy. That's weird. <laughs> All right, Golet. We have a mark on Golet. And we have a mark on Annihilate. Any mark guesses for uh, Golet and Annihilate? A couple mark shinies. Yeah, I do have the mark charm. <laughs> Um, the crystal pool makes glim glimmer. Yeah, it definitely has a bit of a glimmer. Uncommon. Don't do this to me. All right. The golet. Dawn mark. Pretty cool. Um, and annihilate. Give me a rare mark. Dude, this is the worst nature for this thing. <laughs> or one of the worst. Special attack up, attack down. Real bad. All right, Annihilate. Rare Mark. I hope you all are happy. I'm gonna equip it. I hope you're all very happy. <laughs> all right, let's evolve one of these things. We'll evolve the higher level one. Um, I want to go to kind of a sunny spot, though. I want to get a good look at this thing. The moon is still up, but we're getting daytime spawns. What the heck is going on? Uh, Matsuyorific. I appreciate the raid. Welcome in. Uh, we'll get people a, a hot minute with this raid to, uh, to pop in. But uh, anybody with the raid, welcome in. If you guys don't know me, I'm calm and collecting. I'm a calm guy. Uh, I do some shiny hunting. So... Welcome, welcome. Feel free to hang out. Uh, Matsuyo, how's it going? What were you doing? And Oriso, how you doing, buddy? I feel like it's been such a, a hot minute. So many homies popping in tonight. My wife is here. She brought me a snack. Oh, a single goldfish. Great. <laughs> yeah, welcome in, Raiders. We just got a few shinies, actually. All the stuff up there we've caught tonight. We kind of have like a, a dark gray slash blue kind of theme going on tonight. All of kind of the darker shade shinies. All right, this is a leaf stone, right? We should have a couple leaf stones. How many? Just 52. We might have to buy a couple more. We're definitely kind of hurting on leaf stones. Oh, that sucks. We don't see it in the overworld. I, this is still good. I really like the details on the textures in this game. You can really see that it looks like painted wood for the uh, the top half of him. Just saved our last team member. Very nice. Playing Persona 4 Golden. A fantastic game. I've been playing through uh, 3 Reload recently. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm down with this. I'm definitely down with the, uh... <laughs> it's crazy, because this, like, frown, it really does just look like they flipped. Like it was supposed to be a smile at first, and they said, eh, make it a frown. <laughs> like, this would make just as much sense the opposite way, I feel like. Uh, Shiny Hisui and Voltorb Electrode look so good in this game. They really do. Yeah, they, the textures really just make a lot of Pokemon look so amazing in this. Sure, we'll give it its special move. Uh, did one of the Voltorb outbreaks today and got my final one for the Paldia Shiny decks. Uh, it was Shiny 178 out of 392. Very nice. Yeah, we got ours really quick, and then we had kind of a, a dry spell. So, hopefully we're, we're out of that. 
Um, what do I want to go for next? That is the question. Uh, already finished P3 Reload off stream. We'll be playing on stream once I finish uh, 4 Golden. Have you ever played uh, 4 before? I really, really like 4. I think that as far as the stories are concerned, uh, 4 is my favorite story-wise. I really like a lot of the characters in that game too. Um, Alright, let me see where we're going next. I think we're going to go into this area that we're in. We definitely have a Meow Stick already. Cottony and Whimsicott would be cool. I don't know how I would find just those, though. Uh, Lolan Diglett and Dugtrio are neat. There's like a... That cave we could check for them. I really wouldn't mind, like, Seedra and Lantern. Hmm. Hmm. We could go Grass Sammy and look for Grookey and... Maybe once we get one, we can kind of look around at Cottony and Oddish and stuff, too. Maybe I'm going to do a Grass Sammy. I think we're going to look around, kind of go for maybe a Grookey slash other Grass Friends. I know that isn't necessarily matching the theme that we've had going on, but what can you do? I mean, sometimes you got to get, got to spice it up. Uh, is there any starters you still need to hunt? I need most of them still. <laughs> Piplup. I, you know what? We'll do a Piplup, Sammy, tonight as well, I think, because that was something I was doing in the ice area. It's basically the only, the only water type I still need over there, though, is the problem. We have the potential to see a lot of things we don't need now, which is a bummer, but... I don't think we're getting around that unless we just get an outbreak, right? It's the only way we're escaping the dupes. Uh, Persona 3 Fest was my first Persona game, uh, and I played every other Persona game to come out since. Yeah. I actually, I worked backwards, and I feel like a lot of people are like that. I started with uh, 5 and really liked it and just have been going and playing things in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I played uh, five, five Royal, four Golden, and now this is my first time ever playing three, is uh, uh, Reload. As somebody who played Fest, do you feel like there's a lot missing out of Reload? I know that there's stuff that's in Fest that isn't in... Um, in Reload, right? Like, Reload is just base Persona 3, right? One of these days where I just couldn't miss stream. Um, Raz, I'm glad you're you're popping in. <laughs> uh, has there been any more Persona 6? Uh, I haven't heard anything about old Persona 6. Persona 3 Reload was kind of the last big announcement thing, but I, uh, I'm definitely down for old Persona 6. I'm... I'm ready. I need to finish three, though. <laughs> uh, for everyone hunting the Voltorb and Fungus, uh, even though their event boosted odds, are y'all counting these for living dexes? Yeah, I mean, I am. I feel like it's a different form, and I'm counting forms and gender differences and stuff. It's worth getting if you're doing a living dex, I think, even if you're not necessarily counting it. Um, all right. Grass, Sammy, is what we're doing. The Lechuga. We're going sweet. I feel like the grass types would want the sweet, Sammy. The sweet Lechuga sandwich. Uh, Logan, welcome in. Just joined. Well, uh, if you like shiny hunting, you'll like it here. It's uh, just just some chill vibes. <laughs> We've been popping off tonight. Uh, does shiny male oink alone look much different than the female? Um, yes, kind of. I mean, they're pretty different looking just because I feel like the female one is like more white and pink and the male one is like just pink pink, if that makes sense. 
Uh, and we need a new like goal. Guys, I appreciate you liking the stream. Um, let's get a 200 like goal. I'll pin it up. We're at 150 right now. And I appreciate you guys liking the stream. If you haven't done it yet, just consider doing it. Help your boy out on the algorithm. Um, hmm. <laughs> How do you have so much herba, uh, Larry? Honestly, there are people in the Discord who are super cool and host these raids. Uh, it's been a little bit because people haven't been playing as much Scarlet and Violet. But, um, yeah, whenever people found, like, good herba raids that had a couple herba drops, they would run them and reset so I could... <laughs> Get a bunch of herba. <clears throat> Just mess, you got it. I appreciate you guys. Um, moving right along. What are you hunting right now, uh, Logan? Right now, I'm looking for Grookey. I also need Blossom, so uh, I would be down with that too. But we're looking just at grass types right now. Um, because I'm doing a shiny living dex, there's a lot of things I'm looking for. So usually I do one sandwich one place. I go to another spot. We'll try something else for a little bit. That's kind of been the, the name of the game. That's what I really like about Scarlet and Violet is you're not really locked in. You can kind of do whatever the heck you're feeling like, you know? I feel like, oh god... Grookey always kind of messes with me because when he's facing you like directly he almost like kind of looks shiny he's like a lighter color like that right there looks way way different to me than the other ones but it's not hold on let me like look at how much lighter that one over there looks look at when they're like facing you it's crazy Will I will I be able to spot this immediately? Am I like insane here? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's cuz they have kind of the yellow green kind of face situation going on. All right, I'm going to reset. Uh you should have a starter hunt stream. Yeah, I'd be down. The thing is is like a lot of them need outbreaks for it to work out pretty well. Uh, I haven't played Scarlet and Violet for quite a while. I really need to get in on the shiny game again. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you ever did any of the uh, Sword and Shield stuff with us too, but we've been doing a lot of Dynamax adventures as well, which they're really fun just because we can all play together and do shiny hunts. So sometimes you guys will find them, sometimes I'll find them, but as a community, we're getting shinies. <laughs> yes, it's noticeable. All right. All right. Uh, when I first got Indigo Disc, I procrastinated on the story because I was hyper fixating, didn't want the game to end. Um, <laughs> hey, I mean, honestly, doing the BBQs, doing whatever you feel like doing, that's the, the beauty of this. You can kind of run around shiny hunt early on if you want. Like, it's a nice thing. Uh, Pan of your head now, we'll see you around. Thanks for hanging. Um, is Shiny Magby pretty noticeable? Very much. Yeah, it's like a super yellowy orange. So you will definitely notice it compared to the other ones. It's very, very, very noticeable. <clears throat> I like community DAs uh, because unlike NPCs, everyone is competent. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> we definitely find some folks who, who might not be, but... Um, you at least have a, uh, an organizer. I'm the, we'll call me the captain in this situation. And sometimes I'm also not paying very much attention, so I might also be the problem. But there's at least some semblance of, uh, organization at least. With the NPCs, who knows what the heck they're gonna do, man. It's, it's a mess. <laughs> Um, I still have to unlock the starters in Scarlet. Just so lazy to do the BBQs. Dude, with the with the groups, you'll be done in like 15, 20 minutes. You'll get enough points to get all of them and just never have to look at them again. That's all you gotta do, man. Any groupie that triggers me that I see, I'm just gonna bonk it. I, I can send the little the little car over real quick so it doesn't waste a lot of time oh god 
what do we got time wise 26 minutes we're doing good we're just getting started uh, Zygarde is the one I'm doing with others <laughs> I don't care about speed. Uh, NPCs ain't gonna cut it for Zygarde. Yeah, I actually did that one offline, but I I have two switches, and I had them both connecting to each other, and then I had NPCs for the other um, two spots, and I just had an amazing path. And the thing about it is, if you reset, you can keep the path. And the cool thing about the NPCs is that um, they will make the same exact choices for taking Pokemon, doing things. So, um, as long as you know that you can win with the path you're on and they take the right Pokemon and this and that, like, it will always work. Unless you get some really unlucky crits or something like that, you know? Like, there is a... <laughs> there is a chance you can lose, but they will pick the same Pokemon and stuff, so as long as you find the secret sauce, you're good to go. Only just got on to part two, so I'm still mid-game. Yeah. Honestly, it's kind of cool to just be able to play it a little bit after the fact. People kind of know what's going on, and uh, the game's hopefully running right, as right as it's going to be running. <laughs> yeah. I, I think a little bit later into it isn't a bad way to do it. 11k sub soon, I know. We're at the uh, 10, 9, 6, 9. We're at a, a funny number right now. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are hanging out and you dig the vibes, feel free to sub up. Help your boy out. Trying to get to 11k. We've been slowly just crawling our way up the the numbers here. It's definitely been like when when new games come out, there's always like a big tidal wave of people popping in, sub and hanging out, all that stuff. And then kind of Pokemon's weird like that. It falls off a little bit for a while. And then, new game comes out, so it's just like this. So, you guys hanging out in these uh, kind of slower periods. The real ones. <laughs> Always here, no matter what the heck we're doing. And uh, I appreciate y'all. During these, these slower times, it's a nice time to just kind of hang out. Chat, get these shinies that we've been kind of slacking on a little bit. <laughs> Uh, trying to decide if I should go for a full box of Voltorb like I did with Hisui and Voltorb. <laughs> Why so many Voltorb? You a big Voltorb appreciator? I mean, it's a good shiny. And regular Voltorb, I think, is a better shiny. Personally. But you gotta make your own call on that. They're boosted odds, the regular Voltorb, too. Why not? Uh, the break killed the momentum. That is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, honestly, it's like, I've seen people doing some short streams and stuff too, that, uh, seem like you get a lot of subs and whatever, but I just, I don't know. I don't feel like the shorts are really like a, like it would help this number a lot and it would be like a, a cool vanity subscriber number thing. But I think that like a lot of shorts subs don't actually like watch a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm not sure that it translates very well. And I, I think I'm just not going to bother with the vertical stream stuff personally. But it's not 69 anymore. Well, that's we'll get to the next 69. 96 is the next one. <laughs> There's always another one. We have many of the 69 numbers on the way to old 100K. That's the the end end maybe not end end goal but you know what i mean that's what's on the uh daruma that's the 100k he gets his second eye once we get to that it's a long ways away but we're we're just gonna live our life until then enjoy it <laughs> um yeah i don't know dude i the the shininess has really happened in waves today um, hmm, 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 hmm. Longer content is so much better IMO. Yeah, I, uh, it, it sucks because I really do like making the longer stuff, just like regular videos and everything, but I don't, I haven't found the secret sauce yet to, like, really 
make something that gets picked up with that. I feel like we have a lot of people that watch streams. Sometimes my shorts do all right, but um, I've never really had a regular video that like popped off yet. And the next video I'm making, I, you know, every time I make something, I feel like it's always better. The next video I'm making, I'm pretty excited with uh, what it is and how it's looking so far. So just be prepared. <laughs> the long form calm tent, if you will. I really do like doing the voiceover and kind of putting together all the videos and stuff. I have an editor make it look nice most of the time. The last video, actually, I did all the stuff myself on it. And boy, did that suck. <laughs> I'm happy to have the editor homie uh, helping me out making videos that look decent because I, I am not an editor. I'll just tell you guys. Um, <clears throat> I like long form content and prefer it, but shorts came in hand when you're bored and just want to scroll. I know. It's like you don't have to just do one either, right? Like I feel like all of them can kind of happen on a channel and I feel like that's what YouTube really kind of wants you to do, right? But I there's some times where I feel like maybe you almost kind of get punished for it sometimes. It's just kind of a weird thing. I feel like the analytics and everything are a little hard to understand what exactly is going on sometimes. But uh, your boy's gonna keep keep making stuff either way. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying my best. That, okay, I was gonna say that really looks shiny, but then I saw the next one and it looked exactly the same, so I guess not. Uh, what is on your Pokemon Day wish list? My big two is Legends Johto and Shiny Koridon Miraidon. That is actually pretty cool. I haven't heard people talking about like potential events like that. Um, I would love it if they had some event to... Oh, wow, there's Shiny Grookey. Um, that is really noticeable. I would love it if they had a Shiny... Um... This thing probably has Wood Hammer, right? Hold on, sorry. We're getting sidetracked here. I need to see what Grookey has. <laughs> I don't even know what level it is. Endeavor, it has Wood Hammer. Which is a little spooky. Um, hmm. So I kind of can't false swipe it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to soak to turn it water type. Then we're going to put it to sleep. Whoops. We might be, you know, we might be making this more annoying than it needs, needs to be. But starters are kind of tough. Oh, God. What ball do I catch this in? Is this a dusk ball or a nest ball? What do you guys think? <clears throat> yeah, this was more noticeable than I thought it was going to be. We found a little friend. Uh, now that it's in uproar, can I not put it to sleep? Okay, it didn't hit, so it didn't work. <laughs> I don't know, nest ball, friend ball? Friend ball is an option. Why is it so cute? He's just a cool little dude. How many friend balls do I have? Oh, God. I'll throw one friend ball. Go. Yeah, bummer, dude. We gave it our best shot. Starters are rough. Uh, Jewel, we'll see you around, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. If we see you later... Uh, good. If not, hopefully we see you tomorrow. It works on the nest ball. Come on, man. R.I.P. Friend Ball. We'll need to do some item printer again at some point. It's been a little bit since I've done it. <laughs> Only thing you would be mad at is Let's Go Johto. Honestly, I would be down for a Let's Go game. I really liked Let's Go, and Let's Go Johto would have a bunch of just new stuff, although... Let's Go Johto would have a lot of the original 
Let's Go stuff as well. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Here we go. We're getting grooky on the board. Hold on, guys. Important stuff. We have a little friend. Just a little guy. We, You know what? We do have a bit of a monkey theme happening here as well. Just, uh... They're hanging out together. One's a dead demon, and the other one is just a little friend. But, you know, in general, they're two of a kind in some ways. <laughs> Charizard King, welcome in. Um, we got 15 minutes. I think we might go for another one here. This is not a bad little reset. We also need Blossom, so... Yeah. Uh, Monkey made me drop my drink. No... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was what? What are you talking about? I didn't see anything. You guys seeing stuff? What's happening here? It's just a very normal stream. Nothing weird to see here. Getting a lot of Blossom here. I kind of like that because we do need one. <clears throat> Let's Go isn't necessarily bad, but if Black and White 2 Remake or Legends are on the table, Let's Go just wouldn't be as cool. Yeah, I wouldn't look at it as a, like, you're losing out on those other things type deal. But, um, I don't know. I think it would be a nice little thing to get. I don't think we're probably going to get, like, a lot of people are kind of thinking that we're going to get both or something. I, here's the thing. I would really, I would even be fine if they just had Virtual Console the older games. Dude, like, if we got Crystal and Gen 3 and stuff on Virtual Console, and I could do some hunts on that. I think that would be really cool, although uh, I have a really cool DS setup that is almost fully good to go now. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know that's been taking forever. I just really want that to be as, like, good as possible before I start messing around with streaming with it. Uh, that's where I got my Grookey line and even Poplio. Yeah, you know what? We should try Poplio here at some point too on the beach. Pipe Dream Wish is virtual console Game Boy games with compatibility for the stadium games. That'd be cool. Yeah. I don't know if we'd get the compatibility, but I will say that even just the virtual console games, even without the compatibility, I would be very happy with. And then they'd have enough time to work on something else, you know? Like if they're kind of putting all their eggs in, the, in another basket and they're because the Switch 2 is like, it's around the corner. Whether it gets announced, you know, now or a little bit later, I feel like it's going to be announced sometime this year, no matter what. And, uh, yeah. So you know they're developing for stuff on that already. Red and blue are what? Two megabytes each? I know. It's, it's so easy for them to just put it on virtual console. Like, it, it really is, like, no work at all for them to do that. So I'm, I don't know. There's there's obviously some reason they're not doing it. But Virtual Console stuff is such an easy cash grab for them. They could very easily make people pay for it. Uh, that obviously, most Virtual Console things they have bundled in with Nintendo Online. So I guess, theoretically, they might not make any money off of that. But I don't feel like there's much like risk in it either, like money-wise. We don't need any remakes. It's too many newer Pokemon we like. Uh, what? What you talking about? You want new, new Pokemon stuff already? <laughs> Scarlet and Violet just came out. I feel like we're definitely not going to see Gen 10 yet. That's going to for sure be on the next Nintendo thing. My small wish is a re-release for the Shaman event. Uh, I also wish for that. I don't think it's going to happen. But uh, I would really like that Shaman event to be a thing again because your boy also missed out on it. <laughs> um, I missed a couple shinies. You did, in fact. We got some good ones. The Monk is. Uh, have this PS5 collecting dust, though. Should have got the Switch. Yeah, it's, it's tough. I was looking at a list of um, PS5 exclusive stuff. That console does not have... <laughs> like any exclusives it's crazy yeah it's uh, unfortunate I still the thing that will get me to buy a PS5 is if Persona 6 comes out on it but like 
I don't know, the Persona games have been getting released on PC, too. Uh, is there any shiny Pokemon goal at your location? I'm looking for uh, more Grookies. I need two more, and I need uh, Blossom as well. So, yeah, there's definitely a target. <laughs> We're looking for something... Okay, Golduck is very slow. I thought I had the motor in the lead, but I guess not. You can emulate all of them, basically. I mean... Nintendo could do that easily. That's all the virtual console is. It's just an emulator, right? That they're running. It's an official one. But even the um, the Mario All-Stars thing was uh, like an emulator. It was like Dolphin running for the, the GameCube and Wii stuff. I want a PS5 for Demon's Souls, Bloodborne, and Ghost of Tsushima. Um, is, isn't Ghost of Tsushima on PC as well? I, not everybody has like a gaming PC, I guess, but that's usually where I try to buy all of my games if they're available on it, because I just have a really good video card, and like, if I have it on Steam, I know I just have it forever. It's not going to be for some console that eventually is going to go away or whatever, right? Like, when it's on my PC, I know it's there for good. Um, super long and stressful week. Sir, shake your head now. It's It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one night where Sir Shaker is falling asleep real early. Usually he's the one that's like, oh, you're ending? It's only 1 a.m. <laughs> it's all good, buddy. We'll see you later. Kion. Um, <laughs> what, what's going on? Did I miss something from Kion? Kion has greasy hands. We all know that for sure. And my uh, greasy hands have also been on that that uh, hitbox. I was showing the, the chat what I got. Uh, my only issue is I'm running out of storage space on the Switch. I had to delete every video and photo on the Switch. Um, yeah. I mean, how big is your micro SD card? The thing is, is like micro SDs are getting very cheap now. I have like a terabyte micro SD and I think I got it for like 50 bucks or something like that. Like compared to what they used to be, they're very relatively cheap, right? Like, that's a lot of space. For Switch games, anyways. I, I downloaded Tekken 8, and it's like 88 gigabytes, I think, was what <laughs> Tekken 8 was. It's insanity. And that's actually not that big of a game compared to some other ones. Like, if you're playing, like, Call of Duty and stuff, it's like a quarter of your hard drive sometimes. Uh, calling it now, Legend Celebi releasing spring of 2024. I would be so friggin' down. I would love another Legends game. I don't know if it's happening, but like I, that that would be something that would make me incredibly happy. <laughs> uh, don't have a micro SD? Probably should get one. Yeah. Honestly, you can get one that's like a a 256. I I just bought one, a 256 gigabyte. Micro SD is literally like 25 bucks on Amazon. So like if you don't want to go crazy with it, 256 for Switch games is still pretty good. They're pretty small, just like in the grand scheme of things. Uh JNZ TV, welcome in. Hitbox, like the stickless arcade controller. Yeah, I bought one. <laughs> um, I've never used one before, and I got Tekken 8, and I was like, ah, I want to try something new. And hitboxes look pretty neat. Here, I'll show you. I really like it. I just... I'm sorry it's greasy. There's something about this, like... This aluminum finish that just really holds the gamer grease. God, it looks so gross on camera. <laughs> it doesn't look this gross IRL. There's just lighting. Don't, don't look at the gamer grease. But it's really nice. It's got really nice buttons on it. And, uh... They're like... Little mechanical key switches but they're like dampened so they're pretty quiet it, it's it's neat i just think it's neat it's not even sweaty hands i don't know it's like <laughs> yeah it is the gamer grease but like if you look at it without a crazy light on it and a really good camera that's like specifically zooming in on all that i feel like it's easier to not see but it, it does attract the gamer grease <laughs> <laughs> for better or for worse. And I am a gamer. Maybe it makes you more of a gamer, which makes you have more gamer grease. 
Maybe that's the explanation. Dampened, yes. Not moistened, dampened. Uh, dampening is a word, and that is what's happening on those, so don't question me, Raze. Don't be giving me this. <laughs> um, kind of looks like an SNK gamepad with no joystick. Yeah, it's a kind of similar deal, right? I know what you're talking about. They have the, the black on black, like, color scheme on those. I, for a long time, I had a fight stick that I put together. It was like a Boo one, like Boo from Mario. I have a fake plastic one, but it works really well on a PS5. Uh, I just use it for Street Fighter. I've never played much Street Fighter. Like, I've never tried to get good at Street Fighter. Um, I played a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. That was, like, my fighting game for a really long time. Um, and I played a lot of, like, just other goofy fighting games. The way I met a lot of my friends in college were... Um, you know what? I I'll tell a little story here. We're gonna we're gonna go back. You're an 18 or 19 year old calm and collecting in college, and I gotta be honest with you. Don't be like calm and collecting. I went to college, and I went to no classes. I realized very quickly it wasn't for me. Um. So anyways, I would go to college anyways. I would go to the campus. And I would be sitting in the kind of like cafeteria area, just kind of hanging out. I was playing my DS. And um, as I'm sitting there playing my DS, I'm playing Pokemon, playing Diamond. And um, <laughs> this big dude walks up, slams something on the table. He just like slams his hand on the table. And I like look up at this dude. And he walks away and he's like, the gavel's been thrown. And he's walking away. And there's a note on the table. And I open it up and it says, Pokemon Battle, now, in all caps. And him and his friends were all sitting at this, like, this table. And uh, I went over there and I thrashed, thrashed him. He had no idea what happened. Uh, so anyways, that's how I found my people. And then... Um, after thrashing him in the Pokemon battle, um, we would just all hang out at the college campus, and we would have these uh, like one-day metas, is what we would do. And we would have on this crappy gaming laptop one of us had, we would have it set up, and we would get an emulator and like an old crappy fighting game from like the Super Nintendo era or just something, you know, like a rando fighting game. And we would just try to figure out, we would all play different characters and just kind of go back and forth for the day. And at the end of it all, we would kind of look up videos of people who actually knew how to play those games and see if our meta kind of lined up with the actual meta. <laughs> it was kind of fun. We would just play really bad, stupid fighting games, and uh, it was a good time. Simpler times. <laughs> it's a me thing, not a you thing. All right, good. Yeah, if you guys are having issues with the stream, let me know. It sounds like it's just a Kyon issue, which, typical, am I right? <laughs> Um, be sure to save your gamer grease. It'll come into handy the next time you make some eggs. Oh, God. Nobody wants gamer eggs. <laughs> no gamer eggs allowed. That's that's an illegal statement, Skuma. <laughs> You're going straight to jail for that one. Um, calm and collagen. That's That doesn't work. That gets rid of wrinkles, the calm and collagen. <laughs> it's good for your skin. The calm collagen. Um, yeah, it was a good time. I did not do much collagen besides going there. It was it was very short lived. Uh, Hassan, I still don't understand the phrasing or the uh, the timing for that. So <laughs> I still don't get it. But uh, you guys can have that one. It's all you. 
Where did you go? What are you talking about? Gamer eggs and ham, please no. Please stop. Please. I can't. We we can't do this. <laughs> um We got about three minutes. I am closer to four. Uh it's like if I said on God. On what but what is on call man um and um? I don't get the and um is the the thing that loses me. Is that I don't know what the deal was. Like that thing I know is bright pink when it's shiny, but there was something weird with that one. Something with the lighting. I believe he meant what college? Who said what college? What? <laughs> Would love to have a random person challenge me to a Pokemon battle. Yeah. It uh honestly he's just a cool dude. We still obviously are our homies were hanging out and all that, but um, it's tough when you're older, you know, to sync up, have the time, both have stuff going on. Uh, closest I ever got was worked at a summer camp and ruined some children's Pokemon careers real early. That's, you gotta take those easy dubs whenever you have like kids or nieces or nephews or whatever. Um, you have to destroy them in video games while you still can because eventually, we got a shiny Velocity. Eventually, you're not going to be able to beat them. So you need to take the dubs while you can. <laughs> uh, Blossom. What does this thing know? I feel like this probably doesn't have anything that will KO itself. Besides maybe like confusing itself with Petal Dance. Um, oh. Is this only going to have Petal Blizzard? It doesn't learn any moves by level up. Besides Petal Blizzard. What attacks is this thing going to know? <laughs> I'm not sure how this one's going to work. Because it doesn't learn anything by level up. This one's going to be a heal ball. And we do get the surprise on it. Or not. I'm going to heal ball it. Just throw a few heal balls. Let's see what kind of moves it knows for the first couple seconds here. Grassy terrain, that's fine. Nose explosion, oh god. Big if true. Oh, okay, well I guess I'm false swiping. I... <laughs> this is fine, this is fine. Uh, what's the point of going to college for the classes? Half of Americans go for football anyway. I, I don't know about half. <laughs> I feel like most people probably aren't going to be able to make it through their life on, on the football situation, unfortunately. Do you have any tips to get it, to get what? Which one? Nose Flare Blitz. It's some scary moves on this thing. It seems like it only knows grassy terrain, though. So. Okay, Quiver Dance. It knows some scary moves, actually. How do you get your message read by the text-to-speech bot? Um, it reads Super Chats. So if you are just wanting it to be read by Brian, any super chat is read by him. If you want the special voices, exclam exclamation TTS in the chat. And you can see how you can use the different goofy voices. Because there's a, a lot of options. <laughs> Nose Giga Impact. It Honestly, it would be really funny if they made a really cutesy Pokemon that just had a bunch of crazy moves like that. You know? It like doesn't look like it would have that, and then it's just this like this machine. <laughs> um, all right, we got a Blossom. Very nice, very good little shiny. Um, what do we got time wise? Thirty seconds. All right, I'm just gonna save. We're gonna continue right along though. Uh, Tinkaton. I guess that's true. Oh god, we're only gonna get another like one or two checks here half go to pick a football team i know very few who make the team i got you <laughs> yeah i um i personally it ended up working out well for me without the college situation didn't have any like school uh debt anything like that but there's some careers depending on what you want to do sometimes it's uh, an important thing even if it isn't necessarily mandatory for you to get a job in the space you're looking uh, it can definitely help depending on what you're doing because like 
There aren't a lot of doctors that don't have that big piece of paper up on the wall, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, for me, I work in tech and stuff, and it's as long as you know what you're doing, you can get certs and you can get around a lot of that stuff, you know? So it's not always mandatory. So if that isn't something that you think is financially possible for you or whatever, there's there's a lot of things you can do where you can be successful without needing to uh, do all those extra steps. And it's kind of nice. It's just a, a different approach. We all have kind of different situations, so there's no perfect solution for everybody. Let's take a look at these homies. And we, and we need to get Blossom on the board, actually. Gen 2. Dang, scrolled right to it. Look at her dancing. She's schmoobing. All right. Um, let's see if we got a mark. My wife says, A. Hey, I haven't eaten the snacks yet. I'm saving them for when I get hungry. Grookey, no mark. Try any Grookey. Good. Good. Because I didn't eat the goldfish. All right. And Blossom. No mark. What can you do? My wife's laughing at me. <laughs> can we trade? Biggest Naruto fan. Um, I'm not really doing any trades or anything right now. If you need something specific, feel free to hit up the Discord, though. Exclamation Discord in the chat. Um, yeah, if you're looking for something, they might be able to help you out. But if you're just looking to trade shinies, I know a lot of people aren't really trading for shinies usually. <laughs> it just kind of depends. Depends on the person. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I told you this, but I'm having my first client interview on Monday. Very nice. Um, client interview. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Like you're, you're potentially getting a new client, which is... <laughs> Sounds like a good thing. Well, good luck, buddy. I hope everything goes well with that because, uh, you know... We all need a little extra, extra scratch every now and then, right? <laughs> I, uh, it's been a little while since I've had to be customer facing like that, like in front of a client. I've been lucky to be remote for quite a while in my kind of recent job stuff. It's very nice not to have to worry about that stuff as much. Um... He only trades with me. Honestly, I caught a shiny pseudo wudo for that guy and then never even traded it over because he never talked to me again about it. So I'm pretty sure it's just gone now. <laughs> uh, real quick, guys, I'm going to hit the restroom. If you guys uh, are needing a little break, now's your time. I'm going to just quickly hit the restroom. I won't be long, but grab yourself some water, get a snack, do your thing. Uh, I'll be back in like 30 seconds, something like that. Enjoy the chair. I wasn't sure if I muted the stream. My wife was having a uh, a tussle with a, a bug flying around out in the hallway. <laughs> she was screaming. I thought you guys might have heard the, the shrieking I was talking about earlier. Um, 
I think I remember him catching that pseudo. Yeah, it, it was a little while ago, but you were probably here. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure where I want to go, what my next target's going to be. If you guys have any cool options, let me know. A Whimsicott would be really cool. What other fairy types are around here? If I did fairy, are we getting other... What other fairy types are out here? Because I know that the fairy bird and stuff is on the other side, but I feel like this is the only fairy type over here, right? This and Whimsicott? Or am I insane? Is there something else fairy type that I'm not thinking about? Deerling really messes this up, but a Grass Sammy would be cool here because I also need um, Oddish, Gloom, and Execute as well. But Deerling, man, I just know I'd be seeing a million Deerling. Home Faith, man, that sucks. I don't know, I I feel like maybe it's it's an even ratio at least. I love Oddish. Oddish is cool. It's a really good shiny. And I'm going to have to get it at some point. Maybe Grass is the play, because I do need Execute. Hmm. So I have to choose whether I want to see Deerlings. Oh, God, and Saucebuck, too. Man. I don't know. I'm really not sure on this one. <laughs> All right, I think I'm probably going to try a fairy sandwich at least. We'll give it a shot. Why not? We've had some pretty decent luck. Although we've been doing these grass types, and it's kind of making it a pain in the butt to, like, use Spore and catch them quick. Uh, what game did you beat? Soulful, what did you beat? Hold on. I beat the game. <laughs> very nice. Which game? Violet. Oh, very nice. Catch me a muck. No, I don't want to do it. It's it's like difficult to spot. I was losing my mind when I did that. Comfe doesn't spawn here. Spawns near the flowers. Okay. Well, we'll try a fairy Sammy. If it doesn't spawn here, then we should only see what I need, which is even better. I'm looking for... Um, uh, Cottony and Whimsicott. Tomato, prosciutto, peppers. Mm, mm, mm. All right. We're going to go sweet again. The fairies love the sweet, I think. This is my, my strategy. It's going to work. Did I miss anything since the pee break? No. Uh, well, I don't think so. <laughs> we haven't found anything since then. I'm not that cracked. The shiny luck isn't that amazing. It's pretty good. But that's just a, a different level. Um, spawns near the flowers. It's very noticeable. Trust me. The comfe? Yeah. Um, I mean, with Whimsicott and Cottony. Like, for sure Cottony, because I know it turns like a super orangey color. I definitely don't feel like I'm going to have a hard time spotting that one. Uh, is Comfy a fairy? It is. It's Comfy, right? Is that it? Or Comfy? Comfy? I guess. It's not just Comfy, right? It's Comfey. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to get sidetracked on this. We're not even looking for that. Uh, the cotton is noticeable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I definitely should be able to spot that. Now, the only thing is... Why is that deer spawning? I need to find a spot that really, really works for me here for like a nice picnic reset because I remembered I was getting a lot of things 
Maybe I just go over to where I was doing the uh, Froki checks. I think that's the play. I don't want to miss anything though, so I'm still looking a, a boot. Don't want to miss anything. They're spawning everywhere. The uh, Whimsicott, I'm not sure. Like, I know it's pretty noticeable, it's body color and stuff. I don't know what it's kind of like cotton stuff ends up changing to color wise though. So I'm going to have to make sure I'm looking for that too. But cottony is crazy orange. Orangey, yellowy. Yeah, this is perfect. I thought that Comfey was going to mess this up, but it isn't. I'm <clears throat> um, getting EP night, everyone. Again, CMH. We'll see you around. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> it's all good. Get your sleep. The VOD will always be up. So don't stress it. Yeah, I, the cottony will be a nice, like, quick, just a scan. It's pure white. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's even better. Whimsicott's cotton is more white. It seems like we're not really seeing a lot of those anyways, but that'll be a nice way to just check it real, real quick. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be super noticeable from far away. <laughs> they spawn nice and quick, too. The only thing that's a little funky is there are some orange flowers that I keep just kind of looking at just quickly. It's not like I'm super mistaking it, but like there is orange also around here. So I want to make sure I don't miss it because of that. <laughs> uh, Whimsicott's green horns and the star on the back of the cotton are both bright blue. Oh, okay, well, that'll be super noticeable. I just feel like I've... I don't think I've ever had a shiny of either of these, actually. Whimsicott or Cottony. Um, yeah. I feel like this is a pretty quick reset, though. It's not bad. My dad, uh, my dad to Steam Clovers. Steam Clovers. Uh, Woot. Steaming Clovers. <laughs> Am I missing something, Hassan? I think I missed part of this message. <laughs> Hopefully you're feeling all right, buddy. Uh, this sounds like a, a remedy that you're talking about. Uh, my dad told me to steam clovers and have them in my mouth and it will help with my coughs and chest congestion. I've never heard of this one before. <laughs> Gotta get a four-leaf clover too. That'll help even more. The lucky one. Uh, some interesting, interesting things. Although there was a certain point during the, the Rona when I had it that I would have tried anything. Uh, the cotton on Whimsicott is just more pure white in color, so it's harder to tell unless it's from the front. I don't know. From the back, it definitely like looks super off-white like that, but I guess we'll see if we see one. We're definitely seeing way, way more cottony, which are the easier one to spot anyways, so... I'm not stressing it too much. Man, clovers taste so weird. I, I've i never tasted a clover before. <laughs> uh, you caught both Cottony and uh, Whimsicott in Ultra Sun. Very nice. Yeah, I didn't really do any shiny hunting in Ultra Sun. It's something that I do want to go back to. I just don't really have a great situation for streaming it. Like, my brother did loan me a capture card 3DS, but I I don't really like the layout of how I have it right now. And, uh, I don't know. I did get all of those 3DS games in Japan, though, so I feel like at some point I'm going to just have to do it. Because I want to get shiny Poi Pole, I want to get a shiny Type Null, and uh, Silvalli, or Silvalli, or whatever. I don't know if I'm calling it the right thing, but it's like the mini brown sticks. Um, mini brown sticks. Well, cinnamon? <laughs> what you talking about, Hassan? Hassan's on the goofy, uh, the goofy clover juice right now. <laughs> Hassan's on something else tonight. Oh, that caught me despawned. I didn't see what was going on with it. I saw it for a split second. Cloves. 
uh, cloves. That maybe that's what it is. <laughs> that makes a uh, maybe I don't know if it makes more sense, but this <laughs> I'm understanding what you're saying at least is uh, how I should phrase this. I understand. There you go, cloves. <laughs> <clears throat> not clovers. I was like, I've never heard of anybody eating or ingesting clovers for anything. <laughs> really need a shiny poi pole in my life. I'm telling you, I have to get two of them because I want to get the evolution too. One of my favorite shinies since I saw it. It's just crazy. It just, the name does not match <laughs> when it's not purple anymore. It just suddenly is like a very nonsense Pokemon name. So you have to get a, a good, like, white slash yellow nickname for it. I'm not sure what that would be. I was a bit baffled at how steaming clovers would do anything at all. I am not sure how steaming cloves would do anything at all either, but I'm also not a uh, an alchemist. <laughs> I don't know. I... That was looking a little weird. The whole, the body of it turns like crazy, like yellowy as well, right? Like, at, it's not just the leaves that I need to spot. Cloves are little sticks with a tiny ball in the middle. I've honestly never seen cloves in my life. I feel like there's never been a point in my life where I've had to be involved with cloves. <laughs> so we're all learning tonight. All of us learning about cloves and potential home remedies and shiny cottonies. What an amazing shiny this little lad is. I feel like this thing for sure has memento though, so hold on. Um, cottony. Solar beam cotton, co cotton guard, endeavor, sunny day. Okay, so we're fine. Now let's just go catch it because it's running away. Just a friend. Such a good shiny. What am I going to catch this in? There's like no orange yellow Pokeballs. What a shiny. I I don't know. Am I just going to Premier Ball it? It's got a lot of white. I guess I'm just going to Premier Ball it. There's not really like a better answer here I feel like uh, so to my understanding if I do a three dollar super chat and type out a message and say knuckles colon it'll read the message in that voice yes yeah so if you do the name of the voice and you have to make sure you spell that right with the colon and then the message afterwards it'll read it in that voice and you can do um, you can do multiple voices in the super chat too if you do another name with the colon next to it it will change the voice too, so you can have little dialogues back and forth. And for the sound effects, it's parentheses with the sound effect in it. And anything $3 or more, it will read it with the, the special text-to-speech. With all the voices. <laughs> the voices that I always hear in my head. All of them. They're always with me. Uh, we should get Cottony on the board, shouldn't we? Catch all my shinies and premieres. I wish that I did that from the start. I feel like when I start doing the, the Pokedex, the shiny decks in the older games, I probably will just use Premier Ball. I think it'll be cool to have the the theme. But I didn't start from the beginning with that, so I'm locked in. Cottony. Um, what gen is Cottony? Seven? Six? What gen is Cottony? I'm looking for Cottony. Um, is it five? Am I insane? Where it is? It's Gen five. Hmm. Very, very good shiny. I didn't realize it was Gen five. Got a lot of little grass friends. Although this one's, we're looking for it with a fairy sandwich. It is a grass friend. We're going to have it kind of floating. Eh, we'll have it floating a little lower. 
There he is, just kind of hanging out. We'll scooch him over, because the board's starting to fill up. You silly goose. I know, I didn't play Gen 5. <laughs> are Premier Balls just fancy Pokeballs? They are, in fact. And they don't need to be anything more than that, right? Don't say just. <laughs> They're fine just the way they are. <clears throat> We're heathens. You're heading out. We'll see you around. Thanks for hanging out. Um... <laughs> yeah, it would be cool if we got a Whimsicott just like... Oh god, we need to get away from the the mountainy area because we get a bunch of the stupid deers when we're over there. <laughs> uh, does that TPS thing take a cut of the donation? Um, no, it doesn't, but... The, um, I do pay for it monthly, Rian. It's, honestly, <laughs> it's kind of expensive per month. It does pay for itself, and it's really funny. So, like, I think it's worth the, the dollary dues, but they know that, like, that it generates <laughs> tips and stuff. So, so they don't take a cut of all of the tips. They just, uh, I pay a monthly just flat rate for it. And you know, there's actually a an option that I can pay a little more and I could have my own voice doing text-to-speech stuff, but I'm kind of freaked out about that. I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> You'd have to do a $50 super chat to get the full message? Does it say that? I've never heard that there's like a limit on that before, Skuma. I'm going to have to check on that because I, I don't set any like number, number things for like how much it costs for certain lengths of them. Yeah, I don't, I don't want my voice being out there necessarily. Although I guess anybody who has access to train those, there's so much of my voice on the internet anyways. I, it's 100% something that somebody could do whether I wanted it or not, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, why is Duolingo telling me I haven't practiced when I have? Gotta practice harder. Manslug, welcome in. You can only write 200 characters with a $3 donation. Okay, well, we just got another Cottony. Um, I didn't realize that there was a limit on... You know what? It's, it's a super chat limitation, not the, like, the text-to-speech limitation, right? So it's um, it's because YouTube Super Chats only let you have a certain amount of characters on them, right? Uh, it can only have 50 for $3. Oh. Um, you know what you might try, Skuma? If you do exclamation tip in the chat. Um, hold on. Let me see what Cottony looks like before I catch this. Because I want it to be in a matching ball. Um, you might do exclamation tip... This is going to be a dive ball, I think. I think exclamation tip is... That's like a direct way to tip me through stream elements. And you have to go to a different URL for it. It isn't through YouTube, so it's like kind of annoying. But I get a better cut of, cut of it. And I think that there aren't like the same limitations on that. I think that you can kind of type in whatever. So you might just check that out. All right. We got Whimsicott too. <laughs> Talking about TTS. <laughs> this is like blue and white and black, so I feel like uh, Dive Ball works on this. Let's get Whimsicott on the board. <laughs> I still have Fairy Sandwich going. I'm not sure where I'm going to go now. Looking at the beautiful white afro. Big old poof ball. Um... What fairy types do I need? I think there's still a limit. I gotcha. I think it's more than 50, though, for sure. Because I get some crazy messages in that text-to-speech, the direct tip thing. <laughs> so I think it's at least less of a, an issue. All right, we got Cottony and Whimsicott. Do I need any other fairy types? Um, Snubble and Granbull. 
And I need Alolan Vulpix and Ninetales, but I can't get them in this game. Okay, I guess we know where we're going. We have a fairy type. Do I need anything else fairy type? I need Clefable from uh, Kitsukami. And from the base game, man, I am so close to being done in the base game. <laughs> there is so little I need from the base game. Yeah, I guess that's it. Clefable and... Um, Snubble and Gramble. Let's go for it. These are nice, easy ones to check, too. We just go to the Snowy Mountain. Got a lot of shinies. I'm telling you, man, Slug. Scarlet and Violet just, uh, it hits different like that. <laughs> Snubble's really easy to get in the Torchic Cave. That's what people have told me, although I feel like the Torchic Cave... Oh, whoa. Milsery. I forgot that these were a thing over here. That really complicates things here. All right, I guess I am going to go to the Torchic Cave. We'll see. I've failed a snubble here before, for any of you guys who were around for the uh, original DLC streams. It has happened, unfortunately. I'm going to go to the, the Torchic Cave. Why not? If it's just snubble there, that would be even better. Got a bunch of spawns here. I just I don't want to miss anything. <clears throat> Stream elements character limit is 50. Uh, 100, not 50. Okay, well, it's a little better, I guess. I That's something, but yeah. I didn't realize. That's good to know. Get him. This is a nice thing about the synchro, is you can KO the Terra Pokemon without having to battle them. I find it so funny how in Sword I have one shiny to call my own while I have like eight in Scarlet. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> okay yeah this is nice and quick i mean it's it's easy we have to wait for a minute to get the spawns but at least we don't have milsery this is a uh, much more like narrowed down uh, it's way better when it's not torchic the spawn rate yeah i guess this isn't too bad there isn't as much waiting well i don't know i feel like this is about as fast as the Torchic spawn in. Yeah, it doesn't feel like this is way faster or anything. <laughs> in fact, this kind of sucks. <laughs> Hold on, let me uh, let me do a little back and forth here. Let me just see, do Milsery spawn out here? Because if I can just go back and forth, that would be even better. It seems like the Milsery don't spawn down below here. Yeah, I think I might just do some of this. Just a little bit of back and forth. I know this has like a little more potential for me to fail something, but like... Man, even out here, there's just no milsery. Can I just like picnic reset out here? Oh, there's a milsery. Okay, never mind. Forget what I said. Uh, I tried to help the streamer man and he didn't see my message. I can set up a union circle so you can get it. Blue Rock Crab won't shine for me. Set up a union circle for what? For, oh, for Alolan, Vulpix, and Ninetales? It's all good. Yeah, I think either way, I only have a little bit of time on this. And the union circle stuff, it's kind of slow. I think that eventually I'll probably just... Um, I haven't bought the DLC in Scarlet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to, but like... If I get to the point where that's the exclusives are all I need, I'll probably just grab it, you know? That's that'll be you guys funding that for me. <laughs> that's the super chats funding the Pokemon things. I was getting lots of family spawns here. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Have a shiny Clive with the doofus mark. Clive's trying his best, okay? He's just such a cool guy. Yeah, I'm not getting any family spawns here. Voice message you wanted to send is 238 characters. I mean, if it's 100, I, I'm not trying to... <laughs> I'm not trying to get you to spend a bunch on this or anything. I appreciate you just hanging out. But I guess if they make it so it's like 50 to have a big long message, you could, in theory, just do multiple 
three dollar ones, I guess. <laughs> and then you'd get three hundred characters, right? Total to work with. It would just be red. Piece one, piece two, piece three. <laughs> but don't feel uh, like you got to do that. I I appreciate you guys hanging out. And I always say this at the end of stream, but you guys might not hear it if you aren't here for the end usually. But you guys don't stress about the money stuff. If you guys uh, aren't able to do it, any of that stuff, I just, you guys being around here, liking the stream, sub and doing all that stuff, uh, it is supporting me. So don't feel like you're not if you can't financially do that stuff. And, uh, you know, if you can and you do, I do really appreciate it because uh, it helps your boy get goofy Pokemon things for stream, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't stress it, guys. Uh, Shiny Snubble is super good. Granbull is okay, but Snubble is way, way better. Nice haul tonight, yeah, Denville. We've, we've been popping off tonight. Uh, we have just, like, very good Shinies. Like, every single one of them is really good, which is cool. So, the Grookies may be the weakest one. <laughs> and it's not that bad, right? Like, it's it's okay. Uh, it is kind of boring for an auto-battler. Uh, we'll go for a long time without having to do much. Um, yeah. Oh, you mean like having somebody out there just attacking all of them? I guess that's an option, too. Oriso with the 20 gifties. Oriso said, did somebody say pay button? <laughs> Guys, get some uh, pay buttons in the chat. Some Mr. Kappas, perhaps. Show some love. If you got one of those gifted membership, please make sure to say thanks to Oriso. Because uh, Oriso be gifting out memberships all the time. And uh, yeah, you have some access to some very spicy emotes now. Show some love. And if you guys aren't opted in, exclamation gift in the chat. Make sure you are. Otherwise, you cannot get one of those. Um, you love to see it. I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> and especially you guys who just got these gifted memberships. Make sure you're throwing out some spicy emotes to show some love. You have access to them for... I almost held up four. 30 days. <laughs> uh, can't you just send a Pokemon out to auto-battle them and have them constantly spawning? Yeah, but it's like... It's not that fast. Like, you can... Like, look. It'll do them one at a time. But, like, the Picnic resets I'll see more in a shorter amount of time, if that makes sense. Like, I guess maybe I can do both at the same time. Oh, God. Yeah, it's just like... Since it has to do it individually... It's, it's nice if you're just going to do it passive and not look at the screen, but... If you're gonna be here, I think it's faster to just do this. <clears throat> just caught a blue ditto with my gifts. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> do you already have that uh, that role in the Discord? If not, I'll hook you up. You just gotta remind me. Um, <laughs> they're slow spawns. They really, really are. And just KOing this stuff is also really slow too, you know? It's, even though Varum is really fast, it's just not, uh, not fast enough. The attacks aren't that fast. Don't forget to check your spirit tomb. Uh, I will do that. We have a bit of time before the end of the night. I should check it. And I think we'll probably do a double check, because I don't... I think I'm going to do Scarlet and Violet tomorrow. I'm not sure what I want to do tomorrow, though. What do you guys think? For the people who are going to be around tomorrow, what do you feel like we should be doing? We haven't... It's been a little bit since we've done some DAs. Like a couple streams now. Uh, we can do some DAs. Maybe some... We can get the cherries, perhaps. <laughs> I've missed the Scarlet and Violet streams. You have. <laughs> we do get a lot of cool stuff. I'm like, I'm not having a bad time with this right now. We do have a lot of targets we need still. Used a Polyrath as my Dampmon. Golduck is frustrating. Um, what's better about Polyrath over Golduck? I feel like they're both kind of slow, chunky. And the nice thing about Golduck is it has um, Soak, which Polyrath might also have. And it has um, Skill Swap. So I can 
put Damp onto a Pokemon that has Explosion, I can swap it with the Wild Pokemon, and then I can swap over to something with like False Swipe and everything. So it's kind of nice, although I feel like... Uh, I don't know, maybe... Polyrath probably can't learn that, right? It's kind of a psychic-y kind of thing. DAs, more Scarlet and Violet, and some Arcus, Sword and Shield. I know a lot of people have been digging the Sword and Shield stuff. I know, like, a lot of people also are doing Scarlet and Violet streams, too. Oh, all right. Popping off. This is our third shiny on the sandwich. Very, very good shiny, this one. Just look at her. <laughs> all right. Um... What ball am I catching this in? Heal ball? Let's just see what super high level Snubble has. <clears throat> Crunch, payback, play rough, last resort. All right, we're good. What ball do I catch this in? It's like pinky, purpley, orangey, it's purple. Yeah, I feel like heal is the way, right? Very, very good shiny. It's crazy. It looks like it's in a black light, kind of. <laughs> I wish Gramble didn't suck. Yeah, it uh, is not the best. If it, if it kept this kind of color palette, it would be so good. This is back in the day when, like, Gen 2 things, they used the little, like, algorithm to make it. You redeemed yourself for the past Ohio and Snubble. I know. It's, it's sad times. R.I.P. Ohio Snubble. <laughs> um, that Game Freak changed Snubble's shiny multiple times. Uh, they couldn't decide on the color for the feet. Oh. Hmm. I know that between Gen 2 and 3, a lot of shinies, like, changed. So, like, um, one that I always mention is Slowpoke. Slowpoke used to be an amazing shiny. And now it's, like, a pretty bad shiny, which is unfortunate. But, um, yeah, there were definitely some downgrades. Some things hitting the crossfire. Let's get Snubble on the board. I don't want to waste any time. We still need one more, so I'm going to stay in the cave. Boom. Um, I wouldn't trust a man who knew the color of Snubble's feet. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's honestly, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that's a pretty good Pokemon trivia thing. What color is shiny Snubble's feet? <laughs> uh, gonna hunt shiny Slowpoke and gold then. It's super good. Very worth it. Have you not seen it before? Maybe just save it. Don't look it up. Uh, what was the original Slowpoke? I don't know if I've ever seen it. Should I spoil it? It's, it's a very old game. It was this really nice blue-purple. And uh, insanely noticeable. And for some reason, in the new games, like... In Gen 3, they're like, you know what? This is just too good. No more. Sorry, man slug, you're spoiled. <laughs> it's really good. Really, really good. It's basically like um, Slowbro. It's Slowbro without the shell for its shiny. It's like that kind of color. Been a hot minute since you've had 10 Pokemon on the board. It really has been. <laughs> it makes this feel much more um, exciting when it isn't happening every night, I guess, right? It's a nice palette cleanse, though. <laughs> yeah, it looks really, really good. It's a very good shiny. I've... Honestly, I would kind of like to do some Gen 2 shiny hunting stuff, too. I don't really have a ton of copies of the Gen 2 games, like the, the OG ones, but I think that would be kind of fun, too. The other thing that sucks is my DS lights. You can't play Game Boy Color games, or like Game Boy games at all, 
on DS lights for some reason, and I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure if you like, if you made it so the cartridge would go into a DS light, if it really wouldn't work or not, because I feel like it's the same cartridge slot still. Does anybody know that? Like, I feel like on the DS Lite specifically, they made it so you can't do that just because it would be this huge thing sticking out of the DS Lite. But like, the original DS could do it, couldn't it? Like, Game Boy Color games? My back hurts. This is what I get for sleeping on my side. Yeah, um, it's like that for me too. I have been having a very hard time finding a sleeping position recently. The back stuff is just real bad for your boy. I've been trying this new pillow, trying to break it in, and it's been destroying me. Um, I don't think it could. Just GBA games. That's too bad. Because I... How am I going to play the G... Well, virtual console on the Switch. Maybe that's my answer. <laughs> Maybe that's how it happens. We get Crystal on virtual console on Pokemon Day. Here's the hoping. And you know what? We'd take Gen 3 and stuff too. That would be a very nice setup for all this. And honestly, man, it would be so much cleaner than the DS setup that I have just for older games, just having them on the Switch, going straight to the uh, the capture card. Mm. Left my level 69 superior in the daycare for two hours. Um, now it's level 93. What the heck? <laughs> I didn't realize that the daycare stuff uh, leveled you up that fast. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Um, I've never really used that for that kind of thing. Auto runner meaning a paperclip. I, you know what? It's technology. It's the kind of technology we have here at Coleman Collecting Industries. Um, bedtime for silly. Jewel, we'll see you around. Thanks for hanging out. All good. I know it's getting late. Uh, I feel like I remember playing yellow on my first DS. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe it was my SP that I was thinking about as well. Because that was the same thing. It was like it would stick really far out of the GBA. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the cartridge slot <laughs> is basically the same thing. I don't know. I'm not going to try... <laughs> It, and like blow up one of my DS lights trying to play Game Boy Color games on it. But I don't know. I feel like it's all there, right? <clears throat> I'll have to look this up. Somebody must have tried this, right? There was somebody, I watched this video a long time ago of this guy who, um, I'm taking off my watch. This guy who, um, like modded I guess not modded he like adjusted the code of gen 2 and gen 1 so they could trade with each other and he traded a he still had to trade gen 1 Pokemon between like he couldn't trade a gen 2 down to gen 1 or it would just destroy the save but um he could trade gen 1 Pokemon between them which was pretty cool and uh, it was just interesting like it it wasn't really useful, <laughs> but he was just trying, trying to make it happen, you know? Y'all never p ever played an original Game Boy. I never owned an original Game Boy, actually. I did play it. I had people that I knew that had them, and I would play, um, my favorite game on that was Mario and the Seven Golden Coins. It was a good game. That was my favorite Game Boy Color game. And, uh, yeah, my first, like, console ever was a Game Boy Color. And it was green, actually. I had, like, a crazy green one. And then my brother and I traded for some reason. He had, like, this sunflower yellow Game Boy Color. And I really liked the yellow for some reason. I was like, let's trade. <laughs> and I kind of made him trade me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they were. it wasn't like either of them were, were in bad shape or anything, but um, yeah, I really like the yellow one for some reason. I like the green more. You did. Okay, there you go. So it, it was a happy trade. <laughs> or you pressured me. I don't know. Well, I see, I convinced you to think 
that you liked the green more. So either way, you were happy with it. I, it's Inception. I made you feel like you had the idea. That's the, the big brother situation. All right, let's check these three shinies we got. See if we got any marks. Cottony number one. One has a mark. Oh, the other one has a mark too. Okay, we have two marked cottonies. What do you guys think for marks? And how do I evolve cottony even? Hold on. Let me look up cottony. I don't think I've ever evolved a cottony. Sunstone. Um, all right, well, whichever one has the cooler mark is the one that's going to turn into a Whimsicott. Sleepy. Oh, is it shiny? Sunstone. Yeah, Sunstone. All right. Let's check the marks. Serene. Serene mark would be cool. Um, lunchtime and uncommon. No more uncommon, please. Hmm. I got my yellow Game Boy Color when I was eight, and my mom gave it to a friend of their kid when I was 23. So I'd be a little sad about that being given up, but I would hope that the kid would be pretty excited about it. You know, it's if you're passing the torch and they're having a good time with it, I guess that's fine, right? All right, here we go. The marks on Cottony. Dawn mark. Somebody said this, didn't they? All right, hold on. Dawn mark, pretty good. Cottony number two. Zero energy mark. I kind of like it. And I think this kind of fits um, the shiny Cottony a little bit, or the shiny Whimsicott. It's going to be Whimsicott the Apathetic. Pretty neat. <laughs> I'm not mad about that. All right. Um, nobody guessed the, uh, the zero energy mark. That's a weirdo one. Let's use a sunstone. <laughs> Maybe I want to get in a good spot to see this, actually. Hold on. We want some good sun. We're going to go into the little area here so we can see it better. <clears throat> I didn't know she had it. I was heartbroken because I wanted to give it to my son. Yeah, that is unfortunate if you already have kids of your own and stuff. Yeah, that's too bad. But I will say, I know that it isn't exactly the same, but you can still pass that torch on with the Pokemon stuff. There's plenty of options if you want to get the Game Boy Color and experience that together, you know? But it it is unfortunate that it isn't the original. I get that it isn't the same. Um, shiny Cottony. Gonna be a Whimsicott. Um, very good Shiny. I feel like this is definitely better than Whimsicott, but um, Whimsicott isn't bad. This just like yellow and orange is just you know. <laughs> uh, do some Piplup next. Uh, I'm down. Yeah, we can do some Piplup. This is the Zero Energy Whimsicott. The Apathetic Shiny Whimsicott. <laughs> um, super, super cool, Mark. I would agree. Alright. Yeah, we'll try for a Piplup. We haven't had, like... Good luck with Piplup. We found everything besides Piplup over there. So, and you know what? We keep finding seals when we're in our Piplup spot. But we do have a really, really good location to look for them. I will just say, if we're going to go over there and look for Piplup, um, <clears throat> I'm probably just going to reset if we don't get a Piplup or something that like I need. Because we're kind of at the point now where um, it's pretty limited what I need in that kind of like biome area. I'm trying to think of anything else that I'm kind of needing in that spot at all. Like we have the whole Porygon line. We have all of the Minchino line. We have all of Oshawott, all of Seal. What else spawns over there? I wouldn't mind getting another, um, 
another Smeargle, but we're going to be doing a Water Sammy, so we're not going to see that anyways. What else? I'm just making my way downtown the uh, good old-fashioned way, just so we're clear here. We might see something on the way over. It's usually, I, I preached this in uh, Pokemon Legends, but if you have the charm, you have such high odds of seeing shinies that if you don't fast travel, you're going to see a lot more stuff and potentially see a lot more shinies, as long as you're looking. <laughs> so if you're just needing a bunch of different shinies and you need to go from point A to point B, don't fast travel. Just walk. Enjoy your time. Take it all in. Find those shinies. They did Seal dirty in this game. She deserved better. Um, I don't know. Seal's always been pretty unfortunate, the shiny. But, um, yeah, I would say that Seal does deserve a better shiny overall. Does deserve better. But, I don't know. I don't feel like it's just this game. <laughs> Like, it's always been kind of unfortunate. I'm trying to pay close attention here, just so I don't miss anything. Even though I don't need most of this. Or any of this, I guess. I mean, there really is nothing else I need here. I need Horsey, I guess. Horsey and... I need Seedra and Kingdra, actually, but, you know. I hate these blizzards. This is another bad thing about this spot. Hmm. It was making me just think. I, I had to look at it for a second there. I wasn't sure on the Solosis. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do a Water Sammy here. And my spot, I'm literally just walking back and forth here. There's a bunch of Seal. There's a bunch of uh, Oshawott too. But we get a bunch of Piplup as well. I feel like it's pretty even the distribution here. So... It's important you know that I just hatched a shiny Cherubi in X and Y. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad somebody's finding them. It ain't me, but as long as somebody's getting them, then I guess, you know, good. <laughs> Almost got this combo challenge. 11 on Paul. Uh, I did all of the combo challenges on King today. The combo challenge 11 on King is tough all right water sammy that's cucumber i know this one whoa whoa whoa, whoa. two cucumbers um i don't want to waste salty i'm gonna do bitter uh sorry i'm not talking much i'm playing some Pokemon Black. No, enjoy. Do your thing. Guys, don't stress if you're lurking, hanging out, doing your thing. I uh, know we're all kind of just playing our own games, doing our thing. A lot of us are shiny hunting, so I'm not like sitting here like, why aren't they talking? <laughs> I appreciate you guys chatting if you are in here hanging out and you feel the need, but don't, uh, don't feel pressured. Um... This Sammy, man. The cucumbers kind of mess with me a little bit. I can't lay them out. Oh, God. We're fine. We're fine. EP time. Uh, Jess MS. It's all good. Get some sleep. It's important. Get some sleep. <laughs> I appreciate you, Space Ghost. You the best. No you. <laughs> trying for a Kangaskhan and let's go good luck uh, it's a really good shiny I've never had one before one of these days you know I honestly would kind of be down to do a let's go hunt sometime soon um, it's been a while and I kind of miss it I don't know alright here we go Piplup time did I get ok well we got Piplup spawning Man, the Piplups actually seem like they're fairly, fairly common here. Um, I don't know if, God, this is tough with this blizzard though. 
Anybody who has found a shiny Piplup, let me know if it was really, really noticeable for you. Because, like, a lot of times when it's far away, I'm feeling like I see a little bit of the lighter blue. And then I just realize I'm kind of losing my mind. Man, I guess I have to go all the way kind of in and back out. What if I just picnic reset? I don't know if this is faster or not, me going back and forth. Nah, it probably is. Uh, I don't miss catch combos. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a really pretty game though. Like, Let's Go is, is the prettiest mainline Pokemon game I think ever done. It, if we're counting other spin-off stuff, Pokemon Snap, the new one, is obviously it. But like, Let's Go is just beautiful. And it has all of, like, the custom animations for all the Pokemon, like, walking with you and riding. Like, you can ride a lot of the Pokemon and stuff. They're all shiny and stuff in the overworld. Um, it just has so many cool little things like that. Oh my god, I was talking about how great it was with the Piplups and then all these seals. We were so lucky on the first spawn thing. What if I picnic reset? Because, like... It was after I closed out of the picnic that we got a bunch of Piplup. Let me just see if I feel like it's different or not. Just to check. Because that first one was all Piplup. Pretty noticeable. I found five of them. In like outbreaks or just like out and about? Okay, this is not any better. <laughs> they said, oh... Hey, yo, I heard that you're looking for Piplups. Would you like a seal in these trying times? <laughs> uh, it's not looking great here. Piplup is unfortunate. There's just so many other water types lining up with it. Uh, Let's Go is perfectly Pokemon. Make a game like that, but covering more regions and make everything truly to scale. Um, yeah, I would be down for a more fleshed out Let's Go, honestly. I don't know that another Let's Go game is ever happening, but, um, I wouldn't be mad about it. I think that it got a lot of hate early on, but it was not made for, I think, mainline Pokemon game fans. I think it was trying to bridge the gap, because you gotta remember, that was released during the big Pokemon Go boom. And they were trying to convince people that were really into Pokemon Go that aren't typical Pokemon fans um, to buy a Switch and play Pokemon the uh, the regular way. They're trying to convert you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't remember what the sales were like on that game, but it's almost like um, one of the ways this is a little peer behind the curtains a little bit on the YouTube side. When my streams are doing really well is, sorry, that thing looked weird. Uh, when my streams are doing really well, the subscribed versus unsubscribed is usually like a 50-50 split. And some people might think that that's a bad thing, right? Like 50% of people aren't subscribed to you that are watching. But that means that like 50% of the people that are watching the stream are people who haven't subscribed yet. Because hopefully they, they love you, boy. And they're gonna sub, you know? But like that just means that new people are seeing the stream, basically. Um, and with Pokemon Let's Go, I, I promise there's a... <laughs> There's something I'm getting to with this. With Pokemon Let's Go, the sales for that game, a lot of the sales are probably people who hadn't necessarily bought a Pokemon game for a long time, right? Like the percentage of that were probably new-ish Pokemon fans who hadn't really been purchasing consoles and Pokemon games for a while or maybe ever, right? So that's kind of what they were pushing for, and I think it probably worked to some degree, right? Pokemon Go was a big thing at the time. And I mean, I guess it's still a thing, just less so than the, the heyday, right? Uh, Logan, welcome in. My dad plays Pogo daily still. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people playing Pogo, even in the community here. We have a big Pokemon Go um, just squad in the Discord and stuff too. 
if you're into that stuff. I personally, I really like the idea of Pokemon Go. I didn't play it during the, the big boom. But, um, yeah, I'm not... I feel like I talk about this every stream. I just, I wish they, they treated it better. Like they tested stuff more and it wasn't as broken as it usually is. Like that's the thing that gets me is when they release an event and it's just like, it doesn't work <laughs> right at the beginning. They're like, oh, sorry. Like <laughs> they just never tested. It feels like, so that's kind of the thing that pushed me away from it. But uh, I love the idea of going out and just getting shinies when I went to go get lunch or dinner or whatever. Hatched a shiny Galarian Stunfisk today in Pogo. Very nice. I, I have two shiny Galarian Stunfisks in that game for some reason. <laughs> I don't know how I got two, why I got two, but it, it happened. Um, Just got the Kanga. Very nice. That was quick. That's like a pretty difficult one to get a big chain going on too because it's a really rare spawn, right? Did you already have the uh, the catch combo going? You just you just happened upon it. N sent out Kling Kling. Bet you love that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, I'm glad that it's on the other team because I just get to bop it. I said, get him out of here. Get the Kling Kling out of here. Just got a full out shiny Sneasel, very nice. In uh, Scarlet and Violet, or what are you hunting in? I guess you weren't probably hunting, you were just running a boot. <laughs> very nice, very good shiny. I keep seeing these Piplups and they're freaking me out a little bit. All right, we're only about seven minutes into the Sammy right now, so we still got time. I'm not really looking super closely at the um the seals the piplups i am kind of checking close just because i don't trust my my eyesight but i love the gears i just feel like they have a pretty dumb name um as far as the pokemon goes i feel like i've kind of gotten over the uh the overall design of it but cling clang cling clang i just remember seeing that and just being like ugh. Pokemon's over. It's over. Back when Gen 5 was coming out. And I skipped Gen 5. That's why I've never played it. Um, I've gotten over a lot of the design things. <laughs> Just with time, you know. But, yeah, is what it is. That was one of the, the primary reasons. I saw the stupid gears with their stupid name. I, uh... <laughs> I'm not that much of a hater anymore. I still think it's a goofy name, but it has a decent shiny. It's it's okay. It's not my favorite. <laughs> uh, got six Hisui and Voltorb. Why six? <laughs> it's a really good shiny, I guess. I you know somebody in here was saying they got a whole box of them. He said, "I'll take 30. Deal. <laughs> I guess if the 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 getting's good. I've uh, been getting very tired shiny hunting in Scarlet specifically lately. Yeah, I, um, that's why I've been doing other stuff recently, because I definitely was getting burned out in Scarlet and Violet, and, I mean, with any Pokemon game, it's all kind of the same deal with shiny hunting a lot of time, right? Like, it's normal to get burnt out on doing something just over and over and over again, especially something as, like, tedious as shiny hunting right if you're not having fun with it take a step back do do something else no reason to make yourself just really hate it that's why during uh when persona 3 reload came out took a little bit of a break i was just doing some persona stuff working on some stuff for the channel some video things and uh it's good to take a break i know that youtube doesn't love it and I know you guys are probably bummed out sometimes by it, but... Three dollars from Skooma Joe. Skooma, I, I like shorts. You. They're comfy. You see to wear. <laughs> comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> this is something that Trump would say. I mean, because this is him, after all. This is the real guy. Uh, well, Skuma and Mr. Trump, I appreciate the three dollar dues. The small loan of three dollars. 
Ended up getting the Rush Ram. Very nice. Uh, yeah, that's the... They're very Kofefe. <laughs> Kion's got the right idea. Uh, getting It's kind of an older meme. Not that old, but kind of old. <laughs> uh, this was the full message I had written out. Oh, you had the whole... The whole quote, A. Eh? <laughs> I can appreciate it. Well, I'm glad we got a Trump reading part of it, at least. We got the, the gist of it. I'm surprised. I really haven't been looking at the seals. I was going to say I'm surprised we haven't seen any yet, but maybe we've just kind of glossed over them. Uh, I actually phased again the day before I got it. Um... Well, I mean, you know, the phases aren't bad, right? With Dynamax Adventures specifically, there's a lot of things you're getting that... There's variety, at least. My wife is here stealing my thoughts. My wife is bored. Why are you bored? Dot, 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 she says. Uh, I have the best shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. People come up to me and say, wow. Those shorts are so nice. They look so comfy and easy to wear. I tell them I only wear the best. He would. I wish I could read. I wish I was good at, like, voices, you know. It would be really nice. I wear shorts. No. <laughs> My wife says no. <laughs> They're comfy and easy to wear. You have to, like, you have to do the face, kind of. One of these days I'll make it happen. I'm going to have to learn it. How do I go for Pinsir and Farfetch now? Um, it's going to suck. Just overall, it's not going to be a good time. This buffering on my, on my end is so annoying. Is it, uh, is it buffering for anybody else? Does anybody else have issues with that? Don't do this to me. That's not shiny, right? Can we, get... Can we not balance a bunch of food on my hair, please? I don't want a bunch of goldfish crumbs in my hair. God, help me. My wife's bored, so she's harassing me while I'm streaming. No, no, no. Go harass the animals. That's what I bought those for. Yeah. I'm not seeing the problem here. Go bother the animals. They're, they're here for that, specifically. Um... I prefer Pinsir over Heracross. Mmm, my wife's real mad about that. She's a big Heracross fan. Um, I like them both. I feel like Pinsir has a better shiny than Heracross, actually. Like, Heracross has a good shiny, but Pinsir's like a really cool blue. My wife's real mad about that one. Gonna eat my headphones? Alright. Fine. <laughs> um... Only losers wear long pants. I'm wearing long pants, by the way, guys. I would just want to let you know right now. So this is an accurate statement. This all tracks so far. Uh, fight the next trainer you see. I will not be doing that because I have a Sammy going. And also, no. <laughs> they all fail. Yeah, the old school. I don't know, guys. The The Piplup situation's not looking good. I like Pinsir Shiny more, and it's Mega. It does have... Well, I guess they both have Mega Evolutions. I didn't really think about that. Yeah. My wife said she really likes the Heracross one. No, I don't. <laughs> she hates Mega Heracross, she said. Pinsir is super cursed in Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Yeah. Yes, it is, in fact. Um, Mr. Mime plus... Uh, hair or er, pincer is pretty funny. I don't know about hair cross. Mr. Mind plus anything is pretty cursed, though. I, we all get that, right? I have two shiny hair hair cross, and both are male. Uh, no love heart. You hate to see it. That's the thing. Is like with the shiny hair cross, the female is just like perfect, right? You get the pink. You get the heart. It definitely has a kind of a, another dimension to it. Milk Champ remembers. Yeah, it's, uh, it sure is something. <laughs> they actually had that update and have a whole bunch of new sprites and stuff. 
I um I feel like that would be kind of a fun playthrough actually. Like it has a lot of content in it and I'm not usually super interested in um like fan games but I don't know. It has a lot of stuff in it. Looks pretty neat. Uh hold on just one sec guys. Alright, sorry. I was enlisting my wife to get me water. Um, light goal 250. Are we at 200 likes? Hold up, let's see. I see 199. <laughs> we need just one more like for the light goal, and then we'll pin another one up. I appreciate you guys liking the stream. Um, we'll go for a 225. It's been slowing down after 200 recently, so let's... We'll go for a cool 225. We went from 199 to 198. <laughs> All right, well, whenever we're ready... Okay, we're at 201 now. I appreciate you guys. Let's go 225. Just because I know it's a little slower. Um, I thought I saw a 225. Am I crazy? Love your live streams. Gaming with Johnny. I appreciate it. Glad you dig the vibes. What if Mr. Mime did the fusion dance with Vegeta? Uh, God help us all. <laughs> That's all I have to say on that one. 225. Hassan, you got it. Testing it on my phone. Yeah, Kion, let me know. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't heard anybody else saying they've been having a bad time with it, and usually people are pretty vocal about that, so I'm thinking it's just you. <laughs> and now I can dual hunt Kirim on black and my white too. Is it shiny huntable in base black and white? I do have a few copies of that as well. Maybe I need to do some base black and white and black and white two shiny hunts like at the same time. That'll be cool on the uh, the DS Lite setup. The um, shiny charm is not in black and white one though. It's only in black and white two. So I don't know if that affects all of the different legendaries and stuff, but I've really kind of been excited about like shiny hunting with the charm and the doubles grass. The double grass is really cool. I swear, every Piplup looks shiny from far away. I'm losing it. Get me out of here. Mr. Mime ate the barrier fruit. Yeah, he did that. He did, in fact. He ate the weirdo fruit. <laughs> he got a little weird with it. <laughs> uh, you can hunt it in black and white. Very nice. Yeah. I, um... And Kyurem is the only, like, unlocked shiny legendary in that game, right? Out of the story stuff. They forgot to lock it, which is fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad they messed it up. Only black and white too, but I don't want to spend a year getting the charm. Um, yeah... I get it. It's something that I'm going to be getting a, like a living dex anyways in those games. So I think it's worth it. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to transfer a bunch of stuff into Pokemon Ranch. And I can show you guys the, the goofiness that is Pokemon Ranch. Because I've talked with you guys about this before, how I had Pokemon Ranch with a bunch of stuff in it. And I had this like gang of Palkias that would go around and just harass all the level one baby Pokemon. They were just, they were a problem. They would run around and they would bully all of the baby Pokemon, this squad of like four or five Palkias. And uh, <laughs> there was nothing we could do about it. They were just running the streets in Pokemon Ranch. As a kid, I had a nightmare that my brother turned into a Mr. Mime and he was trying to feed me this thing he threw up. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> uh, well, so Mr. Mime has a very special place in your heart is what I'm hearing. Woke up crying and hitting my brother. That's, that's the correct response. Your poor brother is now always associated with Mr. Mime. <laughs> yeah, Mr.
This reminds a weird duck. I don't know what to tell you. Will you do a live stream tomorrow? I will be streaming tomorrow. Yep, same time. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing Scarlet and Violet or what I'm going to be playing yet. I'm not positive, but we'll, we'll be streaming. Uh, never seen Pokemon Ranch. It's cool. It's like, um, it just has all of the models from Pokemon, um, and it might only be for Gen 4. It might not work for Gen 5. It has all of the models from, um, Pokemon Rumble. It's like that kind of aesthetic. And then it has a me that like runs the ranch. I think that'd be a cool little stream or a cool little video or something showing it off get a bunch of Pokemon in it because it's also like a, a big box for your PC. It's kind of like Pokemon Home where you can have everything up there and transfer back and forth. Speaking of older Pokemon games, any any more rumble in the future? Honestly, I would be down. Those streams don't do great, but uh, I play that off stream every now and then. <laughs> I really, really like rumble. But uh, yeah, I, I'd be down. I could be convinced. I like shiny hunting while watching your stream, Will Yellow. Uh, I appreciate you hanging. And, uh, yeah, I know we have a few people just kind of hanging, lurking, doing their thing. Thank you, dear. Got some water. Um, but, yeah, appreciate you hanging out. This thing was looking a little weird. Wasn't it? We, we just had to check. Don't want to miss it. Uh, stream a playthrough of Black and White or Black and White 2 if you have a capture card. So, <clears throat> I don't have a capture card for my original DSs and stuff. Um, I do have like a, a setup for capturing all of the, the six DSs that I'm going to shiny hunt on, but I feel like it's not a good solution for a playthrough. And I don't know, I've tried playthroughs in the past on the channel and I felt like they just haven't super worked out and I'm not sure why like it's hard for me to pay attention to what's happening in the game and also like chat so I feel like th they haven't worked out because of that a little bit and that I think is more of a me thing <laughs> juggling the chat plus the the game and everything right but um we'll definitely be playing some of those older things I just I'm not sure about the playthroughs in my shiny only PLA run, I got two mimes in an outbreak. So you have two mimes in your party is what I'm hearing. You have the mime squad. <laughs> um, eating a cola candy right now and it tastes like nail polish. Yeah, that's how the cola candies be. Never been a fan of the cola flavored candies. Never really understood them. But uh, more cola candies for the cola candy appreciators. I love how Pokemon Go, I got Heatran, Darkrai, Cresselia, and Origin Form Giratina from just doing eight raids. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, the Pokemon Go stuff, you go around and do raids, you will get all kinds of cool stuff. And you have a very good chance of getting them shiny too, which is even better. One of those Piplops was looking a little weird, but I feel like there's no way that was it. I was just inside of the cave already so I couldn't super super tell just looking gotta make sure <clears throat> never made it as a wise man could you uh, cut it as a poor man stealing raise you think that would maybe work out for you instead <laughs> the classic Everybody hates on them, but I'll tell you what, they still play on the radio to this day, so. They're doing something right. Everybody loves to hate them, but they're still making those bucks. That's all that matters. In the, uh, the music biz, I guess. <laughs> um, didn't get any of them shiny, sadly. Yeah, well, if you keep doing raids, like, it will happen. The odds are crazy for shiny legendaries in those raids. You get a bunch of free raid passes and everything, so you'll you'll get your chance, I believe. My brother's been annoying to do the Sinnoh tour, but I'm still too sick to go anywhere like that. Yeah, don't go out and get people sick. You're playing the 
the right call here. But um, this does prove the the Mr. Mime theory with him a little bit, trying to get everybody sick. <laughs> Pokemon Go released Azelf in raids, but it was too strong, so uh, didn't get the chance to get it. Well, oh god, <laughs> it's closed out. Um, those events always are kind of rotating in and out, so if you weren't able to get it right now, just don't stress it; it'll come back. They always try to get it going in some event, some form like that. You'll get another shot. Um, Saturday is Sinnoh Tour Global if you want to do it. I don't even have Pokemon Go installed on my phone anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I just like, I like the idea of it, but, um, I haven't played it for so long. I don't even know what the heck I'm doing in that game anymore. I have some Pokemon, whatever. I just can never bring myself to go out and specifically play Pokemon Go now. And if I do go do it, I feel like I'll get locked into it again. Which my wife has been saying she kind of wants me, like she misses that. Us going out and doing Pokemon Go runs, but... I don't know. I don't want to give them the, the gratification. I want them to test their stuff. I know me not playing that game means absolutely nothing to Pokemon Go. It's just like, yeah, whatever. Great. <laughs> but, uh, yeah... This thing kind of... No. Nah. He's looking a little weird. Uh, trying to actually beat Gen 2 for once on Heart Gold, and it's just so slow. Yeah. I mean, old Pokemon games are so tough to get through. I have a ton of nostalgia for Gen 2. I can't bring myself to play through Heart Gold, Soul Silver with the crazy nostalgia, nostalgia vision and stuff, right? Um, it's just, there's a lot... <laughs> A lot with the older games that just now that you've played modern games and don't have to deal with HMs and you have the experience share and just like all of that stuff going back just makes it feel that much worse so uh, I get it it does have amazing music though and the pixel art in Heart Cold Soul Silver is unbeatable there is nothing better <laughs> I know we've talked about this before. I definitely like Heart Gold Soul Silver's like aesthetic more than Gen 5's. I feel like that was just peak Pokemon pixel art. If you get into it again, please friend me. Yeah, if you I, I will say exclamation pogo in the chat if you want my friend code in that. I'm not active. It's not worth wasting the membership or the friend slot for me, but uh my friend list is there. <laughs> Um, just stay free to play because it's more of a money grab now. I know that's, it's tough, but like when I'm playing, there's like, I want to buy some things, not for them, but for me, you know, it's, it's easy for me to start buying things, wailing, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> don't have heart, gold, soul, silver. I want it though. It's, uh, it's not cheap. It sucks. It is what it is. That would be another cool thing if uh, Virtual Console. I'm telling you. I don't think that one's happening. Although I think that maybe... Maybe there's a decent chance of a Gen 2 kind of remake thing happening. So maybe we don't have to worry about Heart Gold Soul Silver as much sometime soon. You know what would be a really cool remake? is if they remade a pixel, like older school Pokemon game, but they gave it the modern niceties. Like they made basically like some of the fan fan games do, where they give you the experience share and they get rid of HMs and stuff. And, uh, you know, just kind of modernize the old style of Pokemon games a little bit. I think that would be kind of a neat approach, although that would not happen, I don't think, but I still think it would be neat. Sunlight's coming up, so I'm kind of... Some of these seals and stuff are looking shiny. Uh, saving up a thousand Pokecoins for an animation. You have 500 saved up. See, that? that's the thing. I could never bring myself to buy the... Uh, 
like customization things like that for the poke coins like i was always just using it on actual like usable items for catching or whatever it was like remote raid things or whatever i wish but nintendo never makes what the fans want well <laughs> to some degree i guess i will say that if i was nintendo and i looked at pokemon scarlet and violet got the the like highest sales ever or some of the highest sales ever i think in the amount of time that scarlet and violet has been out it is like the highest selling thing within that how long has it been out now a year ish that's shiny right no I'm losing my mind Pipla, please uh, I love HMs and the one Pokemon EXP share. Why? <laughs> I love tedious things. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, definitely not something I love. It's back in the day, I didn't know any better. But now that I've not had to deal with the, the individual like grinding for each Pokemon and like I've said this before, but it doesn't make the game more difficult. It just makes it more tedious, right? Like, it's not hard to KO a hundred Pokemon. Just one hit KO, like, a hundred Pokemon to level up each of your things individually. It's not, like, adding difficulty. It's just adding time to it. And I, I just don't feel like that really benefits the uh the games a whole lot like there's a lot of other things that you can do that take time like shiny hunting and everything else and it's like you're accomplishing a little bit more i guess just nostalgia i guess i mean that and that's fair like if you're just looking for the older style and you don't want to have to change it up like that's that's fine <laughs> i got you but i definitely would not want that to make a comeback in like the main series nowadays. I'm going to reset it. I'm kind of trying to remember when I saved last. I'm hoping that I saved after all of this Whimsicott and Snubble. Otherwise, we're in danger. <clears throat> Just beat the Splatoon 3 DLC. Um, I've seen some stuff on that. I didn't realize that was out, though. How'd you like it? Uh, the Stay Focused Boys videos. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea. Moved. Hilo. How you doing? Sorry, I missed your message. <laughs> um, we have some pretty good shinies tonight. Just overall. Okay, good. We saved before all of this. Um, what do I want to do? I remember my first level 100, it was a Firo and Fire Red. Oriso, I'm pretty sure I've said this before. I'm pretty sure that was my brother's first shiny as well. And I'm pretty sure it was in his leaf green, which is a very funny coincidence. I remember he got it to level 100, like in Cerulean, like on level 17s or something. <laughs> like He's just grinding outside of Cerulean Cave. I'm going to eat this Hershey Kiss that my wife gave me. remember like he was out there KOing things and I'm like what are you doing dude <laughs> got his absolutely jacked Firo HMs are really the only thing I find annoying about the older games yeah I mean they're just so bad like most of them surf is amazing but like besides that they're all pretty pretty rough in the newer games, Waterfall is really good too, but um, Waterfall and Surf used to, Surf might still be like the go-to for some Pokemon, but like um, Waterfall for a long time was like the physical water move 
for a long time. And then like liquidation and other things came out, but yeah, that was a really, really good move for a bit. And it's still not bad, but things like cut <laughs> and uh, rock smash and stuff like uh, just ain't it. Yeah, Surf is still pretty good. I mean, it hits multi-targets, and it's a, just a really strong water move with no downside, basically. Definitely not bad. I'm trying to think about what I want to go for. Guys, if you have any, any recommendations, you let me know. I'm kind of just running about until I decide what the heck I'm going to go, go look at. Got the fire starters here. That wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Is that a shiny gullet? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> we hunted for this thing just like <laughs> on its own. We're just finding them random. I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we should go look at the spear tomb, actually. I will go check that out. We can't keep getting away with it, man. Can't keep getting away with it. Love shiny golet. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> Hunt Plusle. I already have Plusle and Minun. Minun is the rare one in my game, and we got that. We were so lucky with with Minun, man. Yeah, we uh, had a really good time in Charge Stone Cave. I um, I don't think I need anything in there anymore. I think I have all the Pokemon in that cave, shiny. Jonesy. Yes. Come in here. Waste your time. <laughs> Welcome in, buddy. Uh, I'm sorry we're not helping you be productive at work, but I'm glad to have you in here. What do you need, Calm? I, I need a handful of things. That's the issue, is I, I have a large assortment of things I need. A little bashful golet. But no, Mark. We'll get another one on the board, though. just happened upon him. It's going to be a little smaller. I'm going to downsize him a little bit. Um, <laughs> Calm needs a hug. <laughs> Hassan's getting handsy tonight. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me look at my living decks. Let's see. We... We need Electabuzz and Electivire still. We also need um, Zebstrika. We go Electric. What else? Inke and Malamar. We need a bunch of water types. We need Tentacruel, Seedra, Kingdra. We need Lantern still. We need all of the Hitmon evolutions. The Time Rogue actually isn't too bad. With a fighting Sammy, we can get all of those pretty quick, probably. Um, got a snubble. I'm checking these off on my living decks just as I'm going. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, we got a Grookey. Let me check that off. The fire type ones, I guess I could probably do a fire Sammy too. That wouldn't be too bad. Look in Kitakami. We do still need a bunch of grass things in Kitakami too. Shift Tree, Ludicolo, Victory Bell, Levani. I wouldn't mind getting some of those too. Let me, we're gonna go check Spiritomb first things first. Just, you know. We'll we'll do that before midnight. Otherwise I'm gonna forget. So let's let's go do that. Hey man, I have a few shiny Voltorb that you are looking for in your Pokemon game, Luis. I got two of them today. <laughs> I got the Voltorb and the Electrode. So I'm doing good. But it sounds like everybody's been having some good luck with them. Seedra, do it. Uh, I am definitely down to get a Seedra and a Kingdra. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what the best spot for him is. It seems like there's a lot of overlap. But since I need 
lantern and stuff too. That's not too bad. We do an academy special while we're running around. We're gonna go check Spear Tomb and just kind of, you know, we're gonna do our thing. I'm not committing on this one. <clears throat> Yeah, definitely be down with a Cedra. All right, Spiritomb checks. And I think we'll do the other ones. We'll try to do the uh, the checks at midnight if we can get there. <laughs> All right, whoops. Spiritomb time. It's been a while since we checked these. We might be sitting on some shinies and we didn't know it. Because we used to check these every night we played this game. In the water, Porsche nut. Don't give me that. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured in the water was the, the situation. Still got the Rhyhorn line, yeah. And you know what? Actually, if I do rock or ground, I also have that Geodude uh, outbreak. Maybe I should do one more check for that. That's a good idea, and if I get the Geodude situation knocked out, I can just move over to... Um, Rhyhorn. I think that's maybe, maybe what I'm going to do. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, make sure I don't miss a shiny here. I do have the Sammy, or the uh, Academy Special going, so. <laughs> there's an okay chance. Not like amazing, amazing, but there's a chance. And unfortunately, it does not help our odds with, um... The spirit tombs would be great if it did, but it do not. Oh god. I it's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> um I'll trade you if you have an extra iron valiant for shiny Kingdra. Um, Luis, I don't think I have an extra of those, but Either way, I'm trying to catch all of these myself with my own name on them, but if you're looking for any trades, I mean, um, we have a bunch of people in the Discord that I'm sure, uh, if you're looking for something specific, if somebody's going to have it, somebody over there will probably be able to hook you up. So that goes for any of you guys. Exclamation Discord in the chat if you guys want to pop in. A uh, really good spot for trades if you're looking for uh, Dynamax adventures, people to BP grind with, all that stuff. Got a bunch of people hanging out doing their thing. I should probably just... Oh my god, this game is lagging so bad. It is not running good. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm trying to fly at fr five frames a second. That is a lot of Sneasels and Weebells there. It'd be insane if we got this just tonight, the rando, like, Scarlet and Violet stream. <clears throat> I'm here to watch you fail a shiny. We'll never do that. I've never done that in my life. You're gonna be waiting a while. <laughs> All right. One more. We're gonna have, um, the other set tonight as well, I think. It's in, like, an hour. You know, we did a stream where I was just looking at um, the Spirit Tombs doing soft resets for it. I think it would be cool to maybe pick that up again one of these days. That Avalug was looking a little weird. I just, I had to take a look. I wasn't sure. Big money. <laughs> we have three more. I'm not, like, sad about it yet. No Sag yet. We getting anything good out of Pokemon Day? Our Jonesy? Uh, we can only hope. We can only hope. I go... I think Sawaddle, Spupa, and Bellsprout are all over here, and I need all of those. So I think we're going to maybe just use the rest of our Academy special here. <clears throat> Maybe I should go to the Geodude Outbreak. I have the Academy Special going, and we already have the Outbreak, like, set up. Look at all this duck light. 
Man, we need C dot too. Okay, um, I'm gonna change it up. We are gonna look at Geodude because we have the Outbreak, we have the Academy Special, like we have really good odds. I feel like this is the way I should do this. Finally, a shiny Rowlet, very nice. Super, super good shiny, congratulations. <laughs> uh, one of my personal favorite shiny starters just of the bunch. A big fan of old, old Rowlet and shiny Rowlet. They're both just cool little guys. Uh, left for a bit and found a few more shinies. Final one for the night will hopefully be shiny Saviper. Yeah, Saviper's really good. That one took me a little while to get. Um, I really like shiny Zangoose. I know it isn't like crazy crazy, but the white and like the red to blue is just like perfect. The red to blue shinies are always just so spicy. <clears throat> Maddie, yo, how's it going? Looking for a few Pokemon such as Iron Valiant, Iron Jugulus, so basically the, the violet things. Let's finish the Kitakami Pokedex. Yeah, so um, you'll probably not have a great time in the chat here trying to get trades. The Discord is really good for that though, if you're... Uh, looking for stuff especially trying to complete the pokedex we have a lot of people who are willing to help out with like touch trades and stuff too if you're looking for that so definitely feel free to pop in that goes for all of you guys if you're looking for homies to help out um it's just a really cool chill community lots of helpful folks <laughs> so feel free to pop in exclamation discord in the chat but it's kind of late. It's probably going to be tough to find people to trade right now. But uh, during the day in the Discord, that's the spot. But yeah, that and for other games too. Like we have a lot of people doing Dynamax adventures and stuff in Sword and Shield. We have people showing off when they get shinies and basically every Pokemon game released. So <laughs> whatever kind of Pokemon is your flavor of Pokemon, it's a good spot for it. Um, how would you guys feel if we got more DLC for Scarlet and Violet on Pokemon Day? What would the, uh, nobody's really talked about that potentially being a thing. I feel like I would probably be okay with that. I would also be okay with getting this shiny Geodude. <laughs> you would cry, really? I don't know. I feel like, um, I don't know. I feel like it'd be kind of cool get a little bit more um geodude hold on i need to see what attacks this has this might have explosion um stone edge double edge explosion earthquake oh god <laughs> okay i just need to throw i think i'm just gonna ultra ball this because this is gonna evolve i just need to have damp so it doesn't immediately die and then, yeah, we already have a Geodude, so these are going to evolve. I think Ultra Ball's the way. I don't want it to be more DLC. I just, I feel like, here's, here's my thought, is like Switch 2 comes out, and it's like the new 3DS, and some games get like a performance boost with this new console, and I feel like it might end up being the way to play um, Scarlet and Violet. Like, it makes it look better, run better, all that stuff. And if there's, like, a little more DLC, a little more content with it, I, I don't know. I think it could be okay. I know there's some people that are really, like, against the Scarlet and Violet stuff, so... All right, this one's going to be a Graveler, so I'm going to get it on the board. Hold on. Just so I'm not wasting, wasting uh, Academy Special. We've been getting some good stuff tonight. We're going to fill up the whole board. No DLC for Gen 9. Uh, you don't want it, Raze? <laughs> Get back and the dude shines. Yeah. <laughs> I wish, wish they would unlock the areas in Paldia close to the Bamboo Valley. Yeah, the, um... The, like, blocked-off top-right thing, right? 
Look at that Geodude go. There he goes. <laughs> it's like, dude, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, well, you know, sometimes you just need to run away. Just like that. He said, I'm out. <laughs> uh, you've gotten a lot of Graveler this weekend. Um, have I? What are you talking about? <laughs> this is my first Graveler. You crazy. I'm trying to think of any other Gravelers that I've found. Uh, oh, I guess, no, I did get some Gravelers in Legends literally yesterday. <laughs> I guess I have. <laughs> uh, I like Scarlet and Violet DLC potential a lot more uh, I want to do in this game. I, I read that really weird. A lot more I really want to do in this game. Um, yeah, I mean, I have, like, a lot of the living decks finished. There he goes again. What is that Geodude doing? What is he up to? He's just up there flying at two frames a second. I don't know about that one. He's got some issues. We're not gonna question it though. Now, if that was the shiny, that would be just not a good time. Uh, you got two of each of the shiny Pokemon you got yesterday. Yeah, I know, I... <laughs> uh, yeah. The dude just sent, yeah, they're just, I don't know what exactly is happening over there, but there's something that all the Geodudes are interested in up there. Cause one keeps going up every single time. Yeah, that's the flying Terra type Geodude, exactly. <laughs> Pokemon needs to release Shiny Coridon and Miridon. Yeah, what if it was like. We're just gonna go complete weirdo mode on this. What if it was like a, a DLC area and at the end of it you got to Shiny Hunt Coridon Miridon? You know? You go across the, um, the portal for the time warp thing. And you get to find the shiny version of them. Be kind of cool. It'd be cool if they did it more like an event like that. Like, like it's a special thing. Even if they made it full odds, I think that would still be pretty cool. Like, I wouldn't be mad about that, you know? Just make it a really rare, like, you gotta work for it type thing. Um, that'd be cool, but it'd never happen. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Get your wish list ready and see if you're right. I don't think that that's really a, a super high potential thing, but I feel like DLC is such a low-hanging fruit a lot of times. Like, they don't have to remake the entire game. They're just adding stuff in, which is, like, less overall scope, right? Like, they have all of the main systems already in the game. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I honestly... I don't think that DLC with Pokemon is a bad thing. Like, I would almost rather pay, uh, like, a $30 type deal for another, like, big chunk of Pokemon and areas and variety and stuff, rather than, like, every... How often do they release Pokemon games? It's, like, less than a year, right? Like, every year just buying a brand new full game. I feel like there's a lot of potential to have a lot of cool stuff with the DLC and it's like less potential investment overall for them, right? But what do I know? <laughs> uh, they give it the unchangeable odds of pre-gen 6. Yeah. The, uh, the OG 1 in 8192. I think it'd be kind of cool. Honestly, they could make it even more difficult if they really wanted shiny legendaries to be like nightmare shiny hunts and they want them to really be a crazy rare thing they could honestly make them like one in twenty thousand and i think people would still be going for them and it would make them that much like more special you know it would be a nightmare tedious just <laughs> ordeal but when you finally got it you'd feel very accomplished portion up with the gifty buddy i appreciate you um who got that quandale Make sure you say thanks. I know you're in here. Say thanks. And guys, make sure you're opted in. Exclamation gift. Otherwise, you can't get one of those. 
Uh, I think they need to stop with games every year, especially if they have to come up with new battle gimmicks every time. Yeah. Although a lot of times it's remake kind of stuff, right? Like when was... There he goes again. I'm telling you. When was Gen 7? Gen 7 was like... 2015, 2016 or something, right? Like, it was a while ago. And then Gen 9 was... 2022? So it was like a five or six year gap, right? Am I crazy? When, when were these releases? Oh, there we go, man. All right, the Geodude luck is here. We're finally back. <laughs> this is with the Academy special too. We had the not greatest luck on the Geodudes earlier, but we're, we're turning it around. <laughs> Which Pokemon series was or is your all-time favorite? Um, Pokemon series like the anime, you mean? Or like Pokemon games? The dude. This one's going to be a golem. Got a Minun outbreak. That's awesome. Yeah, luckily I didn't have to use an outbreak for my... Uh, my plus hole slash minin, but boom. Look at him. Big chungus. I'm gonna make him extra, not extra large. We're gonna just like that. He's still a big boy. Uh, <laughs> how do I trigger Academy Special? All you need to do is go into the cafeteria and buy it. It's like 150 BP, I think. Honestly, my favorite anime series is just, like, the original. I just have a lot of nostalgia for it. I feel like um, I really liked how sassy the characters were. I have a lot of nostalgia for the art style and stuff. I grew up with it, you know. Um, I honestly, I really like Journeys, too. I felt like Journeys had a lot of cool stuff. Um, it was cool because it wasn't always in the same region. They were always going to different places. So there was a lot of different Pokemon in it. Um, lots of different gym leaders. It was just like a... How do I describe it? Kind of like a victory lap through all of the... All of the animes. It was like, hey, you played this game. You remember this. I know you do. <laughs> like, it was just cool seeing all the homies and stuff, you know? You know what? Maybe I'm going to go over where I was at before. We need Dot. We need um, Bellsprout because we need Victory Bell. We need the uh, Spupa line, which is over here. I think 15 minutes. We have potential for seeing something. Yeah, we got a Swaddle there. I think I need an Arbok too. Oh, God. <laughs> All-time favorite Pokemon anime series is Johto. Especially Orange Island, yeah. I mean, that same kind of timeline. Basically, the original series, the, like, Indigo League up to Johto is, like, kind of what I'm talking about. I feel like every timber I see looks shiny, but I'm just gonna not stress it. I'm just gonna run around. Uh, Journeys felt discombobulated to me. Yeah, I don't know. I just... The, the other thing I liked about it, first off, it has the evil Mr. Mime, which is hilarious. Um, at the beginning, like the first, I don't even know when it stopped doing this, but in the early episodes, there was a thing where they were battling, and it was like, this is such a dorky thing to be like excited about, about a Pokemon thing, but like in the anime, they sent out these Pokemon, and I can't even remember what they were now. But it was like some high level Pokemon and they were going to battle. And it's like, oh, this thing should do swords dance and set up first. It's like in my head, I see the Pokemon and it's like, oh, this thing is going to swords dance and it's going to do this attack. And literally, they're like, use swords dance. <laughs> and it starts setting up like it starts doing some kind of like competitive Pokemon things. I'm like, oh, dang. <laughs> And your boy got real excited for a second, and then I, I realized that I have a problem, and then I, then I got sad. <laughs> but no, I mean, it was just interesting, and I feel like 
They just have a lot of variety in what's going on. Like, I'm not watching all of the episodes back to back to back, which would maybe make that feel a little more, like, disjointed or discombobulated, like you guys were saying. But, like, for me, it was I would watch one episode when we ate lunch, maybe one when we watched dinner, or when we watched dinner, when we ate dinner. And it was, it was nice and bite-sized like that. They're connected, but they weren't, like, crazy, crazy connected, you know? And, uh, I don't know, maybe that's just, maybe that's just me. I feel like it was probably pretty well-received overall, right? Like, what do you guys think about Journeys? Overall. Most of you guys watched it, right? I watched Gen 1 on Cheese TV before school in Australia. The good old days, Cheese TV. <laughs> Uh, in in the states, it was Kids WB, was where the the Pogi Mans were at. Not as cool as Cheese TV. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> you watching Pokemon on Cheese TV? <laughs> I like it. I'm a fan. Um, Vlad, good evening everyone. I'm seeing y'all popped off. I'm telling you, the Scarlet and Violet streams, they just, they hit different. It's nice when it's not like an everyday thing, you know, but when you come back to this game and you're like, oh yeah, that's how this game is. <laughs> um, almost cooking. We're always cooking here at Calm and Collecting Industries. Always cooking. My game is flagging like crazy right now. Journeys is fun to watch uh, when I'm playing Pokemon Story. Going to watch it while I play Sword for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. It's You don't have to pay, like, super crazy close attention, right? Like, it's just a nice little background thing, which maybe could speak to it not being, like, crazy deep. <laughs> like some of the other anime series. I know a lot of people say I need to watch the X and Y and, like, Gen 5 anime and stuff. Um, I don't know. I... Like, I guess a lot of the story stuff people like a lot in those, but for me, the Pokemon anime was never, like, super, super about the story. And I guess that's the same way with the games, too, right? Like, I've never been super invested in the story of Pokemon games, because I feel like even at their best, they're not really, like, a story-driven <laughs> game most of the time, right? Like, for me, I'm into Pokemon for the collection aspect of it. The collecting, some might say. But yeah, that's just, that's the main reason I'm into it. The story was never the, the draw, the appeal for me. Some of them have had okay stuff. Like this game, I feel like this Pokemon game is definitely one of the best, like, Pokemon game stories that they've had so far. I felt like the characters were really cool. There was, like, the... Um, Sorry, there was like a bell sprout losing its mind over there. I just heard blah 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 blah. There's a ducklet. I'm glad I turned around. <laughs> this is good shiny. Again, we are cooking. Love to see it. Fantastic shiny. This thing might have Brave Bird. I feel like that Staravia looks shiny. Is that Staravia shiny? There's no way we got two shiny burbs on the same, like, screen, right? Hold on. We'll get Ducklet on the board. I have to go look at that Staravia, though, because I'm pretty sure I need that. Hey, yo, you shiny? You're not. You dead. <laughs> we got a Ducklet. That's fine. Uh get the duck on the board. We've got a lot of Gen 5 uh, representation here tonight. Uh, where is the duck? Duck. There you be. This is Gen 5, right? the heck is this duck? I've scrolled through Gen 5, like, is it Gen 6? It's 
not Gen 6? It... <laughs> Where is this Pokemon? Hold on. Where are these burbs? Found it. We got it. It's getting late. You know how it goes. Right? We all get it. You know, we weren't looking for it. I'm not mad. If I had to get a duplicate, this is one that I can live with. The footing is not correct on where this ducklet is at. A little down. A little up. OCD is tough. All right, there we go. I don't know if I saved. Oh, I'll do it again. This is just an Academy special, so we didn't really pay much for this. I don't mind wasting time. We got seven minutes on this, man. I'm telling you. The Academy special just hits different for us. It always pays off. We never have an L Academy special. I mean, the thing is, is like, because there's basically no cost to it, it's never really a, a hard L. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, oh, well, we lost 100 BP. Bummer. But like, there have not been many of these. I can't remember a, like an Academy special that we just completely failed on. I guess maybe our Geodude Sammies, huh? Or the Geodude Academy specials literally during this stream. <laughs> we, we don't talk about those, though. We only remember the good times. The spicy good times with all the shinies. Uh, 14 shinies for the night. I'm telling you, we're not done yet. We got, we got time still. <laughs> um, in the cafeteria at the Blueberry Academy. Yeah, so you have to go to the second part of the DLC, and you just go into the cafeteria. It's the bottom right food option. It's called the the Academy Special. And what it does is it gives you um shiny power. Shiny power level one for all types. So you don't get encounter power. You don't get to like choose what things you want to encounter type wise. But everything has a shiny boost. So you have really good odds for everything spawning to potentially be shiny. Which is just really cool. I mean, you see so many things. And I really like the variety of it. It's almost like um, random encounter hunting kind of. In uh, some of the older games. Because like you don't get to pick... You don't get to uh, kind of push the encounters one way or another. So you truly just have to get lucky and see whatever Pokemon it is, if it's a rare spawn or not. Like, <laughs> they all have good shiny odds, but you're still kind of held to the spawn rates of the area. So it's a, a neat little thing, and it basically costs nothing. Like, BP grinding, again, another thing you can do in the Discord. Got a handful of people doing that, although it's slowed down a little bit. Been less people doing BP grinding stuff recently, but I'm sure you could find some homies. Because in multiplayer you get so much BP, and it only costs like 100, 150, I think, for the uh, Academy special, so, yeah. I just, whenever I'm not sure what sandwich I want to do, I just do that. <laughs> nice, easy check. Let's have 30 minutes and decide what I want to go for. Every time I hear these sparkles on this crystal, it's like freaking me out a little bit. I know that the the shinies in this don't have that, but just freaks me out, man. I really would like to get that Arbok. I think I... I don't know if it's changing every time I walk up to it unless I KO it. Praise Arcus, exactly. They're really helping us out in Scarlet and Violet tonight. Still need a Staravia, and I think I need a Staraptor still too. I can't remember what ones I need, but there's like gender differences on all of those. All of the the Starly evolutions. Luis, what's the Academy Special? We were just talking about that. It's a food that you can buy in um, the cafeteria in uh, Blueberry Academy, so in the second part of the DLC. And it gives you shiny power level one for all types. So it boosts every single Pokemon's shiny rate. 
and I think level one, I'm not positive on the numbers for that, but I think it basically is just like, it's almost like an upgrade for your shiny charm for 30 minutes. Like, instead of your odds being 1 in 1365, I think your odds are 1 in uh, 1024. I think that's, that's right, but it's something like that. It's just like a little boost, but it's for everything, every single Pokemon. So it's good in my book. That bell sprout was going bananas. <laughs> um, does it stack with outbreak odds? It does. Yeah, just like if you use like a sandwich um, on top of the shiny charm, that all stacks. So yeah, that's why when I was doing the uh, Geodude outbreaks, we already knew that it was just Geodude spawning there. So using a uh, an Academy Special is like a free way to get an even better boost. And I don't know what Shiny Charm plus Best Outbreak Odds plus um, Shiny Power Level 1 is. I'm not positive what the odds are with that, but it's, it's a f basically free boost. It's free real estate. Might as well use it. <laughs> um... Bellsprout and Sawaddle line are definitely not like the most common thing here. We see a handful of them, but I've been seeing a lot of Fomantis and stuff too. Um, I'm not going to mess with the Staravias. Like, I keep kind of getting sidetracked by them. Uh, what did you think about the Gouging Fire and Raging Bolt? Raging Bolt, I really am not um, a fan of. <laughs> it's whatever, but, like, I don't know. I don't really like the long neck. Gouging Fire's okay. I prefer it over Raging Bolt, but I feel like neither of them are super interesting. I will say that I like both of them a lot more than the robot ones, though. <laughs> um, Iron... Iron, I don't know, <laughs> the Terrakion and Cobalion ones, I can't remember what they are, I just basically caught them just for the decks, it kind of sucks, that's one of the other things, is I need to get a Gouging Fire and a Raging Bolt, but I don't have the DLC on my um, Scarlet yet, and I'm literally like, the only thing I need the DLC for for my own like living decks completion in Pokemon Home is those two. Like those are literally the only thing. <laughs> and it feels real bad buying the DLC for two Pokemon like that. But I think I'm gonna have to do it at some point. Like I, <sighs> that sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tr uh, like get them and just move them into home and just be done with it I think. Iron Crown and Iron Boulder. There you go. I would not have remembered that. I caught him and then never looked at him again, basically. Oh, wow. Literally looked at the last second of the sandwich. Um, not bad. Let's check if we got any marks on these things. And I need to evolve them. Um, Graze or somebody else, if you're here, or somebody playing, uh, Scarlet and Violet, I guess. Raze, you're probably not even playing this. I need to evolve a uh, Golem. I guess I have my other game. I guess I could just load it up on that and trade, too. I could do that, I guess. Let's see if they have a mark, anyways. We'll, we'll check them out. Have an extra Raging Bolt for you. Um, you know, I, I could be down for that. <laughs> Alright, no mark on Geodude number one. No mark on Geodude number two. Wow, okay. No marks at all. <laughs> Gouging Fire and Raging Bolt are obvious <laughs> holes for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> just missing in your uh, living decks, you mean? Yeah. It's tough. And I just... Just for two Pokemon, it feels not great.
Zerg, are you in um, Scarlet and Violet right now? Yeah, I'd be down to to trade and do that if you're in it. Otherwise, Raze is offering up, booting up the Switch too. I'm, I'm down either way. If you're already in the game, Zerg, I, I don't mind. That works for me. I'll go ahead and evolve the, um, the Geodudes right now, because I'm going to have to evolve both of them. My other Geodude have a mark. I have one more. I fawn. Do I not have a Geodude? Oh. Well, that's the Alolan one. Um, do I still need? You know what? Maybe I transferred them. Hmm. I don't know if I have this. Am I insane? Am I just missing... Geodude here. I have a Lowland there. Look at this spicy shiny. As long as we're in here. And we'll look at another spicy shiny. Oh, such a good one. Um, I guess I need one more. Man. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to wait to evolve these right now. Because I need one still, and if I find a Graveler or something, or I, you can't really find Golem, but I am going to wait, I guess. Just for now. I have so many shiny Golem. No, I, I need it with my own name, though. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the issue. Yeah, I need to, like, get my living deck situation kind of squared away i need to check it just sucks when it's in home because i have to load into home figure out what i have i can't do anything in home i have to transfer it all back into scarlet or violent make the changes evolve them do whatever transfer it all back like just it sucks This thing looks really shiny. Nope. <laughs> I was seeing if my my Pokemon Sight ability was still there. I am so glad I don't need to do this shiny hunt anymore. I'm so glad I'm done with them. I don't need any of that evolution line. I have all of the gender differences too. We're done with Poliwag. And it turns out there's like a pretty decent cave to shiny hunt those. That uh, much nicer than them being in the water and stuff. But uh, what can you do? Found it out after the fact. <laughs> um, no, you haven't played them, but do you have black, black and white, and black and white too? I'm going to answer you with a show and tell. Whoops. There's a couple games. That's Diamond and Black and White. <laughs> Diamond, Pearl, two Platinums, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, two copies of Black 2, two copies of White 2. And two more copies of black and white. There's all my Switch games. They're upside down. Here's my Switch collection. You guys want to see what I've got? Um, and then, if that wasn't enough for you, the 3DS era. XY, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, two copies of Ultra Moon, one copy of Regular Moon. Two copies of Regular Sun, one copy of Ultra Sun. 
Love to see it. I bought all that when I was in Japan. I went a little crazy. And as long as we're flexing the collection stuff, I have just a grab bag of GBA games I bought when I was in Japan too. Two copies of I'll show. Why not? We're here. Two copies of Emerald. This is kind of tough for me to balance at the same time. Got a copy of Pokemon Green. Look at that. I have a video coming out on this kind of soon. Working on it. Really, really excited about that. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Got Japanese Crystal. Uh, all of these, pretty much all of these, I got complete in box, by the way, which is really, really cool. I really, this is only on the Japanese one, this like cool crystal on the PCB. I already had two copies of Silver complete in box. The thing that kind of sucks about the Japanese games, the older ones, they aren't colored. Like this is a very dark blue the rest of the cartridge is like a gray but like it's really weird they weren't gold and silver like in english just different you know um have a couple copies of ruby uh i got the three copies of uh, Sapphire. Literally, I have a video on my Japan haul. Literally, two of these copies of Sapphire I got for like $5 US. And they're all like real copies, which is, you know. <laughs> then I got one of each of these. Com uh, I don't have this one complete in box, actually. I never found this complete in box in Japan. But uh, Fire Red, I did get complete in box. Uh, I have all of the... You guys can see them back there. A bunch of the boxes and stuff for the games in the background. Yeah. I have all of these that I haven't done anything with yet. <laughs> I really need to. Uh, just subscribe to you on YouTube. Luis, I appreciate it, buddy. Glad you dig the vibes. Um, my brother lost Sapphire and Leaf Green cartridges made me so sad or else I'd have all of the Gen 3 cartridges. Something about Gen 3 hits different. Uh, Omerington, I agree with you. Definitely, uh, the Gen that has the most, like, most nostalgia? I'm not sure. Like, I have a lot of nostalgia for the really old stuff, but Gen 3 was still, like, nostalgic in that sense, but I also knew what the heck was going on. You know what I mean? And like the the pixel art was so nice. It like the colors and the designs were finally like kind of dialed in. Pokemon was doing their thing. It was just such a the game like lagged really hard there. <laughs> yeah, it was just such a cool era of Pokemon Gen 3. I felt like the designs were really cool still, really colorful. The shinies were really spicy. Just overall, lots of really good stuff in Gen 3. Music was great. Had the trumpets. All about trumpets, guys. Hold on, I'm adjusting the cam a little bit. Um, you going to use a translator for the games, or do you know Japanese? I can read a little bit of Japanese, to be honest with you. I don't really have, like, vocabulary with Japanese. That's the issue. I can read everything that's on screen, but it's like... It's weird to describe it. Being able to completely read Japanese as a language is cool and all. Because it's all just written in hiragana. And I know all of that. But <laughs> there's no comprehension. <laughs> I have very little vocabulary in Japanese, which is a problem. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just be picking stuff up as I go. To be honest with you, as long as I get the right attacks on, like, my battle Pokemon, I can figure out the Pokeball stuff. There'll probably be some shenanigans with me messing stuff up while I'm 
you know, not understanding Japanese, but that's, there's some fun in that too, right? <laughs> there's a reason why there's so many Gen 3 ROM hacks, I'm telling you. It's a, a good time. It's got it all. I just got out of doing some paperwork because the third party didn't complete their end. Um, yeah, it, it be like that. <laughs> Glad you knocked it out though. Getting the work done. So you are being productive. See, we're, we're getting you through it. <laughs> got some productivity going on here. Uh, saved me an hour and 30 minutes. Mm. <laughs> um, I feel like Munchlax, I, do I still need a Snorlax? I feel like I got those actually. Maybe there was an outbreak or something of them. <clears throat> Shiny Minun, very nice. You had the outbreak, right? That's not bad. That's definitely a uh, difficult one to get. If you're in Scarlet, that's the more common one, but still, there's so many electric types in that cave. There's 25 legendary Pokemon in this game right now. I just recently caught Reshiram. Very nice. I caught a handful of them. I didn't... I didn't get all of them. Because you can't shiny hunt them, but like I was just getting them for my living decks in home. Not shiny living decks, but just like the regular one. And just I'd have all of the extra legend legendaries just in case, like for whatever reason I wanted them, right? Like I don't have to bother catching them if I ever decide that eh, I'm going to play some competitive and I want this. Like at least I'll just have them in home, you know, kind of ready to go. I don't really know exactly what I'm looking around for here. I'm just kind of taking a walk about. Honestly, I should probably have an Academy special going right now. <laughs> I probably should. Because I'm just looking around. These... Man, the low tads here. You know what? I need an A-Palm too. You know what? I am going to do another Academy special. I think I'm going to run around this lake here. Because um, I need a palm, it has a bunch of gender differences, and I still need Ludicolo. So, why not? <clears throat> if only Gen 3 was available on the 3DS. The only Gen I don't have a system to play. Um, hmm. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel like getting a Game Boy and dealing with the battery. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. So the nice thing about um, that GB operator I've talked about before, I have that and you can back up your saves. So if you have to replace the battery, you uh, don't have to stress it like not being there, your save anymore. So yeah, it's a nice little tool for that. But I will say your 3DS is definitely... Um, able to have Gen 3 on it. Just questionable means. <laughs> but it's pretty easy to do these days. Um, so there, there is the potential for it. And it's just like every other virtual console game. They just basically put the, the Gen 3 games in there instead of whatever else, right? You can basically run any GBA game. Seems like we're going for a late stream tonight. Yeah, Volt, it's, you know, it's been a little bit since we've had a crazy late one. I also, I'm pushing because I want to um, check the spirit tombs at midnight once the clock rolls over. <clears throat> My shiny Latius is so good for shiny hunting because it's so fast. Um, and plus, it's just a very spicy shiny. And you know what? That's enough for me. That is reason enough. Uh, we don't need Hoot Hoot at all. But the Apoms, we have a bunch of these ghost birds as well. But they're really good shinies. So I wouldn't be mad about that either. Need Ludicolo, so any of, like, Lombre, Lotad, I don't care what. Any of those homies I'd be down with. And you know what? Swaddle so and, um... What's it called? Her here too. Um, Swadloon. 
are also here. Should I bother checking the petalils? I don't need it, but like it is a very rare shiny. Might be worth having an extra. Uh, my wife got 13 of the shiny Voltorb. <laughs> Everybody's popping off on these shiny Voltorb. <laughs> That's more shiny Voltorb than any of us need. But uh, it is a good shiny. I'm not judging. <laughs> um, nine hours, no shiny Palkia yet. Good luck. Good luck. What game are you hunting it in? Yeah, it's tough. Uh, any of the legendaries, it definitely takes a while in basically every game. Although I think your best bet must be like Sword and Shield, right? They get char mods for everything. Just pretty quick soft resets. Have you seen uh, the synchro relay races people are doing in these games? No. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. Synchro is a cool little mechanic just for shenanigans in general and I think that's all it needs to be right I think it's it's cool that it has a lot of funny stuff and potential for people to make funny videos and interesting little things like that definitely a neat little feature and honestly I haven't really used it that much I've literally only used it when um, I need to Terra like KO a Terra static Pokemon like that. It's really nice for that. <laughs> so it has a little utility. It has some, some fun factors. Whoa, I didn't know what the heck I was looking at there. That Mighty Enna. Um. Catching up. Catching up on chat, guys. If I'm Behind, bear with me. I'm kind of looking around on this lake, too. We're definitely going to see one of those birds. <laughs> I really don't need one of those birds. This Petalil spot, if you guys are still looking for shiny Petalil, I think this is the correct spot to hunt for it now. Like, I have my shiny hunting guide for Petalil. That's actually one of my videos that has done um, pretty decently well compared to like all of my other stuff but um since it's such a weird shiny hunt it's uh yeah i guess a lot of people have looked it up you know but um i feel like this area in kitakami is actually like a better spot now back when i originally made that guide it was the only kind of consistent spot for it but if you do a grass sammy here not here specifically, I guess, because you get Swadloon and everything, but down below, like where um, Munchlax and stuff is, kind of down there by the rocks, you get so many uh, of Petalil. And it's not like just 100% Petalil, but even in that other Petalil spot that I made the video on, where you're like flying around on the mountain and stuff, it wasn't just Petalil there either. You were getting a bunch of, uh, what's it called? Um... I'm losing my mind. Flabebe. You got a bunch of Flabebe over there, too. So, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is, I think, probably easier if you guys are still needing a Petalil. I'll show you guys the actual spot maybe after I find something potentially here. We'll see. You're right on. You can't catch it, but you could get the extra one. Um, whoop. What you talking about? Yeah, it's weird. I never realized that you could get a second one. Like, you could just have the one from your party or from your your motorcycle one in your party. I never knew you could do that until, like, way, way later. And it was kind of after the fact. I, I wasn't sure because it's kind of cool because you can trade your um, one that you catch in the wild and still, like, always have one with you. I think it's kind of cool, the box legendaries, they gave you two like that. Although I feel like not everybody realized that they had those two, you know? Even though it's always in your, your pause menu and stuff. <coughs> Seen Meowskarada? Uh, all the back from behind wind. What? 
Oh, for <laughs> for the um, the relay race stuff. Yeah, I mean Sarah Ledge is crazy fast too. There's a lot of. Uh, it must be interesting. There must be like a speed comparison, like every Pokemon in synchro mode from slowest to fastest, right? There must be. <laughs> It'd be kind of an interesting one to just see. I can't remember if I need a Hoot Hoot or not. I feel like I have Noctowl already. A lot of low tad right here. Um, shiny Munchlax and Violet. Very nice. Yeah, that's a super good shiny. That one's crazy rare too. You get that in a uh, in an outbreak or just like randomly? Don't miss these a palm. I'm gonna take a look back every now and then. Uh, Talitha, am I saying that right? Welcome in. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hmm. Hmm. Bunch of low ten. No shinies yet. Things keep spawning like way, way behind me. It's stressing me out, man. Don't want to miss the, the shiny munchlax way behind me or anything. Corio's really cool, actually. Like, I don't feel like it's that cool of a Pokemon, but I think that having the four forms and them all having like interesting shinies is pretty cool. It's a nice shiny hunting Pokemon. Uh... Um, but yeah, I think it's cool that we have a lot of options with that. Anything with forms and like pretty different shinies like that, they're okay in my book. <laughs> um, got it randomly red. That's awesome. That's super, super rare just to find it out of nowhere like that. <laughs> Even with like a normal Sammy, it's never just like narrowed down to just be that. So, that's a really, really good one to find. The Levani would be cool here too. We keep seeing them every now and then. I still need that, and it would be cool to find it in the wild as a Levani. Just get the final evolution, kind of like the Golurk we got earlier. I could probably Picnic Reset here and have like less of the things I don't want here. Let me just see. Uh, got a shiny Lucario. Shiny hunted it. My first shiny hunted Pokemon. Very nice. <laughs> was that in uh, Scarlet and Violet or what game was that in? That's a super good first shiny. Definitely a spicy one. Yeah, this isn't bad. I think I'm just going to walk around though. I'm not going to bother with the picnic resets. This is her family member. She's falling asleep with you on. <laughs> That's awesome. The the chill vibes are working. <laughs> well, uh, I, I'm assuming they're signing off then. Good night. Enjoy. <laughs> the chill vibes, I'm telling you guys, they work. Putting people to sleep. I'm putting myself to sleep here. We're getting pretty late. It's a... Uh, Later for a lot of you guys, I know the time zones are pretty different, so uh, you're on the East Coast or something. It's almost 2 a.m. for you guys. Uh, at midnight, let me see, we got about 20 minutes left on the Sammy. Um, we're going to finish up this Academy special, finish checking all these things out. We'll go over and check the Spear Tombs. That'll probably be it for the night, just so you guys know. <laughs> Um, the entire shiny Levani line stalks me. I've seen them all in the wild, shiny, no sandwich. Um, I, it's taken me a while to find them. It's definitely not like that for me, but I feel like we all have our own thing that is just kind of haunting us all the time. A certain shiny that we cannot avoid. And I'm trying to think about in Scarlet and Violet what mine is. I know in Legends, Carnivine and like 
there's quite a few that just we could not avoid. But in this game, I don't know. Do I have anything? You guys have been around for a lot of this too. Do I have anything that like... I've had a nightmare with in this game that I am sick of seeing? I can't think of anything. It's been a while since I played Scarlet and Violet though. Bombardier, you're right. <laughs> there it is. I see, it's been a while, I've forgotten about it. The Bombardier is it. That is the, the true curse. <laughs> and Deerling, Litleo 2, the Tauros, it's all coming back to me. We, we were so happy for getting all of this stuff. And now, now we're back. We remember all the nightmares. <laughs> We've unlocked the core memories. <laughs> yeah, it, it was blissful ignorance for a little bit there. Um, it's 1.43 for me. I've been staying quiet, but trying to sleep while listening to you. Still recovering from COVID. Yeah, that sucks. That is not a good time. Um, which has made for some rough nights. Yeah. Yeah, when we had it, literally it was my first time. It was a nightmare. My wife, whenever she has had it, she's had it more than once. It has just always been just a terrible time for her. So I get it. Hopefully you're feeling better, though. The uh, emergency, that's what did it for me is I just just pounded emergencies like in the morning just took a quick shot of the vitamin c and just laying around you know not doing anything trying to get rest but it sucks you're just kind of kind of stuck waiting you know but hopefully you're towards the the end of it um i don't know those birds are really cool shinies but I already have a couple of them. We, we don't need any more. Yeah, Tauros was definitely the first nightmare. Regular Tauros, of course, not the, the ones we needed. The bad ones. <laughs> so many Tauros. My second time, uh, I've had... Oh, you have asthma. Yeah, that sucks. I know that's like a much worse situation. Did you get the, um... The, like pill or whatever for it because like you since you have asthma like you're able to get that right like you'll just get approved for it since you're kind of like a high risk person if you get that I don't know if that like I personally didn't have that because I I know you can get it but I was just like eh, I'll be fine and I kind of wish I did because <laughs> it sucked the whole time I had it I want food, but I don't want to go. Yeah, it's really, well, I was going to say it's really late. I'm pretty sure you're in like a pretty different time zone, right? <laughs> I get the not wanting to go out deal though, too. No matter what time it is, that uh, is always a thing. Oh, when I was in Area Zero, I got a shiny Veno bug. A Veno bug. A uh, Venonat? Venonat? The whole Venomoth, like, Venonat line is super, super good. Super good shinies. I've given up on getting new shiny Tauros. It's impossible to tell. Uh, R. Jonesy, I, I've mastered the ways. I've gone insane. I've learned the ways of the Tauros. I'm glad I'm done with it, though. Mick Loopy with the 10 months, buddy. I appreciate you. Look at all of those Mr. Kappas. Look at those beautiful guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, Skuma, that's something that you can get for sure. Um, it's like Paxlac, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's Paxlaxavid or something like that. It's like, uh, supposed to help, like, get it out of your system quicker. So, if you ever have it again, I would check that out, especially because you have asthma and stuff. It's supposed to be for, like, high-risk people who are, like, older or have, like, uh, lung things right like or that kind of stuff so you know use it you might as well get get a perk out of the asthma right <laughs> hope all is well mr calm uh, i hope all is well with you buddy i feel like it's been a hot minute i know a lot of times we have people lurking i know you're you're always around <laughs> i appreciate you buddy 
uh, is it Paxlovid? Is that what it is? There you go, Paxlovid. I don't know how to say it. Either way, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's like a pill thing for it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I haven't had to personally get it, so I don't know. I don't know the spelling and stuff. That sounds right, though. It's, it's P-A-X something. After that, I'm not really sure. Uh, I have all but the blaze breed. Most of my worries was in my head. I'm telling you, it's... It is kind of tough to see with the lighting and everything. Like... <laughs> yeah, but it's... <sighs> It's tough when you know there's this different form, even though it's like not a great shiny and you don't care that much. Like it's something that past calm never would have bothered with, but I'm insane. What can I say? Portion note with the four months. Buff clown is calm's favorite mon. That is a slander. Slander and lies. <laughs> I appreciate you buddy with that four months. Got the ultra ball. And that's four months as a uh, spicy calm contributor as well. In the spicier tiers. What do we have here? 13 minutes. Got about 10 minutes before the, uh, the re-roll of everything here. We get our new spirit tombs. Quick question. Does anyone want to help me evolve Porygon if you have the upgrade? Um... I will just say it's probably, since it's later, it's probably going to be tougher to find people uh, that are in chat helping with that right now. But if you want to join up in the Discord, exclamation Discord in the chat, uh, we have a lot of people who are willing to help out with trades and uh, evolutions and stuff like that. So feel free to pop in. That goes for all of you guys. You don't have to be a member or anything. It's just open to everybody. And like during the day and stuff when it's, because I usually stream at night, uh, everybody will be hanging out there during the day and... Yeah, a lot of helpful, just homies. <laughs> it's just like the chat here. Um, like old 250, are we at 225? I appreciate you guys liking the stream. If you haven't done it yet, just consider doing it. Help out your uh, your homie on the the old algorithm. Let me see here. Let me take a look. See, oh, we're at we're at 239. <laughs> we're we're so past the light goal. You got it. I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, we're way past the light goal. Um, I meant if they have the item upgrade. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it is still, I, it's a lot of people are kind of relaxing, laying in bed, doing their thing, you know, so it might be hard to get somebody to trade right now. But same thing, if you're looking for an item or anything like that, probably be able to, to help you out over there. Um, there you go. Red's willing to help. See that? That's the the homies that we got hanging around here. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't seen anything yet. We did pop off really, really hard with these other Academy specials. I guess we can't always get away with it, right? But not always. But maybe. There's always potential. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. We got 11 minutes. I feel like that. That timer's going down really slow for some reason. I feel like I just looked and it was at 11 minutes. Um, I keep looking back. I feel like I keep seeing something. It's, it's getting late, so your boy is kind of... Losing his mind a little bit. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> sleep off the hunger, Hassan. Do your thing. I appreciate you hanging out, buddy. Hopefully you're feeling better soon. I know you're still kind of getting over it. But uh, yeah, I'll be wrapping it up soon here. After uh, this Sammy and those Spiritune checks. So I'll, I'll be right behind you. <laughs> Uh, I think it has to do with your frame rate, so if you lag, the timer slows down. I have heard about that, where if you're in, like, the rain or in the water or whatever, it's supposed to adjust it. That's super weird, but I guess that, that makes some sense, because it's definitely a little sketchy around here, frame rate-wise. 
Still no low tad, no low tad, no nothing around this uh, little spot, actually. We haven't had a single, at least that I've seen. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's always the chance that I miss something, you know? Which, when you get over odds, you're always like, man, this, this is my fault. <laughs> I definitely missed one, right? But we've been having such, like, good luck overall. It, the way that it works is if you have amazing luck, there's a decent chance that you're going to have some bad luck to kind of balance it out on your side. You're usually, like, net neutral. Is how the odds usually work out. Now, sometimes you're just... You got the spicy luck, what can you do? And sometimes it just it doesn't hit like that. It just depends. I'd say overall we're definitely in the in the green here. We've definitely found quite a few shinies. Even if we didn't find anything else tonight, it's still a very successful night of shiny hunting. Scarlet and Violet definitely uh <laughs> you have these spicy nights. It just seems like it's always a thing. <clears throat> need the final stage of girder um can't, can't you catch that as a static like a static terra thing or something i thought that was in the wild in this in the dlc am i crazy don't answer that <laughs> i thought i thought it was like a static terra encounter or something though or you know what you can get it in uh terra raids is what it is in the crystals and it's a pretty common one. So if you guys are ever needing um, like a trade evolution or something like that, and you're having a hard time finding people to trade, which, you know, the Discord is the best answer for that. But if you're um, not able to trade, maybe you don't have Nintendo Online or something, you could always do the Terra Raids, like the crystals in your game. And a lot of those trade evolutions and stuff, and really like annoying to evolve and rare Pokemon and stuff, are in those Terra Raids. You can catch them fully evolved. It's a guaranteed capture after you KO them. So, yeah, that's a, a fun fact. Hot tip. <laughs> yeah. But that's like a really easy way to get some of those trade evos without having to do the whole run around to actually trade. few shinies of the night were Hisui and Voltorb and Electrode and Charger Bug. Very nice. And Electric Sammy, I'm assuming. Very good shinies to wrap it up, honestly. <laughs> Could definitely do worse. Um, Scarlet can get crazy. I remember it caught four shinies in like six minutes just walking around. Yeah, I mean, you guys have seen my my craziest Sammy ever, right? It was like nine shinies and one Sammy. <laughs> this is insanity. The sandwiches and just the way you can pop off sometimes in this game is... It's a lot of fun. I didn't need any more hound doors, but... <laughs> we, we sure found them. <laughs> no sandwich. Charger bug was below 30 KOs. Very nice. Oh, so you were doing uh, outbreaks. Well, that's awesome. Super, super good shinies, I mean, all around. And nothing but spicy shinies. Huh. I've never heard Charger Bugs cry in this. <laughs> it's like updated cry was kind of funny. I was wondering what the heck I was hearing for a second, and it was looked over and see the big old bus. Um, old spice in those sandwiches, I'm telling you. Yeah, we've, uh... We've definitely aged our Herba Mystica to, to uh, perfection here. It's finding all the shinies with this aged Herba Mystica. That's the trick. You just need to not log in for a while, and then you finally log in and absolutely pop off. <laughs> um, both looks and sounds like an accordion. It's kind of funny. I'm all about it. Uh, I've always liked his cry. And it just design, his shiny, all of it. I'm all about Charger Bug. Have you guys seen the, um, 
the anime episode where they're like racing charger bugs they're like in cars and the one kid that's like the the top dog he has a shiny one I thought that was kind of a cool thing. He had the red charger bug. It was like crazy fast. <laughs> um, that, I wouldn't even be mad if I found a charger bug, honestly. Like, it's such a good shiny. I'm never... Like, there's some shinies that you just never can be mad about getting, you know? It's just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're spicy. I know it. Um, our day just reset. We'll do one more loop here, and then we're gonna take a look at our spiritums. Come on, Lotad, new day. It's time to shine. The first minute of the new day. Um, love that episode. Yeah, no, it's good. I keep hearing Charger Bug. There, there isn't even a charger bug here, I swear. <laughs> what was making that noise? <laughs> Losing my mind here. I think that one was maybe like Sawaddle or something. It was a kind of a weird, not exactly charger bug, charger bug noise. All right, we did our little loop. We didn't really have any luck in the lake for the last little bit here, but let's see. Maybe our luck is in the Spiritomb area instead. There's always a chance. Probably Swadloon. I gotcha. I don't even know what that thing's cry is like. Since I did play Gen 5, I don't um, really remember many of those cries and stuff. I'm pretty bad about those ones. But anything Gen 4 and before, um, I could probably like blind guess all of them. Like, I, I feel like I would be pretty consistent with that. But they also changed a lot of cries um, in the newer games. So I feel like if I was going to do that challenge, I would have to hear them in their Gen 4, like, versions. The new ones, the updated ones, I feel like I won't be able to guess that as, as uh, accurately. But the, the OG pixel ones, like the old school ones, I feel like I definitely, I'd be able to do pretty good on that. Me too, Gen 3 especially, yeah. Yeah, same here, especially with the Gen 3 stuff as well. But I feel like I could go Gen 4 at least. I'd probably do all right. Um, two more. Still have some Sammy? Yeah, about two minutes. KO that thing, dude. Come on. Varun, buddy. Get it together. <laughs> Alright. Two more. Gotta make a fun video. Yeah. <laughs> that would be kind of a... Yeah. Maybe. Really excited to play through Emerald. Yeah, I... Um, it's going to be interesting trying to get through all of the, the Japanese stuff. Try to remember all of it. It's going to really be a test for my uh, Pokemon knowledge. <laughs> and my Japanese a little bit, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm interested. I haven't really gone through... Um, the Gen 3 stuff, because I want to do the starter hunts. I actually, I think I want to start a little bit of like a living dex, a shiny living dex in that. And for the starters, I'm not egg hunting Pokemon in Gen 3 unless I absolutely have to, because it sucks in those games. Oh god. Um, but, yeah. So I'm going to soft reset for the starters. That means I'm going to see a lot of shiny Poochianas and stuff too, but what can you do? It's better than the eggs. All right, final spear tomb check of the night. Guys, while I'm flying over here, I just want to say I really appreciate y'all hanging out. Um, if you guys haven't liked the stream yet, please consider doing it. Help your boy out on the algorithm. If you haven't subbed yet, we're getting very close to 11k. So, just think about it. If you dig the vibes, yeah. Um, 
I really appreciate all you guys helping out, just supporting with super chats and gifted memberships and all that stuff. Uh, I know you guys don't have to pay to watch me on YouTube, but it means a lot that you decide to do it anyways. So, uh, yeah, thanks. We have a few people paying even more for the memberships. We have Woodrow to Kid, Panky Rain, uh, Zonathan04, Sir Shicker, Kasane V2, Z Toxic, Oxford Striplin, Chrissy, Ellie Dogmeat, Vlad Shorts, Fuji Toby, Gilgamesh, Porsche Nut, and in the cultist here we have Mistaken, Oriso, Raise Plays, A Thank was to the Grandmaster C Link had Ouroboros, and Volt, paying a ridiculous amount of money. Um, guys, we're going to do this final check, and then we're going to raid somebody. So stick around. Don't leave yet. I'm going to show some love. Big money. It's going to happen one of these days. I need to do a stream for the Spirit Tomb. I feel like we need some closure. Maybe. <laughs> Let me get parked somewhere. We're going to get parked, and we're going to figure out who the heck we're going to raid. Um, who's still streaming? It's pretty late. <laughs> um, we don't get a chance to raid him very often. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to raid Vandy. He's doing a 24-hour thing. Mad lad. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to raid Vandy. Uh, we're going to do a hashtag calm raid. Guys, please be respectful. Please do not spam. Just post this once. Hashtag calm raid. Uh, give him a like, hang out for a little bit. Definitely a little bit of a different vibe <laughs> than, uh, super calm, calm, but eh, show him some love. He's a friend of the channel. We see him occasionally. We don't get a lot of chances to raid him. So let's, uh. Show them what we're all about. I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Same time. Good night, everybody.